Well, here we are. It is game day, everybody. That's right. A lot of excitement in the air. I've got Chris Cruz with me. Brooklyn Hodel Vulcan is going to be there in a few minutes. Uh, Greek is going to be here. Everybody's going to be here. Chris, how do you feel about today so far? I'm I'm pretty pumped, but again, I'm trying to slowly get excited, you know, trying to hold it back a little bit. Yeah. You, you already know what I've been doing. Yeah. Practicing. Yeah. Practicing, 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 practicing. Because you already know I'm not playing. Yeah. So, there goes Brooklyn. What's up, brother? Yo, can you hear me? We can. All right, great, man. How's it going, brothers? Going well, yeah. I was just talking about how I spent all day yesterday and today practicing, setting up, getting ready, uh, because I, my intention is to get a lot. That's what my intention is. I don't even have as much money as Chris, <laughs> but I'm still planning to get more than him. <laughs> <laughs> You know what yeah. I'm saying? What, what about you guys? Have you been doing anything like that, or are you just been like relying on your on your on your experience already? Like no practicing, nothing. Like what's your deal, oh. Chris? I uh, I have been. Uh, I'd say I'm practicing. You know, I got uh, I got my wallets. I make sure my connections are good, and you know, disconnecting, and uh, make sure you know everything connects up right on each one. So, you know. I'd say practicing, you know, put a little bit of, you know, a little Ben Gay on my fingers, make sure I didn't have any uh, tight <laughs> muscles or anything. So, <laughs> how about you, Brooklyn? Same thing. Um, got a couple wallets ready, and I um, I got my son with me, and um, trained him, put him into um, boot camp, crypto boot camp. So <laughs> He'll have two wallets on the side. He'll be trying to get in at the same time with me, man. The more the merrier. The more the merrier is right, Greek. How are you doing? And and what have your uh, past couple of days been like leading up to today? Have you been preparing, practicing? What have you been doing? Because I've been practicing, bro. That's all I've been doing. And, I, you know, get everything inserted, loaded up, all that stuff, right? So up until 20 minutes ago, it's just going to be the Greek. And then... I told my family that if I have more clickers, they said, come on over. So I'm going over. We're setting up six different devices. I'm going to have three, four people. We're going to have the whole Greek squad. Oh. We're going to get this done. Nice. So now I got a whole helper. I got a bunch of helpers. This just all went down the last 20 minutes, and now I'm headed there. I do have to help build the shed, though, for their help. All okay. right. Yeah, you can just do that another time. <laughs> you have to do that today? No. No, yeah. they don't. They they just ordered the shed, so I said, "Okay, you guys help me out. I'll, I'll build the shed for you." Yeah, man. So yeah. So bottom line is that we're all ready, everybody. Um, <clears throat> we got some comments that have come in. You know, Greek. There's already 134 people watching. You guys, Jesus. 134 beautiful souls. You gotta love it. There goes Safe Who Dad, who today comes in first. Greek. How about that? And then there goes Curly, who comes in second. There you go. Some deal. Sa comes in third. The notorious one uh, to show. And Vulcan Maniac rounds out the top five. And sitting right there on courtside, Sharon Sabar, just outside of the top five. But you know what, though, Brooklyn? He's right there on courtside. And he gets to watch the starting five. Up close and personal. <laughs> with LeBron in them. That's right. Which one is LeBron? I'm going to say Curly is LeBron. All right. Uh, <laughs> sure. Look how many times uh, Sharon said hi. Hi there. Hi here. Hi here. Hi here. <laughs> hi here. Oh, he hi here. <laughs> Sharon went to everybody's channel and said hi on everybody's yeah, channel. Oh, yeah. goodness. goodness. Is, first is that what it is? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, man. I didn't realize that. That's right. We have everybody's channel. I keep on forgetting. Everybody's on. Kryptonia will be joining us. He said that he'll make it at some point. He's got things to do. You know, he's fine. He's got a busy life. Just 
got uh, engaged, right? His daughter got engaged or is going to be getting engaged, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, ho- hopefully she doesn't watch us because then she, we would Yeah, I hope she it. has nothing uh, to do oh, with no, it. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, like, uh, no, no, I don't mean, like, uh, it, to, to, like, a man. I meant, like, she just got engaged. Like, she's, she's, she's starting to get things going. You know what I mean? That's what I meant. Oh, no. She literally doesn't know about it. I know. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, so that, that and we talked to him about it, and he's like, yeah, she doesn't watch any of this. So. <laughs> okay, well, then good. She's not going to know that. She, she'll continue to not know. Yeah, I feel like that'd be so bad. She's like, wait, I'm getting engaged this weekend? Right, the one time she watches it today. <laughs> well, he says that they're traveling today, so the, the, they won't be a part of any of this. Sweet. Yeah. So let's look at some comments here. We've got, uh, and there goes Crypto Pride. Hey, my man, what's up, brother? We don't hear you, man. Can you hear me? Now we do. We can hear oh, you now. Okay. Yeah. Pride, are you Pride. ready to go, bro? Man, I am ready to go. I got my setup. You should see my setup, brothers. Man, you guys should see mine, but don't worry, you will. <laughs> you will see the entire performance, and your mouth is going to drop after you see what it is that I do tonight. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, holy crap. Unbelievable. My performance is going to be amazing. I expect it to be off the charts. I cannot wait. Um, what's up, everyone? Says Roy Kelly. What a effing day. Let's go. Let's go, uh, Roy Kelly there. Robert Duquette. Or Duque says, uh, let's go team. My dude, Pride, can you feel the money in the air? Can't wait for game night. Seifu go right there, brother. He's on your channel. All right. I'm talking about. Yeah. Igor is here as well, John316. Excited and blessed. Blessings to you all, John316. Thank you so much. And God we trust. Uh, Good afternoon, Greek. And Seifu family, I'm very bullish on Seifu Go. Good luck to everyone that's uh, hashtag Seifu Go. May God bless all. There you go. So what? Um, who, who else is supposed to be on here? We got Kryptonian, anybody else? But well, what are you guys expecting tonight? Anything big? You want to like, you know, what, what's your hopes and aspirations, pride, for when we come Man, out of here? It's going to be all positive. Everything's going to go up. Seifu's going to go up. Seifu Go's going to go up. So, hey. I, you can't go wrong. That's how I see it. Yeah. Great. Do you have anything that you have uh, that you're excited about? Maybe that you have, like maybe the unknown or something. Like, what's your expectations, buddy? Now that you have a whole team of people, whole team of Greeks. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, a whole team of Greeks really helps because <laughs> for me to hit seven different devices at one time at the same time is gonna be hard. Now I got three people, so you're looking at they can each have two buttons at once. So talking much faster yeah <clears throat> and i got the good luck puck go ahead brooklyn no i'm saying brian legend just posted something i don't got access to highlight it on my on my on, oh, in the comments all yeah. right let's see what brian says you should leave this stream going go make your trades and then come back to the camera to live stream the price charts yeah, we can do that, Brian. I mean, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'll leave. I'll leave the uh, the, str- the the chart streaming, but I got to take my phone down, uh, Brian, to get busy. You know what I'm saying? I need to get down to business. <laughs> and I'm not. I don't have a team of Greeks. I'm not going to have right. multiple devices. I'm going to do what I'm going to do with one phone. That's it. One phone. <clears throat> But I, I am going to use a a, 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 phone, a second phone for a timer, though. Anybody else having, having that set up? A timer. No, I got one on my computer, so hey. 8, 805, 810, 815. <laughs> oh, By the way, are you know, on Eastern uh, time. Brian posted in the, the comments <clears throat> in uh, Discord, uh, place your bets on what you think Safeguard market cap will reach at the end of the first 24-hour trading period. It is launching at 250K. Well, what the price is going to be is one thing, but right now, 
it's at five dollars you can see right here this is the chart um uh this is not a trade this is them beginning everything getting it set up so this is the way it's going to open like this because i know greek there's going to be people that there's people trading already what the heck is going on Ding. they said that yesterday yeah oh look at all the transactions people are trading they got an unfair advantage i'm yeah. like ah uh -uh, do your research bro <laughs> Somebody literally just asked, is the contract address out in the room? <laughs> and, and, and Brian was like, really? Like, he just put, really? <laughs> uh, there's still, still people that are going to ask for it. They don't, they don't know where it is, what to do, how to get it. It's as simple as going to the announcements. You would think that that's the first place people go, but they don't. All right. So it's I'll opening say, at $5. Oh. So $5 gets you one to begin with, and then after that, it rapidly goes up. I think because of this new setup, you guys, the new setup, I think, makes us, at least for today, top out at ten to $12,000, not as much as it was, and it could have gone even higher the first time, but it was a different thing. We were launching at $1. It was, you know, <laughs> it was uh, more volatile, right? Uh, but I don't think it's going to be as volatile, right? Because we only it's coming in at five, not one. It's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in liquidity, or two hundred thousand dollars in liquidity. So, I think it's not going to be as volatile, and I think we top out at ten to twelve. What What do you guys think? But it will go up from there. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying tonight. Right. Um, that? You said ten to twelve thousand. That's your prediction. Yeah, that's why I think we top out at tonight. It'll go up higher because don't forget, everybody. Every time someone sells. There's massive incinerations going on, and it makes the, the the supply drop. So yeah, what do you think about that? Do you think that's an accurate or fair I'm gonna, I'm gonna, prediction? I'm gonna, with, I'm gonna go with five thousand because I know once it, it I know because people gonna be buying and selling. So I'm gonna say five thousand. Be safe. Great. Pride is such a bear, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, like he's gonna go five thousand. Uh, We're not releasing until Christmas. Uh, What's going, oh, Chris? Stop I was going to say, say price not a fun. I, I was going to say three to five. So price, say? three to five. I always so give me a hard time. Pride had me. I'm just, I'm just joking with you, Pride. You know I love you, brother. But I yeah, I don't think like I think there's going to be a lot more trading. So that's just my thought. I, yeah, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with eleven thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Just one under Daniel. So. <laughs> oh, okay. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah. One dollar. I'm going to win because we're going to go. We're going to be at twelve thousand one dollar. So oh, you, no. yeah, that's you right. Know, uh, watch that chart get to like the high, like eleven nine well, something. And just you and I are it. right, Greek and Pride. It's like we always say: you're allowed to be wrong on the program, yeah. right? Right, Brooklyn. It's okay. Definitely. Pride and Greek were wrong. We want to be wrong. Yeah. This is a good thing if we're wrong. So Absolutely, bro. Brooklyn, do you have a price prediction guess? I mean, that's all this is: is a guess. But you know, yeah. based on what we know and what we've seen, right? I'm 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 thinking like um like eight nine nine nine. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, eight, nine, yeah I'll nine, take nine, that nine. too. I'll take the five thousand that Pride said though. I'll take that too. I'm just saying yeah. I don't think that we go uh I think at, at the top of tonight we go to ten to twelve. That's what I think. You know. What you think pool? For which pool minutes? gets higher? B and B. Yeah. B and B gets higher because you're adding value to the coin. Seifu is 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 going to come in and add value, yes, but it's going to be adding at a much slower pace because our Seifu is not as is not. It's not worth as much as the B and B that's going in there. The B and B that's going in there is legit, bro. You know, this is like a ninety-one cents right now. Something I can't believe people are selling on the day that we're freaking launching. I just can't believe it. Not me. I'm starting on the Seifu side. What about you guys? No, I'm starting on the BNB side. I'm not even touching my Seifu. I'm just leaving it alone and just to see what happens the next few days. Straight up BNB, &B, man. Just BNB. &B. I got the BNB &B ready for today. Safe okay. Food. Touching it. Let's say right now we had a, we had a five dollars and three cents. So, hey. What is? SGO. Uh oh, oh no, yeah, that's not that's, that's that's just gonna hang around like that. That's not you know. It's, it says four ninety nine on my side, but yeah, it's right. going to be starting at you know five dollars. Four ninety nine discount. Well, <laughs> what side are you starting on, Pride? 
B and B. You're all starting on B and B. All on B and B. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. I hope everybody starts on the B and B side. Daniel, uh, uh, Brian just posted the announcements in Safeu Go. Copy that, ten four, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Breaking news. Um, that working superb. Let's go to the announcements though, because there's something there. Announcements. No, this is this is old. Oh yeah, from or, uh, that was before you started, but. Is this what you were uh, talking about, Dom? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Two, two, uh, 12. So one is going to be. Let's just. I think what we're looking at. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to punch these up because they're both different. Um, they're both different charts. So, oops. I just was sharing and then I clicked stop. Okay, this this is pair not found yet. So that one that one's not working. Um, not yet, at least. It probably will start. And that one says pair not found uh, also. Uh, so if I were to try to share it, it wouldn't work. But I'm happy to hear everyone saying they're starting on the B and B side, except for me. I think most people are going to do that. What are you guys in the crowd starting with? Put B and B or Safeo. B and B or Safeo in the in the uh, in the live chat. I want to I want to say. But matter of fact, let's let's do a poll. Why not? Let's do a poll. Poll time. Let's do a poll because I am starting with uh, what's it called? Safeo. But I think most people are going to start with the uh, with the with the with the B and B. Um, it's just going to be a simple. What are you starting with? Safeo B and B. That's it. Um, we also have the Safeo Go DAP, Chris. If you want to, if you want to go to that, the Safeo Go DAP, uh, you could share the screen and yep, and head over to right there. Here. Do we have it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, starting the poll. There we go. Well, you guys talk about it. I'm do I'm writing the question. Uh, Odie is uh, asking. Hold on. Odie's asking the link. He's answered right. asking for the link. Oh, I get. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I just. Said yeah, thank you, Pride. Yeah. So what you guys think the price is going to be the first 30 minutes? The first 10 30 minutes. minutes? Wow. $35. 30, that's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be low, if too. If that's actually. $35, I'm going to have a happy night. I'm going to be so happy. It's not going to be no $35, bro. You don't think so? No. no. You know what? I'm going to have to go. No, bro. It's going to be like... A thousand dollars or a fifteen hundred, something like that. Five minutes. Five minutes. No, five thirty minutes. minutes. The first That's thirty hard. minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh. oh. First thirty oh, minutes. You were thinking first five minutes. Okay, that makes more yeah. sense. Yeah, I think first five minutes. <laughs> yeah, first I just started five. laughing, bro. Because it's like my goodness. Thirty five. Like, thirty five after thirty minutes. Just... I'm going to be counting my. Oh my gosh, is it going to be a great night? I'm happy for thirty five dollars in first five thirty minutes. Shit. If it's thirty five dollars after five minutes after thirty minutes, think about how many people are going to get a decent amount of Seifu Go. Then you know, but yeah. I, I don't think it'll be thirty five in thirty minutes. But you know, yeah, I I don't see it being thirty five dollars and even in five minutes. Yeah, that you know, I, 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 I think, think it'll be a hundred dollars, like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars in five minutes. Really? There's going to be so many people buying at the same time right at the beginning, Pride. But you only got a limit to buy minutes. one, though. Yeah, I know. You only buy one. Yeah. You, if you look at the charts from the first launch, like the first five buys was about like um 15000 ESCO. And that jumped the price up to like $14, $15. Yeah, if you can only buy nice. one, everybody can only buy one, the price yeah. is going to be low. I guess that's true. Minutes. 
It That's takes about like six hundred BMV to get the price exponentially over fifty fifty five dollars. I think, if I remember the chart correctly, there's a chart out there. There's a certain certain amount. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I think the first that's, the, that's going to be the best time to get in. The first, if you could get in in the first ten minutes, you should yeah. have a problem getting at least at least three. One, two, three. What is it? One the first five minutes, then two point five the next five minutes. Yeah, P- people are going to be able to. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be real, real good. Even with the bots and everything else out there, if you got enough BNB. Thinking you could easily at least get three in the first first ten minutes. After that, it's it's going to go crazy. Once you can start buying ten and stuff like that, then that's yeah. when the price is really going to skyrocket. Well, when the when the limits come off after thirty minutes, that's yeah. that's when it goes berserk. Yeah. Yep. And that's when we're off to the races. Yeah. Somebody got a super chat. Yes, yeah, Antonio Date says I'm at work, but I have a funny feeling. I'm going to have a bad case of bubble guts when I get closer to 7.30 p.m. <laughs> I can feel it coming on right now. <laughs> also, I, I'd be starting on the B&B side. There goes Antonio Dates, who's starting on the B&B side. And it looks like it's quite quite close, you guys. It's quite close. It's 54% B&B, 46% Seifu. With only thirty-seven votes in, but still, it's that you know. I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be higher. I know. I'm in a bad area. What? I didn't hear you, bro. Say it again. Yeah, I wonder how many people would have put both. You know. Um. Well, I'm I'm doing both, but I'm starting on the on the Seifu side. Well, You'll see when I make the video how how what what I what it is that I do. I'm ambidextrous, so I'll be starting on both at the exact same second. So, <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm not going to be starting on both at the same same second now. But the safe pool or the BB side has way more in that liquidity pool, though. So that's the thing. There's more in there, so it should be easier theoretically to get from the BB side. You know, Notorious One says, I've got $400 in each of my wallets. How much money are you guys playing with in each of your wallets? Uh, that, that, that would be hundred bucks. Yeah, that would be a crazy question to answer. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot. Four of my wallets have 2K each, and then the other three have. And five hundred each. Yeah. Breaking mine down, so I'm doing about like three hundred and like seven wallets. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm staggering my wallet, so like some of them only have a little. I'm gonna have some with a little amount just for the first window, just to give me that extra one, and then stagger them down. So as they gets more important, I want to have more in some other wallets to be able to buy more. It's, it's a whole plan. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not talking at all about anything that I'm doing. So when people ask me, I'm not. I'm not talking about it. So I'm gonna be stingy as heck tonight, bro. That's for darn sure. Nobody yeah. gets anything from me when it comes to st- strategy, at all. So DM Prado, everybody, for all your... your <laughs> they can't stuff. DM me. Everything's blocked. <laughs> oh, God. Look, yeah. look, at, look at Legend getting up If I get pen. another message saying DM the Greek, I'm going to lose myself. <laughs> well, that's also Elliot doing it now, too. He keeps on telling everybody to DM you for everything as well. Every yeah. day. Well, I mean, this is what this is. This is to me what's annoying right here. Look at this right here. This is annoying. I just look at this. Instead of accumulating, we've got people selling still. Now, at some point, this thing's going to go go nuts, right? Because the arbitrage is going to make this thing go, and then people are going to be buying all the way up here when they could have just yeah, they're just paying. It's going to be worth. It's going to be worth more. Sense to me, huh? It doesn't make any sense to me. They're just paying tax, so. Yeah, I just don't get it. But you know, like this one, I don't know what this one is right here. This, this, 
I don't know what this action is. Four huge candles. One of them, the biggest one in the middle, but then you got a big one here, a big one here, and then a semi-big one there. But yeah, it's like... I guess the only good thing is price is irrelevant when you're going to safe It just matters how much safe you have because that's going to be the conversion, like how much safe food it costs to get. So as it goes up, but it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. What can you do, you know? Um, <clears throat> Fowler, what are you doing, bro? I thought you were coming on. Can you believe in less than 60 days we are here? Massive utility and groundbreaking AI technology with arbitration opportunities acting as a catalyst for Safe's price. I know, Brian. It's just you would never be able to tell by looking at that freaking chart. They I mean it's just like I know you're probably frustrated too, Brian, because I know I know I am, bro. I just look at that like what are what's yeah, going on? It doesn't get, make it, any sense. It's like it's like eating a big Big Mac cheeseburger before running a marathon. I mean, seriously, you've got all the way up here. What the heck are you thinking? You know? I yeah. Know. I know. But I, I would, I would like a, a Big Mac though. That's Brian's favorite sandwich, I think, from McDonald's. It's actually he even has a video. He even made a video of making a Big Mac. Did yeah, you see that? Yeah. It's from McDonald's. It was a funny video. Funny video. Yeah. <laughs> would you say? Caller link is in uh, Telegram. The, We're uh, on your channel. Just come on. I know. I know. Follow you just go on to the stream yard. Okay. Just, no, yeah. They can. They have to be on your team to just come in. He is. He is. Oh, the, that's how I got him mind. on there. Never mind. He, uh, didn't know. I'm just going to say it right now. The best thing from McDonald's burger wise is the double quarter pounder and anybody else. They're just faking it. <laughs> yes, that is a definitely. That's definitely awesome. I love it. Yeah, but I love true. McDonald's anyway, you know. That's true. I'm not one of those people that talks about McDonald's. Hey, I never go to McDonald's. Get out of here. Best fries. They had the best fries. Yeah, they do have amazing fries, uh, and they got good coffees and stuff. Can't I mean, argue people, that, Greek. They had the best people fries. People are hands crazy down. about that stuff. I think that stuff's uh, good. I think McDonald's. No, good their job. fries are good. Their coffee's amazing too. Yeah, great. Yeah. Co I had the uh, one of their coffees this morning. <laughs> so I got to send it to Fowler, or did you do it already, Pride? Um, it's in the Telegram. So yeah, he's got, got it. Telegram, no, I'll, I'll send it to got, him. It's all over the place for him. He's, yeah, no, I'm just going to DM it right to, right to you, uh, Fowler. Right okay? to him. Make no excuses. That's right. Yeah, take my spot. I got to go in five minutes. And then you're doing what? You're not going to come back on? I'm going to try to get back on, but I got to I gotta get some stuff done. You have it now, Fowler. You have it now. The, the the link. You know what? I'm a I'm a because I'm gonna do a Because of this change my in my plan, life. things have changed. So. Okay. What, uh, go ahead, Chris. I'm gonna do a poll on on my stream. Which one is better, the the double quarter pounder or the uh, the Big Mac? Yeah, I want to know. Well, that, that, the Big Mac definitely has its own original flavor, you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, I like the, I like the, the quarter pounder. The, well, the double cheeseburger, the regular double cheeseburger is my, is my favorite, but, uh, 55%. The quarter pounder? What? Didn't they change the quarter pounder to make, change the bun, I think? No. Maybe I'm making things. No, they, they don't, the McDonald's knows yeah. what they're doing. They don't make that mistake of changing. They, they they will not do that. They'll <laughs> add stuff, the, but they won't change their original stuff. Like they just will keep it, bro. Brian says the McChicken, which a spicy McChicken sandwich. McChicken. Awesome oh, hold on a yeah. second. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'm not. No, no. McChicken oh, is really good, though. The poll is out there. Really the poll is out there. You know what? He's right. <laughs> I'm a big I Mac like slave. Says so get in the house. There you go. I like the McChicken too, but. You know, the the double cheeseburger and the and just not the double quarter pounder, but the regular quarter pounder with cheese. I love that. So Brian, uh, Brian's talking about uh, McDonald's and everything. So is McDonald's similar in Australia as it is in the United States? I've heard that they they taste very different around the world. They use no, they're the same. 
They use kangaroo the meat. Ketchup, the ketchups are different around the world. We'll say that. What'd you say, Pride? They use kangaroo meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They call it Maccas over there. Maccas. Maccas? Yeah, M-A-C-C-A-S. <clears throat> like McDonald's, Maccas. they call it Maccas. I remember uh, when uh, Kiwi was doing videos early on, and he and oh, yeah. he went through the drive through asked him if they could if he could paint safe food. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. And he was like, because the girl was like, kind of like you know, like I don't know, maybe. And then he asked for the manager. <laughs> Kiwi's crazy, bro. Oh, okay. He's like, can you bring yeah, the manager? Those videos were great. Uh, Brian says KFC is totally different there. Chicken soup. Oh. oh, is that right? I wonder. I wonder if uh, you know if we're 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 talking about the same taste. Maybe maybe like a double quarter pounder in Australia is, tastes like crap. <laughs> look at look at Greek dog legend, man. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's going on, buddy? Pride. Uh, Ashley says I no just, pride. I just parked at my parents' house, so. Okay, brother. So, good luck tonight. So I gotta go, guys. Maybe I we'll will see try to join back at some time if I can. <clears throat> all right, man. I love yeah. all of you. Let's all make it. Absolutely, Absolutely brother. Right. No problem. We don't have kangaroo burgers here. <laughs> <laughs> that's too. <laughs> that's too funny. Community TV says, um. The U.S. has killer ingredients, and the world has natural ingredients to spare the people from harmful, harmful additives. Get out of here with that nonsense, bro. <laughs> we like our additives. Yeah, it makes it taste better. <laughs> have you seen uh, the black burgers in Asia? Laugh out loud. No, it, is that like what they do over there with McDonald's stuff? Is that like what I don't know what they mean by black birds. Is that like it they have black, black, black beans in it or something or I don't know. I've never even heard of I've never heard of a black burger. So, well, look at Brian's know. comment. Now this changes everything. McDonald's in the Philippines serves rice instead of fries. No way. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's how it is in uh when we went to Dubai. They have Bruh. Uh, hey. Hey, remember we had oh you weren't with us, Dave. We had, had curry no. chicken with rice in Dubai. That's crazy. Curry, curry chicken's big over there. Yeah, I would never do it that. It was so good. No. It was the yes. rice? Really? Had curry chicken mixed with the rice over there? Yeah. Oh. Mix uh, Mick Mick curry rice, right? Yeah, it was McCurry. It was called like Mick Mick something. <laughs> Everything is Mick over there with McDonald's. They, chicken with they, rice. Can't, they can't stand it, bro. They got to put Mick in front of everything. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Oh, the black burgers are the buns. Oh, so the burgers are, the buns are black. I've never heard that. Well, I Greek sent me a picture of the Whopper that he got the other day, like a week and a half ago. It's the Spider-Man hot, Spider-Man Whopper. And the bun is red with black seeds on it. Oh no! I no! Don't be putting no. no. I was like, "What in God's name is this?" I would have not. I I wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah. But he did. <clears throat> I'm not gonna have it. You guys already knew that. If a red a red bun, you must be crazy, right, Pride? Yeah. I know Pride's gonna be like, "I like it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Dan. You gotta tilt your camera down, bro. You're like all the way. Your head is all the way at the bottom of the shot. Oh, I was up there. <laughs> have Have you um Have you got Miss 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 Worldwide up to speed, Pride? I know you're going to be tag teaming tonight. Miss Worldwide, what? Yeah. Oh, he. You there, Brooklyn? Oh, I thought he, like he froze for a second. I don't know. Yeah, I I have no idea what he's talking about, Pride. So. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, Brooklyn? Wait, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, yeah. No, I was saying that you won't get Miss Worldwide up to speed. I know you're going to be doing like a tag team tonight, right? Miss you're Worldwide? Yeah. I don't have Miss Worldwide over here. <laughs> no, Prado. 
Not you. Oh, right? oh I thought you said oh. pride. I, I, said pride. <laughs> I think his mic cut off right I thought, when he said I could, that. I, could, I, could, I, I, I was wondering what he was talking about. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what this is. Let me let me continue to listen. Maybe I'll learn something. Yeah. <laughs> you can talk about tag teaming. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, I, I think I, I think I gotta go. <laughs> crazy, man. I was about I to have a conversation. I was about to have a talk with Mr. Worldwide. Oh, <laughs> How man. many live viewers will you get up to max today? Reckon it will be more than no day. <laughs> um, when we get up to uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, no day was two thousand people at once. It was if it wasn't two thousand, it was very near two thousand at once. That's the highest we got. So I don't know, but I mean, right now it's already in one hundred ninety eight. You know, so yeah, we're probably gonna get up there. The later we get, Brian, the more people that will come on. I mean, it's already two hundred people. We're four hours away, three and a half hours away, right? Something like that. Yeah, and no, I gotta I, no, we're longer than that. We're five hours away. Yeah, I, well, five I, hours. my timer's right up at, uh, up in the top up here. So the, the timer is like... Oh, yeah, four hours, three, three minutes. There, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so just under five hours to go. I expect for it to be a very big crowd, especially now that we're just going to keep streaming, right? We're just streaming. We'll all walk away, and I'll just have, the, I'll, I'll just have that chart up that I showed you guys uh, so people can see that, and then we'll come back on when whenever you guys are ready because... I, I I plan to be I plan to trade for the entire thirty minutes. Yeah. Of 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 discount or not discount but limits. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I plan on that, but we'll, we'll see. I right? imagine by the time the thirty minutes gets, it's going to be pretty expensive to get a safe go. Yeah. I hope so. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't yeah. know because there's a there's a limit. I mean, like you got to understand that. When there was no limit, people were able to buy 500 and 300 of them. You can't do that now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, <clears throat> Brian, can you tell us what Nacho's going to do to actually do that? Because, Brian, like, Nacho actually said that it's not, it's not the contract. It's him. He's the one that's looking at your, at, at the trades come in. And if, if a wallet has more than one in, in an order, you won't be able to get it in the first, you know what I mean? I, I find that to be, I find that to be a daunting task for him to sit there and go through all these wallets going coming in. I don't know how he's going to do it. Do you know what how he's going to do it, Brian? What? What is Nacho going to do again? He's the one who's watching the wallets. It's not the contract. To, to, it, <clears throat> so you know how we have a limit, and we yeah. can only buy one in the first five minutes, or you can only have one in your wallet for the first five minutes. You can only have two point five. All right, so. With that, he said that he's the one watching. I don't understand that one. I guess he's going to be sitting there looking at every trade that comes in, and if he sees one that that comes in, I don't know. If, I don't even know if you can go more 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 than one, even if you tried. Uh, like I don't know how he, I don't know how he's doing it. <clears throat> he is a machine, Kelly. That's so funny. He's hey, a machine, uh, Kelly. Uh, Brian Brian's got a comment there. Look. Just right above Brooklyn there. No, no. It's the contract, laugh out loud, not manual. It's AI. Oh, okay. So there you go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, AI is to handle it. Brian, yeah. is it also uh, the artificial intelligence that also the artificial intelligence that also allows you to 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 uh, construct the liquidity pool the way you are, where where we have one 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 side that's worth so much more than the other, but you're still able to get them to, or is that something that's always been the case? I, I was wondering about that, you know? <clears throat> At, uh, Athena says, it must be done with the con by the contract. Can't see them monitoring it. Yeah, that's why I thought it was, I thought it was weird when he said that. I play, I play on that too. But let's see. Maybe I plan on that too. But let's see if I go in with B and B in the first five, then switch to safely for the second five minutes. Uh, that's it. Then I'm back to B and B until I get to until I got ten B and B left for gas. Good, good plan. Our 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 poll though with uh, ninety nine now a hundred votes, hundred one fifty four percent of people are starting with B and B. So it has a little bit of an edge. It's not. I thought it would be higher than that. I really did. 
you know, I thought it'd be higher than that. <clears throat> so, should um, let me send uh, over the link to Brian just in case, just in case he wants to pop on. You never know, you know. You never know. <clears throat> Brian, I'm sending it to you just in case. If you want, you could just pop on. Have a conversation well, with the people. I'm going to have to take a break in a, a few hours here because I need to go to McDonald's now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. That sounds yeah. like a plan right there, yeah. brother. Yeah. So, you, Daniel, we'll figure it out and you, you take your break and then I'll take my break, whatever. What, but I'm going to McDonald's, brother. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Well, no, we're going to stop at 6.30 anyway. Well, I'm, I'm not leaving my house at that time, dude. I'm like sitting right in front of my computer. I'm going to be there for like an hour and a half just waiting with my fingers. Well, Wait. I'm already done all of my prep work. I've, I've prepped everything. I've got everything ready to go. All contracts installed. The only thing that I have not done yet is enabled the contract. To be, I'm sorry. Yeah, enable the contract. Enable the token to be traded. But that happens in the first trade. After that, it's done. <clears throat> So, yeah, that happens in the first trade, right? Like you can't, you can't yeah. do it. It's like you can't do it right now. Yeah. So, interesting. it will be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, Miss Worldwide just just destroyed your dreams, brother. We're having pizza. Nice. <laughs> oh, we are. Well, I don't mind pizza too, bro. What version of pancake swap do, uh, do we set? On version two or version three? Version two, you turn off version three. You know, because it's there's no way that it's gonna happen. Yeah, this word, this, this word in the Discord to not even worry about right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't might have still won't so it's going to be V2. If you're I, if you're trading Seifu for Seifu Go, it's gonna go to the Seifu Seifu Go liquidity pool. It's not gonna there's no jumping around, you know, like that's not gonna happen. If there's a liquidity pool, then it's going to go directly to that, and that's it. That there's no uh, there's no multi hopping at all. All right, everybody, so don't worry about it. But if you feel if it makes you feel company comfortable, turn off veto. All yeah. right. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Slippage is at twenty five percent. That's what I have it at. It doesn't have to be as high as before. It's not going to be as volatile. I mean, it's going to be volatile, but it's not going to be as volatile. Where like in one second you go from one to two dollars, right? Like you know. Like that's a one hundred percent jump, or at least very close to that. Every second that went by, it was just crazy, going up, 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 up. So there you go. Is Melafella? Have you guys talked to him? Is he not able to join? I saw him in the comments. I sent him the link, but well, if he's if he wants to come on, he can come on. Everybody's welcome. <clears throat> he might be busy and just supporting us from the comments. You know? Yeah. Yeah. New York pizza. If you want New York pizza, Kelly Productions, I'll tell you where to go. Just find the nearest pizza place near you. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, your pizza is different. No, it's not. It is. Bro, just I, was, I grew slices. up in Delaware. I grew up in Delaware. Excellent pizza places. Then I lived in Philadelphia. I've lived in New Jersey, and I've worked in New York. There is no difference. There's no such thing as a New York pizza. You ever watch that guy from uh, uh, what's that? Uh, guy? Like a Chicago pizza is different. Yeah, that's a different style of pizza. But every pizza that's made when you flatten the dough out, you put sauce and then cheese on top, they do that everywhere. It's the same thing. Yeah, watch the guy on YouTube. He's like a barstool sports guy. Does the pizza reviews? No, I haven't seen it, but I'd like to. That uh -huh. sounds like fun. Yeah, he does strictly <clears throat> pizza reviews. Uh oh, Kelly Production says you're fud oh. New York pizza. That's yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. It, you know, and the, the, what I what I heard about New York pizza is it rugs other pizzas. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. They told me that. <laughs> and now I'm really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Worldwide saying I hate Delaware pizza. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that comment. Yeah. She's, <laughs> I don't know. She's she's uh, she's putting it out there. What's the? I mean, is there a difference between Delaware pizza and New York pizza? I mean, no. why why does she not like it? She's a hate. She's a hater. She hates Delaware in every way. If I ever go to Delaware and I get pizza and it's bad, I'm gonna be upset with you that she didn't explain to me not to get it. No, it's good. It's so good. Did you also think? 
Do you also think Philadelphia has the best cheesesteaks? Of course. Well, that's where it comes from. So that they naturally would have, you know, the best cheesesteaks. Yes. I think the best thing that happened to New York cheesesteak was cheesesteaks were was uh, Penn Station because everywhere I've gone, it's really good. Well, there's. I I remember when I first moved up here, I was shocked that the the the, the very little distance that we were to Philadelphia, and nobody could do a cheesesteak. Now there's a bunch of people that know how to do it now. Who's the but bar yeah. schools guy? The the guy that does the pizza thing. Yeah, and he goes yeah. all over the place, and that's all he's saying. He he'll get a pizza in like Kansas, and it'll be like right. really good. <laughs> it's like I don't know. Let's look him up now and look and watch. We've got plenty of time, guys. Barstool Pizza, Barstool, Barstool Talk Sports. No, he, he owns yeah. Barstool Sports, but he does the he has pizza reviews. Yeah, what's his okay. name? It's, um... I can't think of his oh, name God. though. Barstool yeah. Pizza Review. There we go. Yeah. That's it. Well, who's the guy? The guy goes around. Yeah, and does it. I can't think of his Dave? name. I know. It says Dave. Dave says Portnoy. Dave, Dave Portnoy. Portnoy. Yeah, yep, yeah. 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 He does. He goes into like a pizza place just in random places or whatever, and they're like, you know. They're like, yeah, we're we're here in Kansas. We're like, really? You got pizza there? Is that? that he'll, he'll be like, oh, it's really good. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see. There's uh Brooklyn, couple in Brooklyn. Three. There's one in Greenwich. Um, another one in Greenwich. He must be like in this area because he's doing a lot of. He does them all over <laughs> the world, but you know. Um, Europa Pizza Brewport Brewing Company. I think. I've heard of that. Um, I'm just oh, trying to see. The, oh, Joe and Pat's Pizzeria. This is a great pizza place. I'm gonna uh, let's let's watch this guy's video. These are always fun to watch. Uh, by the way, it goes Solomon Patel. I'm sorry, Solomon Patel with a super chat. So, sup guys, please explain what the Seifu Go B and B and Seifu Go Seifu can add <coughs> can add or for and how. We are meant to use them. I know the Seifu Go coin can add is to add Seifu Go to your wallet and PCS. Thanks and best of luck. Well, the the either one. Okay, so the question is, how do you use it? If you're going to trade Seifu, no matter what, both of them are going to have Seifu Go at the bottom. <coughs> That's what you're collecting. That's what you're trying to buy. So you put Seifu Go at the bottom. If you're going to use BNB, that's what goes on top. If you're going to use Seiku, that's what's going on top. And that and and whichever one you use, that's the pool that it'll go to. So it'll go to the Seifu pool to get you your Seifu Go. If you're if you're using Seifu, it'll go to the BNB pool if you're using BNB to get your Seifu Go. Okay. Hopefully that answered your question. <clears throat> but this is a great pizza place, Joe and Pat's in Staten Island. This is freaking awesome. You been there before? Yes. It's freaking great. I love it. It's a great pizza place. They have very it's a very thin crust pizza. I, I mean that's that's not the real that's not the reason why I like it. It just happens to be that one. Well, isn't that New York pizza? Yeah. Say again? Isn't that New York pizza? Yes. It's, okay, it's so in Staten Island, but it's, it's in. Uh, we got pizza review. We got. There's, there's no, good got pizza places in New York. I'm just saying it, uh, it's. I don't know what's happening, Frankie. Just as good a pizza place anywhere else. And that's what oh, I always say. Okay. Like they, they're, they're, if you have this slice, it's not like you'll never have it like that again. There's hundreds of them, and thousands of them around the country. Well, I'm just the pizza. We just, we, we just, no, we're just reviewing the pizza. I'll tell them to make it more obvious. What? Plastic machine. Are you okay? What? Plastic machine. I don't know where the plastic machine is. <laughs> <laughs> guys in New York City. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. We got a guy is leaking blood out of his nose walking by looking for the plastic machine. This person is talking to me. He doesn't want to be on camera. You got to choose. I'm trying to do a pizza review here. Crazy! That guy had me speechless. I didn't want to make fun of him because his face was just like, bro. Yeah. Got a napkin. <laughs> just. Well, you got to be on camera if you want to do a slice. Well, then we got. I got. I got to do this pizza review. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm not even talking to you. 
Um, that's typical New York City. Yeah. It's not my pizza place. Joe and Pats, can I eat the pizza? He needs to just ignore this woman. Joe that's what he needs to do. Because Sorry. if you keep on talking to them, they just keep on going. Bro, he can't even get one take. I know. In New York City, everybody's in your damn business. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Joe and Frankie, what's going on? Joe and Pat. So they have a location since 1960 in Staten Island. When I went to Staten Island the other day, everyone said, go to Joe and Pat's, go to Joe and Pat's. We went to Lee's. Joe and Pat's just opened. This is day two. Those two. This lady won't it stop interrupting. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she won't stop talking. Um, yeah, but I'm doing a pizza review here, and you don't want to be on camera. All right. So they just opened. You fought a war? World War II. That's right. Attaboy. Thank you for your service. Okay. My pleasure. Um, <laughs> what is going on, Frank? All right, so we're doing a pizza review. Joe and Pat, Staten Island. Everyone's like, this place is going to be great. You're just hysterically laughing. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Shit. Regroup, because this is a big pizza review. It's their second day here. Everyone's like, you got to give it a shot. They knew I was coming. The chef. Oh, this must be in a different place than Staten Island. This is a new place. But I always go to the one in Staten Island. The owner, I think it was Pat or Joe, one of them came up. He's like, I'm excited for you to be here. We saw you in Staten Island. So we're going to give this thing a review. One bite, everybody knows the rules. He took over the making of it. Looks like a good pie, Frankie. I got an anonymous tip. That said Look how thin it is. My second favorite behind John's Obliger. One bite, everybody knows the rules. What is it, Joe and Pat's? Joe and Pat's. Look at it, it's too much sauce on it. Yeah, that's a lot of sauce. Man. No, what it is is that they have, um, they put blotches of cheese. They don't sprinkle yeah. cheese. They put like blocks of yeah, cheese. See. That's why it looks like that. So there's just more sauce visible. New York pizza. I'm surprised it's that floppy, but the sauce is excellent. One bite. Everybody has a rule. Go and pack. The corner of East 10th and 1st Ave. It's brand new. This is good pizza. Anyway, you slide. I don't know what those two people. I don't want to make assumptions. I think they were gay. I love gays. <laughs> I think they were that gay couple. Maybe not. Maybe not that there's anything wrong with it. I don't care. I think they're gay. I love they, gays. They didn't get their food. Too bad because the food's very good. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely something that that New York is good for. A bunch of complainers. Same point four. A very good pizza, Frankie. I wish it was a little crispier. That surprised me. They protest everything and their mother in New York, don't they, Brooklyn? Every time you turn around, there's a protest somewhere. They do, man. Great new addition to downtown Manhattan. What Everybody's a review. Crazy review. It's a crazy What's that? Review. that Everybody's crazy. in a rush and unhappy about something. Yeah. <laughs> hey, either be in the review or stop talking, you old bag. Drink your fucking Coke that's four days old and all your bags and get out of my review. <laughs> You old bag. The second slice I just ate is so much crispier than the first. If the second slice was the score, that's that's a nine. I don't know how that maybe didn't settle, but the second had no flop. Second was a nine, Frankie. It's excellent pizza. I, I don't know what happened with the first slice. If anybody ever gets a chance to go there in Staten Island, <clears throat> this Joe and Pat's pizza is excellent. It's a nine point mm. three and right the only problem is it's in Staten Island, right, Brooklyn? Yeah, that's, that's out the way. Yeah, that <laughs> out the way. Yeah, that's the only problem with it. Other than that, though, it's excellent pizza. Excellent pizza. What's the best pizza shop in Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Uh, I'm not really a big pizza, pizza guy. I hate no. to say it to you guys. I'm not a pizza guy, man. I'm. I'm more of a restaurant dude, man. I, I do like juniors and stuff like that. I'm not a big pizza fan. Yeah, you're you're not me. I love pizza. So I, is that the cheesecake place? Is it Junior's the che cheesecake place? Junior's, yeah, they have this famous cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. But they also have other food too. Yeah, man. But yeah, Prado's right. All pizza's the same. 
<laughs> well, it's like sex. Even though, even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Tyler? You know, what's going on? You got the wrong Lambo in the background, man. You better put that Euros up there. Nah, this is this is actual uh, a Lambo that's that wrong. holds value, bro. Like that's the wrong Lambo, buddy. Not some not some made by Ford, all right? Like the Lambo yours, buddy. Nah, yours is made by Ford, man. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> I already showed you that video. My man was up there taking off the door panels and yeah, everything. Was ahead. He, he, nah, he, he didn't show you the screws was out already. <laughs> no, he, my man was like Lamborghini. <laughs> It was breaking that whole car with one hand, man. I don't think so, you map this. It's just playing the guy's video, you know. Usually people don't do that when you're when you play their videos. <clears throat> it's got to be right. somebody with, with a big gi big giant ego to do that. Cuz we play each right. other's videos and then people discover each other and then, then they get viewers that way. Go ahead. I'm saying I'm going to tell Brian Legend Fowler thinks the Lamborghini Urus is trash. Will you tell this guy it's not Wait, trash. On. Where is that at? Where is it? Where is Brown that Legend at? tell Fowler hey, the Daniel, not trash. Daniel, uh -huh. our stream is gone. Our stream is gone. That's what he's talking about. No, it's not. We're live. Oh, our stream is gone. That's right. I'm looking live in Daniel Prado right now, and it says stream un unavailable. Oh, now it's gone back. too. Oh, oh no. Did they, is it, it says that we're live, though, but you're kidding yeah, me. I, I'm looking at it live right now, but while I was doing it, it says stream un unavailable. Yeah, they're in the it, comments. Back, it, I, I'm looking at it on Mrs. Worldwide's. It's back now. Yeah, it's yeah, back. It's, uh, it's, so it's we couldn't, we can't. Yeah, so I guess, I guess that dude uh, has a copyright infringement on there. Yeah, man. Yeah. You too. So we got, we, we got zapped. Uh, we'll have a new link up shortly. And then that's where your map, your map came in. And then uh, everybody's oh, saying I that think. we're back now. No, but we're back, though. Yeah, we back. We're back. Yeah, that's that's weak though, man. That dude has that on his page like that. Hey, man. I guess it's like an automatic thing. Well, Brian, it was that we were we were watching that dude's pizza freaking uh, channel, and and I guess there's like an automatic thing that zaps people's channel when you watch stuff on his freaking channel. What the hell is that, bro? Hey, man, they don't play, man. They say they want a piece of that revenue share. <laughs> it's like five minutes of it. It's like a five minute video, bro. It's terrible. Well, next time we'll, just, we'll act out the video. How about that? We'll just be like, you know, I was wondering why the, the viewership went down so much. We were over 200 now. It's at 160. I'm like, what happened? And now I just realized, yeah. Everybody can still see us all though, and everybody's channel. Everybody still can see us, right? Yep, I got I got everything. It's all uh, everything, everybody's back up. Hold on, let me go check my channel, see if I got banned. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I might get banned. I ain't monetized. Bro. Right. Like, oh, see, we just made you monetize. See, you breaking rules already. <laughs> <laughs> the stream was interrupted. <laughs> um, due to copyright match, your stream was in interrupted. Streams are interrupted when copyright content is detected. So oh, yeah, I just got I just got the email from YouTube. You are in trouble. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not monetized. What do you? Yeah, it doesn't. Wow. It does, that's all. That's all it is. Is that it, they just take away the monetization for that? Infringed. Meaning, like anybody that watches it afterwards. Infringed on the guy that's sitting there eating pizza on the street. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unbelievable that he would have that. Like, I'm pretty sure that his channel got as big as it did because of other people sharing his video. You know what I mean? Like that's just so weak to me. Yeah, you would think. I mean, God. I do not recommend anyone go to his uh, to his channel at all. <laughs> all right, one bite. Uh, what is it called? One bite pizza reviews. Yeah, don't go there. He said he want all that ad revenue. <laughs> um, our poll question is that fifty nine percent. Let's end the poll there. One hundred thirty eight people. Fifty nine people. Uh, I'll come up with another poll question. What do you guys want to know from the people? What's what price do you think? What is it in the first th thirty minutes? Yeah, yeah, for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh no, I can put the first. There's still enough. Yeah, you only can. You only have a hundred characters, so. In the first thirty minutes, 
I'm just going to make sure I, I spelled it right. Because <clears throat> I'm always spelling crap wrong, bro. <laughs> Uh, so what are we thinking? Uh, so pride says 5,000. <clears> are we going to go low, like 1,000 too? Do you want to go low there? Let's go 1,000 as, um, uh, not, oh, that's right. It's after the first 30 minutes. So it's going to be, it's going to be lower, right? It's not going to be the top. So that'll be the, the, that, that'll be the top. And then we'll go, uh, 500 and then we'll go 100 Right. And then we'll go like pride said thirty five dollars. Do you guys think those are good choices? Yeah. I said after yeah. five minutes, thirty five bucks. Okay, so after thirty minutes, what is it that you think it's gonna get to, bro? Um let's go with uh thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that needs to go to the top. Thirty-five hundred. So this is. I'm just fixing the these. Then this is one. We'll turn this one into the one hundred. So the choices are, guys, five one hundred after thirty minutes, one hundred, five hundred, one thousand, and thirty-five hundred. After one hour of trading, um, so it's out there for you guys now to vote on. I wonder what people will say there. I think that I think the uh, I think thirty five hundred. No, uh, probably one thousand. No, thirty five hundred. I think will be in the lead. That's what I think wins. What do you guys think? I, I, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I think I I, I voted for the thirty five hundred. But... Oh, you did. Okay. I can't vote for it. <laughs> you think it's five thousand, right? Um, yeah, I think that we get to twelve or ten or twelve is as the high, but not in the first hour. I think that we get to like maybe five thousand, three thousand five hundred, like you said. I think that's a good number. After after thirty minutes, yeah, yeah. Because what happens after the thirty minutes is when it's that's when the real game begins. Because it's open. There's no there's no limits. <coughs> right? Do you guys think that's true too? Or I agree. I don't know. What is Brian's prediction? Good question, Jay Legend. And for some reason I cannot click on anything anymore. <clears throat> See, Pride, I told you yard sucks, man. Brian, you, uh, Brian. I, I brought that up. Are you still? What did Brian say? Up? Brian never said nothing. That's the whole point. <laughs> oh, that's right. hey, oh, right. He probably, he probably blanked up. Brian Legend, tell Fowler that the Lamborghini Euros is not trash. I Please, think it's trash man. He think it's trash. He I think it's probably the best thing on earth. Get a car. Tell him, the Euro, tell him the Euros is not trash. Please. He don't come back with it. It definitely sucks. He has a Lambo Euros, a black one. Oh, that's who Brian does. Yeah. Uh, well, of course what he's gonna say like if he got one. <laughs> what is it called? Lamborghini Euros. Remember you put you put the video up for me. The Lamborghini he might say Euros. you know what he might say he want to give it back or trade in or something. Who knows? <laughs> or sell it or something. Yeah, there's sound. Uh, a the greatest. Um, I don't. I we I can hear all the guys, so that means that everyone can hear them. So. Solomon Patel said, sorry, my super chat was asking, what are the two pair addresses? So uh well, so we can is, use them. No, there's there's only there's only one address you need. <clears throat> those like are Brian. those are to look at uh those addresses that you're looking at are for like website addresses that you could for Dex tools so you could see the chart. You only need one address to trade it. The Seipu Go trade, the Seipu Go address. Right, Pride? Yeah, Brian Legend came back with his, uh, his message. He just gets highlighted. Oh, this one, yeah. yeah, there you go, Fowler. <laughs> I feel like if you go get a Lambo, man, just get the car, man, just get the car. Uh, I don't even know, I've, I've never he heard of this his, car. He said it's his daily driver, though. That's the one, so, that's the one you went over. Remember the video you had on there? We should, yeah, pull the video up. 
You get a Don't daily, put a video up, Daniel. You get a daily. You get a daily yeah. drive that pride. You go daily drive it. If I if I show it, Brian might strike me with a uh, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Over three thousand and under eleven thousand for the high. Um. For, I'm sorry. Over three thousand and under eleven thousand for the high. For, so I'm saying he's probably saying for the first hour. Okay, so three thousand for the first hour, and then eleven thousand for the high. Twenty two dollars and fifty five dollars for the low. So he's 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 going all over the place with this. Um, I don't think that we go with twenty five or twenty two dollars, fifty five dollars. I don't think we ever hit that. We, we're going to go past that and then never return to that. We'll come down to the hundreds and stuff like that, but that's it. I don't think that we. And by the way, don't forget, everybody, there's rebasing involved here. Don't forget that, everybody. There is rebasing involved here. Uh, right, Fowler? Yeah, I was. Uh, hold on one second. I'm uh, a desync real quick. What did you say, uh, Prado? I'm sorry. I was desync. I, I said, don't forget, there's rebasing with this, with this token. Don't forget that. 1% a day, a whopping 1% a day. Yeah. So, I mean, especially people go have a whole lot of them. I mean, I I would think you would probably want to hold on to them, but for the people who are, I guess, trying to get in and out, you know, but it's, it's options for everybody. That's the greatest thing about it. You can't really fail at this unless you just like, I don't know, sell before all this stuff happens. Um, checking, it's hard, madman. I can't read that right now, buddy. It's like huge, long message. Um, so I, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, man. He sent me like a big long message like this. I can't read that right now. I know you, Crypto Pride. I know you see uh Kelly Productions uh, message. Yeah, that yeah. message is right there. I know yeah, you see bull it. crap. Nah, Ooh. man. That's it's fact. That, that's a fact. That's not a. That's not bull crap, man. It's not fake news here. The Urus, pronounced Urus, is just an Audi chassis with a better engine. The Huracan is that what is that is that how you pronounce that? The Huracan STO yeah. is worth the money. The fact Brian is telling us that it is his daily should tell you what it's That's for. What I said. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. He's saying it's his daily though. <laughs> yeah, you don't take out the, the the Lambo daily. You don't do that, Daniel. Unless you Brian Legend, Brian Legend do those things, man. Change the pants. Read, read the know. next one. Read the next one. Read the next one from Brian Legend. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, legendary nachos uh, posted in uh, the discord that it looks like you will need to turn off multi hop on pancake swap for safe food, safe go, safe food trades. It's in the pen okay. messages on the chat, so so everybody can know about it. <clears throat> So let me go to that now. Uh, everybody, turn off multi hop. Turn off multi hop on Pancake Swap, okay? Turn off multi hop on Pancake Swap. Brian Legend says Lambo Gallardo. What is that? The, is that the way you say that? Gallardo or Gallardo? Gallardo. Huracan. I've owned them, but so uncomfortable where I need to drive them. Without shoes, because I'm so tall, the Ferrari 812, super fast, whoops, Lambo, hands down. Mm. Faster car. Brian is so tall that these are very difficult cars for him to be getting. In, getting. Maybe, you, maybe you can get the Bugatti. Isn't that like, it's, uh, I know that uh, Andrew Tate talks, talks about that all the time. He's a tall, big, tall guy, and he seems to be very comfortable in that. But that's a $5 million car right there. That's the thing. Brian, you got to have a hundred million dollars or more to buy that car. You're almost there. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. Like, I, if I if I had forty or fifty million, like Brian, I'm not buying a five million dollar car. Are you guys? That's a hundred million dollars or more car. You can't you can't buy that car, bro. Not unless you have that kind of money. And Brian's well on his well there. He's going to be a billionaire because of Vulcan. Let's not forget about Vulcan blockchain, everybody. That's still coming. And it's coming very soon. Right, Brooklyn? Very soon. Next few um, what? Another few weeks? We ready. ready I think and it's gonna ready. be done by the by the end of this uh by the end of this month. Since we have pride here 
and he and he is also he's you you've had that uh that feeling that we were going to open in, in Q2 maybe July maybe maybe August do you feel a little bit different nowadays than than you did back then or or do you still feel the same I'm I'm expecting that you feel differently now right now you're trying to start some stuff up like I said now hey <laughs> <laughs> no comment <laughs> he's trying to start some stuff I was af I was actually asking you not just say you only need to turn off multi hop on Seifu Go, not the B and B pool, the B and B pool. So <clears throat> you only, you, but once you turn it off, though, you're using the same swap for both. You're not going to go back and turn it. Off. Just turn it off. You don't need it. <clears throat> not for this. You need it for other things, but not this. <clears throat> but no, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not trying to start anything. Do you? So, so you. In other words, what you're saying, Pride, is you still think that we're going to release in Q3? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm still sticking with July. Okay. Not July. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, if it if it lands in the first week of July, then you were right, you know. But I think if it goes to if I I think if it goes to July, that's where it would go to the first week of July. I don't think it goes further than that. That's what I think, you know. But what do I know? Uh, so where is the cheapest place to buy Seifu now? I heard you can only buy one. Seifu go ahead of BNB buyers anyway. Uh, no, uh, A, the greatest. Everybody can only buy one in the first yeah. using both BNB oh, and Seifu. It doesn't matter which one you buy. If your wallet contains one Seifu, <laughs> you have to wait five minutes. It's called a limit. It's not, it's not, you can only buy one Seifu go and then that's it. Like it's just for the first five minutes. And then after that, you can own one. In the first five minutes in your wallet, the second five minutes, you can own 2.5, then 5, then 10, 15, then 25, and then it opens up and you can buy as many as you want and sell as many as you want, okay? Yeah, my plan is to have 58 and a half after 30 minutes, so we'll see. 58 and a half? 58 and a half. 58 and a half what? Safe will go. Oh, that's what you're going to get? Well, that's my plan. In the first okay. thirty minutes, it's the max on each each level. Yeah, <clears throat> that's true. Um, mm -hmm. UK Shepsi says not just stated. Oh, we did that one already. No, it's pronounced Gayard. Stop listening to Pride for pronunciations. <laughs> Gallardo. <laughs> Gallardo. I always, say says, I always say people says Gallardo. So hey. Gallardo. That's what I said, though, right? Didn't I say it that way? I think I did. <clears throat> Should split routing stay on? If it's on, then yeah, leave it on. I don't. That that makes no difference, right? Does anybody have a problem with that? I don't think that that doesn't that doesn't do anything. If it's on already, just keep it on. The ones that you have to turn off is V three, and then multi hop. Right. V three and then multi hop. That's the only ones you have to worry about. Yeah, I'd leave that alone. Uh, do we need to turn off Pancake Swap V3? Yeah, there you go. Uh, get a good boat, mate. Oh, yeah, boats are nice, too. <laughs> Does Brian have a boat? Do you have a boat? Now nah, Bugatti ain't legal or able to be imported into Australia, dude. Otherwise, I would have owned one already. Okay. Brian uh, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, I would have got one already. I I just wouldn't feel like I'm sure maybe Brian has a hundred million dollars. We just I didn't know, but yeah, I, I to me, a five million that like five percent of your worth at a hundred million dollars is a car. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy, but you know, to each his own. Everybody has their. I I would love to buy a Bugatti if I could afford it. I would buy a Bugatti. <clears throat> You know, it's like a club that you're that you belong to when you when you buy it. You know what I'm saying? You be, you get you you get to enter into because you they interview you to buy the car. You can't just buy one. Did you guys know that? No, I didn't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, they they want to talk to you. They they don't they don't just say, oh, you want to buy one? Yeah, come in. Like they they interview you. They, you they make sure that you can deal. buy it. Like yeah, they do the whole nine. No. Go ahead, Chris, uh, Pride. I said you've been you must have been watching too many Andrew Tate videos. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he, that that's what he he says it too. But I, I looked I it up. They 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 want to know about you. Like you, it's like a club that you get into. 
Yeah. If you buy it, then you're in this like exclusive club because don't forget, everyone who owns a Bugatti is a very high net worth individual. So now you're now you have access to those people. So they don't just let anybody in. You know what I mean? You have to actually apply. Basically, it's like an application to buy it, which I'm sure Brian would be able to get. You know? Yeah. Um, to all the people playing the Euros, what color is your Lambo? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Andrew Tate, Solomon Patel's it in my Andrew Tate voice. Wow, it is because it's over 1,000 horsepower to the wheel or the four turbos. Dang, Australia, give the guy a break talking about Brian with his uh, Bugatti comment. Yeah, so. Bro, I wanted, to, I wanted to maybe watch some other videos, but I'm afraid to now because I'm afraid we're going to get kicked off again. Yeah, pull, up some Lambo, pull up some Lambo yours videos, buddy. Get me excited. Yeah, let's do that. What is it, make Lambo yours? Yeah, it makes Fala upset. <laughs> oh, trust me, I, I'm not upset at all. I wouldn't. I still, even if I could, I wouldn't buy a Lambo. Lambo. Why would they call it Lambo? Eurus. Like they should have come up with something else, right? This is the car you're talking about. This isn't. This is not. I don't like this car. Yeah, I would never. I would never buy this car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If I got, listen, if I all the cars in the world, you gave me enough for any car in the world. Yours wouldn't be one of them. Like, what you get? What you get, Fal? What you getting? You know what's funny? I would just get a Nissan GTR. Nissan GTR, really? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm not really. <laughs> uh, the name of the car, man, just don't do it for me, man. I just this, this other stuff. Hey, those pipes go. Oh yeah, man! <laughs> you need to hear me. But you know what? I mean, I get this. I get the status though, man, of having a Lambo and all that. So I get it. Trust me, I get it. This is the. Um, let me get rid of this comment because then you can see it better. But you can see this is the car that these guys are talking about, and I am unimpressed by this. This looks like a freaking Honda Civic. There we go. Look at that yellow one. <clears throat> man, if speed is a thing, man, just get you a Tesla. <clears throat> a Tesla? Mm -hmm. Are they fast? Teslas are nice, too. They'll take off for you. It ain't no fun. You can't hear nothing, but it's all good. Right. <laughs> you can't hear nothing. <laughs> this one looks cool right here, but that's not, that's not a, it's, this is a different car, right? Yeah, this is Gallardo. The Lamborghini Gallardo, this one, and this one. No, this is the Lamborghini Venino, <clears throat> this one. Hey, Brian, Brian left a uh, message up in there. <laughs> yeah, Fallon. One. More girls fit into the Euros. <laughs> <It's right laughs> <Brian Nelly. laughs> That's true. Yeah, there That's you go. True. <laughs> That's true. Lamborghini is the name of Ferruccio Lamborghini, who started building tractors in the 40s when he went to Enzo to help with Ferrari clutch issues. Enzo blew him off, so he went, uh, and that's when, what is this, Mura was born. I guess that's the first Lamborghini. Oh. Yeah, that's what it, that is the story that I heard that the guy went to go uh, help out with Ferrari, and you know, maybe, maybe even made a suggestion, and they just they just said no. So he just built his own sports car, and it, now that's how we have Lamborghini. And the guy's name is Lamborghini, so right. Mm -hmm. Uncle Dan, don't check it on YouTube. Just browse it in on Google and and expand the image. You won't get banned. Well, I mean. I've used I've seen so many videos on YouTube while we were while while I'm on. The last thing I thought that was going to happen, like I I the, the one time that I got kicked off the air was watching an Andrew Tate video, but that was uh, that was um, a, a brand new video, his first interview or something like that, um, and it was like getting a lot of play. 
So, you know, it's probably why I, that's what I thought it was because it was like the first day it was out. Everyone was watching it on that channel. But that video that we just watched, that's probably been out for years. And he's still he's still striking people. Like, come on, dude. You know, it's weak. But whatever. Uh, so no one wants to say where to buy the cheapest safe right now. Hey, the greatest, what are you talking about? There's no there's not multiple places to buy it. It's only one place you can get it. It's in Pancake Swap, you swap B and B for it. That's it. Now, Safe Go, when that comes out, yeah, there's going to be a cheaper place. One of the two. You can buy it from the BB pool or you can buy it from the Safe pool. There's going to be one of those that's cheaper, but it hasn't come up yet. Like it's not, it's not out yet, A the greatest. Right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't understand that. I mean, we're, we're, the cheapest place to buy Seifu right now is to just buy it. I don't, where would, where would that be to me? I, that doesn't make any sense. And if it's, if it's one of those things that you're, I would never condone like an individual going back. And, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. I have a great idea. Let's ask the magic Trump ball questions. That was fun yesterday. Did you see that, Fowler? What? Oh, the magic no. Trump A ball. He might be mad. No, who? No, I haven't seen. I was yesterday. I was completely out. Yeah, oh, now yeah. you 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 were out, but like Chris, well, it, it I was live for you, and it was it was and so I, fun. I, he ended up pulling out this freaking eight ball that talks like Trump. Well, it is Trump, and then he gives you an answer. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to do an eight ball, and I was like, I'm going to just try. I talked about gods of gaming, all that, then property flex. Milky came on, we talked about property flex, and then I tried to do an eight ball. When I went to look for the eight ball, they said, it's a Trump one. And I'm like, well, all right, let's do Trump then. <laughs> so, Question, when putting in Seifu into pancake swap to, for Seifu Go, it states one Seifu Go equals 1,400 or 14,272.8 Seifu. I'm Dude, assuming he, that isn't correct yet. Yes, that's yeah. not correct. It hasn't even started yet, Brian. No, no, no. He he probably has the old con contract still as the Seifu Go one. You have to delete that old one out of your tokens. Yeah, it did. It did. Like, I actually punched it up today because it was still in my wallet. Or no, yesterday, because I got rid of it yesterday. But it didn't say anything for me. It just spins. Doesn't do anything. So There's, yeah, that, that that might not be it. But for anything to say fourteen thousand would have to be like wrong, or or they're still showing the old one. Or mine had zero. But I just deleted all Safe Go tokens in my any any kind of anything that I had, and I put the new one in as import as a new token. So I knew that there was no confusion. Yeah. That's what I did, and it's reading nothing right now. In fact, it does read something. Um, it's just, it's going to tell you it's one Seifu. When I looked at it, it reads one Seifu. I was looking at my phone when it popped up. And I was like, oh, there we go. But yeah, it, it is. Uh, <clears throat> it's ultra expensive to buy cars here in Australia, too. We have a 30% luxury car tax here, Dang. which is just ridiculous. And Brian, what about your government down there? I've, I've heard bad things about the government coming down hard on crypto in Australia as well. So that's not good either. I'm sure you're not happy about that. Did you guys ever hear about that? It was just like a week, maybe a week and a half ago, I heard about the Australian government coming down on crypto. 30% tax, luxury tax, sheesh. Thank goodness that thirty percent tax got taken off, right, Fowler? For the uh, because of the, uh, the, the, yeah. the budget, they took it out. The thirty percent really? tax on Bitcoin miners for for electricity out? usage that got taken out of the bill. There was it's not it's 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 no more now unless what they I, can, unless oh. they bring it back. But you know maybe by the time they 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 may let's say they get back to this you know uh, in, in the uh, budget and the new budget after twenty twenty five. Maybe there'll be better knowledge about what Bitcoin's doing to save and also distribute energy in times of need as well. Uh, they're creating energy, they have renewable energy. They've done a whole bunch. The Bitcoin uh, blockchain has done a ton in the way of renewable energy. They just don't know it. 
<clears throat> I mean, uh, to be honest, man, they need to do something now. Like, I, I you know, just look at it from a political uh, standpoint, right? You would think he would do that on a, you know, to bolster uh, his his political rating, right? I mean, he is tripping all over the place, so, so it's yeah. like. Like, come on, man, you got to spark people up when the first thing you say is be like, hey, we're going to look at, you know, utilizing crypto in a better, more effective nine, uh, you know. You would less- think of it. That's not what he's doing right now. I mean, what I was talking about was the tax being taken out of the bill for the for the debt ceiling. For the miner. Oh, oh OK. So, for, the- for, so the mining, the, the, the yeah, the mine, the 30 percent tax on electricity usage by miners would have taken all. All, all mining out of the United States. They would have just been like, F you, bro. But that got taken out. The next time it might be proposed is sometime in 2025. But what I'm saying is that by 2025, let's hope that these lawmakers understand now, the understand better on, on what Bitcoin is doing to save energy and also come up with renewable energy. They came up with their own renewable energy. Bitcoin did. For for uh for 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 their mining, and but you know if you don't know you don't know and that's what these politicians they don't know. I'm hoping that that Biden snaps out of it at some point. He's gonna have to because he's gonna lose a lot of votes from from. I mean, there's a lot of people that are in crypto now. It doesn't seem like it, but there is, and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day. And if somebody goes, you know, if, if he continues down this path, I think that it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really bad for him. Because I'm not going to vote for him if he's going to be against crypto. That's just the bottom line. I'm not doing it. Oh, there we go, Fallon. There you go. There you go, man. You got, there you you go. got what you want. What? <laughs> His background. Hit you. Oh. Hold on. Let me, hold on, let me, hold on, yeah. let me turn myself off as you can see. It. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like it either. I'm just. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> that car can can uh, that car can drive past me a thousand times and I wouldn't notice it. I'm telling you, that thing is just like regular. It's like a regular car looking car to me. Hey, well, I, hey, yeah, I'm into bigger vehicles. I, like, I don't I, like Kelly said, man. It's an Audi at the end of the day. It's an Audi, not a Lambo. It's an Audi. <laughs> That's why Brian Ledger daily drives it every day. <laughs> he puts thousands and thousands of miles, probably. But wherever he goes, that's his daily driver. Like if you're if you're a Democrat, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, no, I was just saying, like, I just don't see that as a like a a sports car. Like it just like it might be under the hood. It could literally be a sports car. That um, yeah. What's it, behind you? Yeah. It no, look, that's not a sports car. It doesn't look like a sports car. Anymore. It's not. <laughs> If you're a Democrat in the U.S., you can vote for RFK Jr. in the primaries. He's crazy, though. That's the problem with him. There's something the matter with him, and I'm not going to vote for that guy at all. I'll vote for the Republican instead, whoever that is. If they're pro-crypto. If they're pro-crypto. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to vote for some nut job who believes in QAnon. That's nonsense to me. Um, but you know, anybody can, if they want, nothing has changed. Biden has been corrupt for the past 50 years in office. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're not going to get into all of that, dude. Well, I disagree I mean, with that anyway. The, the one problem that you have is that, uh, politicians in general, you know, even, the stories themselves. I mean, I, it, directing it at Biden is probably about as fair as any other politician. I mean, the stories could be corruption, but I mean, there's got to be proof and stuff like that. And most people just don't trust politicians. So, Listen, yeah. I mean, honestly, what's that? What's that guy named uh, Santos? Whatever. He, that guy's dead. Yeah, he's no, not not, not the Santos. Santos. Oh. He's in New York. Oh yeah, the guy in New York. George Santos. Yeah, George Santos. That guy's just running loose in the government. Nobody stops this guy. Nothing, right. man. But that's that's what, why he fits in, dude. But that's what I'm saying. Like it gets that. people. Yeah. People are never gonna trust the government when you when that stuff is blatant as day. Like you got other countries saying this guy's broken laws, and he's just sitting right. there collecting collecting uh his salary. No problem. 
Yeah. Well, the ugly truth is talking about Biden, though. And, like, the thing is, like, the ugly truth probably stopped at, you know, and, and like, people like that, people like the ugly truth. And I'm not criticizing you, ugly truth. You can believe what you want. But what, what happens is people say Biden is corrupt. And then people just go, OK, and that's it. Like that. They don't they don't look into anything. That's it. Like there was an investigation by Republicans in the House. OK, an entire investigation about how Joe Biden and his money and how he's getting money. And they found absolutely nothing wrong. The Republicans did. They couldn't find anything because there's nothing there. And I'm sorry if that hurts you guys. I don't know what to tell you. And I'm not even that big of a fan of Joe Biden right now. But I can't, I'm not going to say things that are not true just because, you know, that's just the fact. They didn't find anything. And, be, and the reason why they didn't find anything, because you could best believe that there was something there, they jump all over it. The reason why they didn't find anything is nothing's there. That's just the truth. It is. It's just the way it goes. Quarter mile under uh, in 10 seconds is that in that thing. Uh, what is that? The gas mileage, quarter mile in under 10 seconds. He's probably, I think he's talking about the zero to 60 or something. Okay. Well, maybe, I mean, if it goes that fast, I mean, but if it goes that fast and it looks like that, I don't care. <laughs> you know, Brian, Biden is more corrupt than anyone else running on both sides. <laughs> Look at the next question there. I know, Jay. like, this is funny. Like, I, let me, let me, let me just ask the question. In God we trust. Are you a Trump supporter? Because if you say yes, then it's game over, brother. Don't don't say yes though, because if you say yes, I've got a freaking list of all the corruption that that guy has done. But it's okay though, if it's Trump and a Republican. Those guys can do whatever they want. That's what pisses me off about these Trump supporters. Understand something. If you think that Biden is a corrupt and the most corrupt, you're looking at the guy that just got out, that just got uh, uh, taken out of office. It doesn't matter what you think. He's one of the most corrupt people ever in the history of mankind. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. But Biden is certainly not corrupt. He would have gotten all he like they find you can find stuff easily on people nowadays. You can't find anything on Biden because he hasn't done anything. There's all kinds of stuff being found about about Trump. It's just the way it is. I know the guys, the Trump people hate that though. He makes it so easy. Trump does. So he make himself in trouble. He keeps on saying dumb things. Doesn't matter. He, always in trouble. Always in trouble. More and yeah. more and more. Look at this comment here. I don't know. I don't know what influencers are making videos about airdrops. Oh, the spammers. The spammers. Scams. Oh yeah. None That's us, Philip. Man. Philip, there's a there's a there's if you if you look it up, if you look up Seifu, you're gonna find it's gonna be this like the same guy standing there, and it looks like a little bit of a different background, but he's like in the same pose, and it's over and over and over and over again. Like there's like five or six of them per page. They're all fake. There's no there's no airdrop of Seifu and Seifu go, but it's working. It's working because people are clicking on it and people are you know. People are, are are falling for it. They're they're giving up. They're 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 connecting their wallets and getting their stuff drained left and right all the time. That's what happens. That's why I'm telling you guys: don't get into this stuff. You're gonna lose your money. Look at the love uh, in P rides eyes after Look looking at Fowler's background. Yeah, he does <laughs> love that car, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm just not a fan, bro. Sorry. Uh, Pride's just like he's he doesn't even know what we're talking about. He's just staring at the car. <laughs> the ugly truth says doesn't hurt me or or offend me in any way i'm just telling you the truth i have no quarrel with anybody about who they support or who they think or believe in just telling you the truth you're not though i mean there's no there's nothing that's been found on biden they've looked desperately that's what i'm trying to explain to you guys they have desperately and i'm talking like right guys the Republicans have desperately tried to find something on Biden, and they can not. But you turn around, and every time you turn around, there's something right there for, 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 for Trump, and he's handing it to them. He's like, here you go. It's every day, but that's okay, though. You know, you know. That, let's talk about how corrupt Biden is with no proof and nothing else to say. The, the economy's booming. 
Oh, but you know, we're going to talk about how corrupt he is. It's just the most annoying thing about Biden is the fact that he is not. And with all these amazing things that's happening in this country, I still wouldn't vote for him because he's not. He's not pro crypto. That's how much I am in this because that's going to make a difference to me in my life. If he's not going to be pro crypto, I can't. I can't support him. But the facts are this: the the cut the country is doing amazingly well right now. The country is doing absolutely amazingly well right now, and there's nothing you can say about it to 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 say otherwise because the proof is right there. It's all over the place. It's all over the news, all over the pl- every every month jobs reports, every month unemployment is going down. There's just I mean the the the, the stock market is up. It's like everything is going well. It's crazy, but you know who cares about that, right? Your guy didn't win, so. If it was Trump, though, in the office, it'd be an amazing place to be right now, wouldn't it? It's like, bro, come on. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of that. But it is what it is. You know, I'll talk about it all day, though. Darwin the Turtle says, Prada Republican Party is infested with rhinos. No, they're not. Those are real Republicans. The ones that don't like Trump because they actually think that they have a shot at winning by getting rid of him. Those are the real Republicans. The rhinos are those, the MAGA Republicans. Like, like you, you apparently are a Trump fan. And so therefore, everybody who, who, who says that Trump lost and that, you know, they need to get rid of him. Those, those people who are right, by the way, the ones who if that's what you should be doing. If they do that, then they're a rhino. No, that's those are real Republicans. Those are the real Republicans. So, you know, <clears throat> that is the reason why they can't, quote, find. No, that's not the reason. The reason why they can't quote find anything, Darwin, is because there's nothing there. I know. I know you think otherwise, but that's not that's just the way it goes, brother. That's just the way it goes. <clears throat> All right, brother. Um, so let me say. Do you guys uh I think Fowler, you have control over over, over the comments too. If you see a comment that you want, you can you can click on it. No, you have control no. over. Yeah, I, I'm not. Uh, I don't if you any. want, I'm just letting you know. Like, if you see something, you can always click on it because you have control over it. Yeah. Like Pride used to have control over. It. By the way, I should just add Pride now, again, so that he, since he's since he's here, <clears throat> but Pride likes to go through the comments. Uh, A the greatest, haha. The Democrat have t- have tried, mate. My step my step grandfather was the director of the CIA, and they do crazy. SHIT and many stories are true, even the paranoid, uh, I'm sorry, even the paranormal research they did. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure that they, that they do crazy stuff, bro. Uh, I mean, the paranormal stuff, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how deep that gets. Are you talking about like aliens and stuff like that? Because I, I bet you they have some aliens hidden somewhere. <laughs> I bet you they have some aliens hidden somewhere, right, Pride? Hell yeah. Can't don't tell, don't uh, don't tell Kryptonian that though. Okay, right. <laughs> Where's the proof? I want to see it myself. Yeah, you're not gonna see everything yourself, Kryptonian. Sorry to tell you. I can't okay. believe that we don't have Kryptonian here. He's supposed to be on. I'm gonna put you on as a team member again, uh, Pride. I just gotta get rid of somebody though to do it. <clears throat> um. So I got Chris. He's not there. He's there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I have to get rid of uh, Biz. What's uh, what is it again? Just write uh, write in the private chat your uh, email address. Wow. <clears throat> um, Tina Paltea said, "Not true about something. Verify yourself, and it's uh, in, in announcements." Let me see if there's something that I missed in the announcements. No, there's nothing there. Okay, she's talking to somebody else. Uh, Prado, you should run for office. I don't think I run. A, I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to run for office. Who's the B big guy? The B okay. big guy. I don't know. I don't know. Chris is back though. Good to see. I'm bringing uh, Pride back on as a team member so that he can uh, do some. Here, cause just went, just went to the spinning circles. Can we? Can you guys still see us? We're good. 
I can hear you, but you look like you're froze up. You guys hear me? Can yeah, hear we're you? freezing up for some reason. You're good now. Uh, Pride, the um, hold on. Go ahead and accept it in your email and then come back on, okay? All right. I mean, you don't have to leave the stream, but I'm just saying, like, then you'll be able to, uh, then you'll be able to look at the comments and stuff, like, like me and Chris. Uh, <clears throat> Dougie says it's obvious Prado works and gets paid his wages from liberal media. <laughs> <laughs> there is plenty of evidence against Biden corruption about the liberal media. It is so corrupt. No, there isn't, Dougie. Sorry. I know that you think that there is, but, you know, and I know why you think there is. Because Trump said it, right? And Dougie, Trump said this before. He said it blatantly. All you have to do is say it, and they'll believe it. He's talking about you. Now I hope you I hope you understand that's what he thinks about you. All you have to do is say it and they'll believe it, meaning you. So if you think that, you can keep on thinking it all you want, but you know, it is what it is, bro. If if Biden had something on him, believe me, they'll get his ass. But they're not going to. You know what? There's nothing there. I, I hate to I hate to be the one to tell you, bro, but I know that Trump said it, so you believe it. He's even point blank said that. And you still fall for it. Yes, Curly, but combustion engine uh, will remain on top when, when it comes to top seed. Electric is winning the off-the-line battle for sure, but battery power can't yet have high top speeds. Yeah, that's the thing about those cars. And they also, like, how long do they last? For how many miles? I don't even know. Do you have an electric car, Pride? I don't think you have yeah. an electric car, right? You do? Oh, no, 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 no. They are getting to be everywhere, though. What I don't like about them is that, to me, they seem to all look the same. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't they all kind of look the same? Tesla's? Yeah. Yeah. yeah because you all, probably because you only see Tesla's, really. Yeah, really. All over the place. But what I mean by that is, don't they sell more than one model? Why, do, why does everybody have the same Tesla? Seems to me that everybody has the same it's, it's one. The, it's the cheap one. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap one. Yeah. Oh, a lot of them. A lot of them are using them for like rental purposes, stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Make some money, Toro. Yeah, Toro. A the uh, the grace of drunk as H E L L in Vietnam. Is that where you are? Vietnam. There is a guy with over one hundred wallets. Getting ready to buy Esco. How is that fair? It's fair because you can do the same damn thing. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I was. I was going to say, like, I mean, how's it not fair? Like, I mean, if he created a hundred wallets. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to do that in five and, minutes to get. You know. fun funded it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't see how he's going to do that in five minutes, but you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Brian how says. Trump won. <laughs> Trump oh, I thought won. you were saying that it was Brian Ledge. I was like, <laughs> no, that's it. He spelled his name like Brian, but he just puts his name as Brian. Oh, he always he's, he's always just been Brian. He doesn't put his last name, but he said Trump won. <laughs> Tesla X Plaid is now uh, is low nines all day long on the street. N low uh, low nines meaning zero to sixty. Zero, zero miles per hour. Okay. And I don't. Yeah, nine, that, that's what nine, they call it. Low nines. I thought of. Well, that can't be right because because it's better than that. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, the test of performance is like three seconds, zero to sixty. Unless he's talking about a different distance than like most. Prado is blinded by liberal media. Of course, they are his paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Because because I work for uh, a company, that's my political view. There's no Republicans at all at NBC News. Did you guys know that? Not one. You know they, I I did hear them I, say I, that. I did, I, that's a dumb thing to say because it's actually not true. But I thought people would get it. Like it's just stupid. But go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I I heard they said that. Oh, um, they said that. Right. Said that. 
Yeah, they seem to be telling us a lot of things. They they are also telling Dougie a lot of stuff too. They they told me to put the Trump ball on Fowler's time slot. <laughs> you like who is they? Them. <laughs> yeah, them. You don't know who they are. It's them. Everybody knows who they are. It's them. <laughs> Zapo is pegged one to one to Esco. Why not just buy Zapo now? Great question. In fact, let's take a look at the chart, and it's still in the dumps at ninety two cents, ladies and gentlemen. Ninety two cents. I thought at one point. Uh, um, early this week and, and last weekend, uh, Chris, I thought that we might even get to $5 this weekend. At one point, I thought that that might happen. And here we are, under a dollar on the day that you can buy Safu Go with a one to one with Safu. That would be two bucks at least, two dollars. At yeah, least. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. Last time I said there was a buying opportunity, everybody lost their. Uh their stuff so i'm just sitting well, why would here that be the case? anytime you say there's a good buying opportunity that it usually like this is a great buying opportunity yeah yeah that, we've that's seen the over a dollar over here accumulating while you're speaking so i'm 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 happy <laughs> okay well i'm done acc accumulating because I, I i just i don't have any more to accumulate with i did add a little tiny bit to my bag today uh on the bnb &B side i have my wallets set up multiple wallets set up um i will be going on both sides <clears throat> starting with the safe side what about you fowler are you you're doing this tonight right fowler oh yeah definitely doing okay. I'm, I'm getting so what are you starting with are you starting with uh doing both with safe food no but which one are you starting with um whichever <laughs> hey you got, I, I got the, huh? well, so you got the you got the bots going on right I ain't got no bots, man. That's because I, I was saying both. I just forgot the H and it came Oh, I, I, seen, I seen you said bots. Oh, you got I thought you said it. bots. I'm like, man. Yeah. Nah, I'm not buying. I wish I could buy. It. Make it easy on myself. Right, exactly. I rather I would rather look and do it myself. I'm going to be looking at the price of Seifu. If the price ain't there, then I'm B&B. &B. The B&B &B is, is, we already know what the price of B&B &B is over the price of Esco, right? right. So... When it comes to that, I don't really have to watch the price of BNB, &B, right? But I do have to watch the price of Safu because, yeah, I mean, I could start at the the at the very start and use my Safu, but it could be ninety, whatever it is at now, ninety two cents or something like that. Ninety is mine even up there? Ninety three? I'm showing ninety three eighty, but uh, yeah, yeah, so it can stay there, right? And if I choose to go in when every the when the trading starts and it's still 93 cents, I'm losing. Because if it shoots up, what, a couple minutes later, I could have got more. Now, if you look at it, if you're going to try to attain as much as you can, if, you, if that's what you want to ride on, then ride, then go straight in. I mean, you can still do that. I mean, it's I, that's why I said you can't really mess this up. It's just, yeah. you just how I do you want to, how do you want to make the most profit if you want to, if you look at those type of things, but you can't really mess this up, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I see all kinds of opportunities out there. So, I mean, just stay focused. Have your have your game plan, your strategy prepared for it, and and yeah. go. And I then so I was talking about bots and stuff like that. The, I I I run bots like for forex and stuff like that. I would never never trust a bot to something like this. Mm -hmm. Never that that that's like man, you take all your ability out of that and what are you gonna maybe a second or two faster than what you can do it's just to me that's the way i feel about it pride wait until you see the video that i put out when i'm done trading you guys are going to be like what the f did i just do <laughs> that's okay. right and I'm, I'm, I am going to be rolling on myself, doing it. I'm going to bang it out of the park. And, um, <clears throat> you know, because nobody's faster than me. That's just the bottom line. I only, I only screwed up the last time because I had to copy the goddamn uh, uh, stupid contract address. Otherwise, I would have gotten it done in one 
in three seconds flat, it would have been done over with in three seconds. Quickest, you like quickest. Use, you like using. I'll say you like using trust trust wallet too, right? No, I switched. I made the. I I performed what's you called the old switcheroo today. You switched at the last minute. Uh oh. No, the reason why was because the strategy the strategy that I'm implementing. Which have you guys heard of the, the Nunya strategy? That's what I'm using today. I spent all my <laughs> researching Nunya strategy. I appreciate yeah. that tip you gave me, Daniel. Well, yeah, I because I, I told Chris about it. He found out about it also. He's using it as well. You mm -hmm. guys are using that too, though, right? Yeah. The, the Nunya strategy. Yeah. Or the knocking a method. Are you going to use the knocking a method? Is that you, Fowler? Is that you're the not not gonna method, right? Is that? That's you, Fowler. That's right? my shirt thing, right? That's my yeah, shirt. something like that. Not gonna method. I'll probably say <laughs> yeah. it. I don't know. What does that mean? Is that I, IDK? Was, I don't know. DC? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't I don't care. Okay. And then there's something at the yeah. bottom, too. We can't see it. it you're I, see. I don't give a oh. F. Yeah. Bro, you just like disappeared, bro. <laughs> yeah. I know. We can see right through you, bro. Yeah. God. You turned into a green screen. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, um, uh, I'm gonna do those those methods, but what the reason why pride is because on on trust wallet, uh, you you I'll explain it after we're after we're done trading. On yeah. trust, it's a it's a it's a it's a far different uh, experience. Uh, Brian says. Uh, I'm sorry, Rickness says wife and I are supposed to have date night tonight. Now I have her helping me buy Safe Go on five wallets. She is buying two, and I'm buying on three. There you go. Well, Rick. That's kind of a date night. That's like uh, making money while you're uh, on date night. You know? I love that date night. Yeah. That's really nice, bro. That's really nice. Um, also, we have Chips PC Lounge says, Good luck, everyone, tonight. Just tuning in. Safe Go slash Safe Still one to one with Seifu, right? Let's let's uh, let's up and go. Yes, it starts off at one to one. And it'll rapidly change, but still, you're gonna get a good deal on the Seifu side, in my opinion. Um, but more people are gonna be on the B and B side because let's face it, that's where mo that's where most most people have B and B. Right. There's some people that just don't have Seifu. Plus, uh, my expectation, Chris and Pride and Fowler, is that. Most people don't use Seifu anyway because look at the freaking chart. I mean, it's down to 92 cents. So that means a bunch of people have sold their Seifu. How could people be getting in on this? There's no way. They don't even have it anymore. It's crazy. Right? Yep. Right. Uh, Brian says, "I." this is a different Brian. Uh, Brian Blank says, uh, I have deleted and added the new Safe Go contract in my wallet. It still shows one Safe to Go to uh, 13,000 Safe Maybe someone could do a live stream with their uh, wallet in this live. Yeah, let me go to Pancake Swap and show you. It's not, it's not like that. Okay, buddy. I am going to show you right now. All right. Let me just get to get it going here. Uh, so let's go. I need to get the contract address, though. Hold on. For Safe Go, right? That's what we're doing. Safe Go. Uh, okay, pull up Safe Go index screen for some reason. Huh? I was trying to get Safe Go to pull up that uh, address they put in the Discord. That I can't get to pull up for some reason. The pairing, S G O, S G O, Safe Go. Well, that's not live. Why is it so? That's so that's weird. Hmm. I'm putting in this address and it's telling me that it's cake. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe let me copy this. Why would it? Why would it tell me that? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so let me do this. Um, and then Seifu, uh, maybe it's still on here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's do this together and see what it says. Let's see what it says, uh, Brian. 
This is pancake swap. You're saying it says 13,000 when you put one in? Let's see what it says. One SAFO. Say? One SAFO. That's what it's going to start off with. Can you see that, everybody? Maybe he don't see the little decimal point. Hold on, I'm trying to get this. Let me come back a little bit. This is the way it's set up on Pancake Swap. You guys see that? I made it bigger for everybody. Seifu is uh, for one Seifu Go right here, which is $4.97. You can trade it for one Seifu, which is only 93 cents. So you can see how this is going to drag down the price, everybody. It's still going to make the price go up, but it's not going to go. It's going to it's going to be a weird uh, dynamic going on in there as opposed to the BNB side, which is doing nothing but add value to it. Every dollar that comes in, the more valuable it gets. This is going to be different. You can actually buy a Seifu Go for one Seifu to begin with right there. I hope that uh, helps you, Brian. Let me check to see if you've responded in any way. I don't see anything from Brian. Uh, Pride ghosted himself. What does that mean, Sky Dreams? Come on, bro. You yeah, tell when I put my shirt up, you couldn't see me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Athena, yeah, that's what we just saw. It says the same thing. You know, John Engel, uh, Engel Dow. Safe go contract address. Yeah. I put it in there, buddy. And that's the end of the comments. But yeah, so I cannot wait for this to get started. It's gonna be so like the fact that we get a second chance at this too. Have you guys thought about that? Because I mean I did I okay. About, I got six point nine five, but I, I wish I got more. I mean this is doing it all over again. I was like, oh. It's going to be even better the second time. I feel sorry for the people that got like 50 and 60. They yeah, like your map. Yeah, 74. 74. Really. I'd probably go crazy if they had 74 and yeah, I took it away. Sheesh. I know. It was worth $1.1 million. Mm, mm, mm. God damn. Mm, mm, mm. At the price that it was, at 18000 something like that. 16000 no, 16000 it was worth imagine, 1. People 1. Say, 1. imagine people says, baby, I want a divorce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Not me. I'm good. No, I'll be with my Leona. <laughs> Let um, me say, let's look at uh, some trustworthy videos that we know we're not going to get killed. Let's find something that we can watch. Oh, uh, someone's asking for your strategy again, Prado. Um, um, it's called the, the not going to method. <laughs> not going to method. It's not hard gonna. to say sometimes. You can't say it fast. Not going to method. The not going to method is, is, is a, a tried and true um, method that... Um, some people have used, and then they've never used it again. That's how good it is. The knocking the method. Yeah. W. So it's amazing. look it up. Um, or the Nunya technique. The Nunya technique. Right, Pride? Those two are yeah. amazing. I'm using the Nunya. You're, you're, you're using Nunya? Okay. I think Fowler's using uh, – I asked him if he's using Nakana, but he's not. he said he, he was a little hesitant, so I think he's using Nunya. All right. See, I'm I'm doing I'm playing both sides, so I'm going to use Nanya, and I'm also using Nakana. No. Right, like Nakana is going to be for the safe for the uh, I'm sorry for the for the B and B side, and Nanya is over there with the with the with the right, Chris. Yeah, that sounds exactly right to me. So yeah, that's that's the reason why not because otherwise I wouldn't make it complicated. I would just use one method. They're both very difficult to, to master. 
you know, but I, I just figure, you know what, I, I'm, I'll master both because I want to get this done in a masterful way and I'm not going to half master it. That's like something the big daddy Kane would say. Ain't no half mastering it. <laughs> Uh, that's uh okay so let's go to um yeah let me say no i don't want to watch the next 10x ones <clears throat> whoa fowler just disappeared boom oh oh my camera dad hold on a second <sighs> he's invisible <laughs> Uh, there, there's a different method, Daniel. I'm not sure if you've heard of this method. The F off method. I've never heard of this. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. down. There's another one too. <laughs> the I don't know method. <laughs> These sound intriguing. It's almost yeah. as good as D's last yesterday. The <laughs> D's message. Let's do our research on this one. Milky, uh, Milky's here. <laughs> Looking forward to this safe will go launch. I feel a lot more relaxed about this one, knowing that no huge buys can come in straight away. That's true, Milky. Yep, that's so true. I mean, somebody got 10,000 of them. I mean, I don't even know how that's possible, but they came in early, I guess, right? They got in early. I wonder if Brian is, uh, can Brian tell us how they're going to catch robots? Do they have like a software that catches it? And do they like zap them right away so that they don't even count as a buyer? Like, how does that work? Do you know how that works, guys? How they find the bots and then zap I always, them? I always tell that, you know, you can't really totally prevent bots. So What? I always say that you can't totally prevent them. You can, you know, bot take on. Some of them will get through. It's just like, you know. I don't know. People are smart, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't mind if some of them get through if most of them don't. Whereas the first time we launched, they all got through. Yeah. Like if, if you noticed, there was a bunch of bots. There was a bunch of buys 45 seconds before we started. <laughs> like I said, like if you three look at the or four or five pages worth of buys. If you can see the safe food chart, you can see a whole bunch of bots on that doing, you know, the 0 0.01 transaction, 0 0.01. Some of them testing their bots right now. Uh oh. Yeah. What happened? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I, I still hear and see you, so you're good. Yeah. I see your head moving, but... Okay. The screen just went blank for a second. I'm glad you fixed your camera, bro. It's, it's a little bit better. You still can tell... Like This is what you looked like before, though. You were like this. Uh, What's up, man? What's going on, uh, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, bro, you got to fix that. That's like that's like the the Nathan B method. Because he 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 has his face all the way down here, and then he's got like massive headroom yeah. in the shot. <clears throat> I'm like Nathan. Next time he's on, I'm going to tell him to, do, to to fix it. <clears throat> Gus Navarro says, if you want the method in Spanish, it's the no se method. <laughs> 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 what is the ligma method? Ligma method, Jason. <laughs> I, I don't want to know. I do. <laughs> I have I have no interest in that one. The Greek is setting up wallets for his family and we are doing training. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I wish I could be there. You should be videotaping this, bro. By the way, great video, Greek. You should be doing it. I want to see it during the live right like we're gonna leave this stream going the entire night with the chart up we're all gonna walk away go do our thing and then we're gonna come back i'm gonna come back when i'm done and brag right and i want to see you come on with your vi with your video you know take out the phone and start videotaping everything that's going on okay <clears throat> For those of you using pancake swap for the gas setting, does anyone use instant or fast, or do y'all leave it in on default? It depends on what you want to do. Um, 
if you want to if you want to spend more on gas uh you could just leave it on default you can i mean it it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's just it's, it's one is going to cost more the instant's going to cost more uh but if you put it on regular it's not gonna you know it's not gonna kill you you know uh so it and and then there was two oh, and man. then man. there was two yeah every time like when, that. when people leave the screen like that i take them off i don't i don't like to have blank screens like that so um, it's just me and you now, bro. So what's going on, bro? How you doing? <laughs> good, man. I thought she's pulling up a video. Talk to oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we have some uh, videos here that we can watch, but I'm just trying to make a decision as to which one I want to watch. Better than BTC? No, I doubt that. <clears throat> there you go. Michael Saylor's new... Uh, 2023 prediction by Jamie Tree. I like Jamie Tree. Do you have, do you, have, you follow Jamie Tree? No, I never heard of Jamie, 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 Jamie Tree. Yeah, he's got a channel and uh, and he and he does good work. This is one of those ones, and this is the video that we're watching here. All of the property assets, art property, commercial real estate property, every form of property. And then we scoured all the commodities and we considered every form of commodity from gold to silver to soybeans to oil to natural gas. And then we considered all the crypto assets. And at the end of the day, we concluded that Bitcoin was the best. And then and we made our decision. We've been executing the strategy I, since then. We spent thousands of hours. It's an old video. Every development in the crypto ecosystem, every development in the Bitcoin ecosystem, all the matter. No, this is uh, all the regulatory like an moves. hour ago. My conviction oh. today. One day ago. One day ago. Stronger than it was in August of 2020. <laughs> it's gotten progressively stronger each year, and so. I, I don't see anything that's a threat on the horizon at this point. MicroStrategy founder and former CEO Michael Saylor would have to have one of the most unshakable convictions in Bitcoin in the entire space. Not only has Saylor personally invested hundreds of millions of dollars into Bitcoin, but his company, MicroStrategy, has over $4 billion worth of Bitcoin on its balance sheet, equating to over 140,000 individual Bitcoin. Saylor was one of the keynote speakers at this year's 2023 conference, and afterwards he joined Kitco News to discuss his outlook on Bitcoin over the coming year. Within the interview, Saylor spoke on what was his epiphany moment for Bitcoin and why he decided to go all in on Bitcoin as opposed to every single other asset. If you have ever doubted your Bitcoin investment or been unsure of its future, Saylor's explanation will surely change your mind. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Saylor gives his outlook on markets and why he is going to stick to his Bitcoin strategy no matter what. Also, only a small percentage of my... Uh, Pride, in 10 years, what do you think Bitcoin's going to get to? In 10 years? I don't hear you at all. <clears throat> so I said a million... You think you're going to be, you, you think it'll be at a million? You don't think it'll be more than a million? No. I figure 100,000 every year. Be nice. In, in 10 years, I think it's going to be more than a million. I think it's going to be a million by the time we get to five years from now. Mm. In five years, we'll be probably over a million. That's just my opinion, though. No one really knows. But I think that but by the time we get to five years from now, we will be at a million, like a million in five years, maybe even more. Like I said, I mean, that's we'll say COVID lockdowns when the interest rate went to zero. Uh, it became clear that that um, if you had hundreds of millions 000. of dollars at earning zero percent short term interest rate, it's not an asset. It's a liability. Five hundred million dollars held for for a long period of time when the inflation rate is 20% and the interest rate is 0% has a negative real yield of minus 20%, which means that your 500 million is, is worth 400 million 12 months later. So in a world where the monetary inflation rate is greater than the discount rate offered by the central bank, 
in that world, if you have positive working capital, <clears throat> if you have a billion dollars in your treasury, when the negative spread is minus 10%, you're losing 100 million a year. So in that world, you can't rationally have a positive treasury balance. You need to have negative working capital. So in a world of consistent monetary inflation, inflation and low interest rates, the rational thing to do. Do you ever listen to uh, Michael Saylor, this guy that's speaking right now? Yeah. And Raul Powell? Yep. He used to do an LBO and go and Yeah, Raul Powell, and Raul Powell is uh, big on Ethereum. And uh, of course, yeah. Saylor's big on, big on Bitcoin. Well, I think they're both big on Bitcoin, but he's more bullish on 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 Ethereum uh, than Michael Saylor is because all Michael Saylor talks about is Bitcoin. That's it. He doesn't talk about anything else. Stop. First of all, what? I walked in here, and you've been talking on hold, but I feel it as soon as I walk into the room. You know what I'm Okay, but I'm on. I'm I'm live I know right you now. Have a bunch of people in there in the background. Do you want to come on in? Or? Who? A bunch of people. I'm gonna let them on. They're, they're, they went. They went. Kryptonius there. Kryptonius there now. I didn't see him now. There's a bunch of people. No, Fowler's not there. <laughs> Kryptonian is here. There you go. What's up, brother? But everybody up, else gentlemen? is not there though. And there goes Fowler now. He's back. Yeah. What's up, gentlemen? What's going on, brother? We're watching this video about Bitcoin prediction yeah. by Michael Saylor. You guys yeah, watch Michael Saylor, right, uh, Kryptonian? Yeah, I, yeah. I watch some of his stuff. Yeah, he's, he's got some some interesting. Um, opining going on i mean of course it's so positive of course i like it because it's bitcoin relative right uh yeah, but yeah. i think everything he says is true though you know like he it it's like it's stuff that people don't want to hear but it's true you know <clears throat> like i'm talking about the even in the positivity that he speaks daniel prado worldwide can you please drop the link to the bitcoin video i want to show some folks if that's okay the bitcoin video that we're watching right now Sure, I sure can. Um, this is it right here. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I just uh, just screwed it up. A razor thin margin of 10 or 20 million dollars. The problem with doing an LBO and borrowing billions of dollars so you have negative working capital is the Toys R Us problem, which is eventually you have a bad quarter and you have no. <laughs> capital so you go bankrupt so it's it's like with your family if i said all of your assets are being are, are being uh, inflated or devalued debased every year and you go well my great solution is i'm going to give up all my family's assets borrow as much money as i can and then one day you're not going to be able to make the mortgage payment and all your kids are going to starve so the epiphany uh of of 2020 was the only path forward there's two paths forward either i have to impoverish the company by loading it up with debt and we're going to eventually trip and die and that's why the mortality rate in all these lbos is 99 percent. they all go bankrupt and they're torn to pieces and it's bad for the employees bad for the customers bad for the shareholders or the other possibility is i have to convert my treasury into an asset that cannot be debased by the government I have to have tangible assets. So if you have 500 million, are you going to buy 500 million of buildings or oil rights or timber or coal or soybeans or gold or Bitcoin? And I looked and I said, well, I can't find 500 million worth of art to buy. Art's a store of value sort of inflation hedge. If you held it for 100 years, it's worth more today than it was 100 years ago. You can't say the same for the dollar. So I can't find art to buy. I can't, you know, do I buy land i can't find a portfolio of 500 million north commercial real estate to buy it was all overvalued uh can you buy the s&p index no the problem with the corporation is uh is accounting rules and law requires that no more than 40 percent of your balance sheet be invested in securities there happens to be a carve out to hold treasuries although treasuries are technically securities they're deemed as as property or commodities in the accounting profession for that purpose but i just couldn't go buy the index and if I did buy the index, the problem with that is the typical investor would say, why did you buy the S&P index when I could buy the S&P index? So you're not really adding value to an investor. So the question is, what is the most valuable king commodity that you can buy that's property and not a security? 
that actually adds value to investor that they can reasonably be expected to appreciate in time as the dollar is debased. And that got me looking for either gold, like gold is sound money for 5,000 years, or Bitcoin. And I concluded that crypto gold was better than gold. If I could create a gold network with 21 million gold coins, if I could make it illegal to mine any more gold, if I could make it possible to teleport the gold, if I could make it possible to program the gold at a million cycles a second, that will be better than gold. So I thought, well, I guess theoretically we could create that. And what happened in the crypto world is they created a form of crypto gold, a, a pharmaceutical grade synthetic gold, but it's faster, smarter, stronger than gold. All of the advantages of gold and more are an instrument with no counterparty risk that's a non-sovereign store of value. That's the advantages. None of the disadvantages of gold, it's expensive to move, it's centralizing, people can steal it from you, and gold miners keep debasing it by making more gold. So once we saw that, we said, okay, crypto gold looks better than soybeans, looks better than real estate, looks better than gold. What's crypto gold? Is it Bitcoin or is it some other crypto asset? And after studying all 10,000 of the crypto assets, you know, you could start with the top 100. You concluded Bitcoin's the most decentralized. Bitcoin didn't have an ICO. Bitcoin didn't have a pre-mine. Bitcoin isn't controlled by a corporation. Bitcoin isn't controlled by the core devs. It isn't controlled by the Bitcoin Foundation. They fought a civil war over that's the, the one thing that I, people that wanted to corrupt. That's one thing that I don't like about what he says, though, is he likes to say that every other crypto is a security except for Bitcoin. That's one thing that he says that I do not like. Brian Legend with a super chat here says more than 5,000 plus Seifu Go token approvals so far and we are still three hours away from launch that should tell you how many investors are eagerly awaiting to pounce Damn. five thousand token approvals so that's five thousand wallets right there <clears throat> at least maybe more because i have more than one um and i only had to approve it once and it went into all my wallets so look at that that's something to think about. That is something to think about. Let's talk about this Vulcan thing, by the way. What, Kryptonian, are you there? Or do you, are you, uh, no, I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, I, I just heard what you said about the um, 5,000 wallets already waiting for, or that have already approved, right? Waiting mm -hmm. to count, as you said. That's interesting. What was the uh, how many wallets? Well, not, to... It's not it's not five thousand wallets approved. It's five thousand approvals. Oh, gotcha. for the token. So that means that like because like like what I was saying when I approved it in my wallet to trade it, like when I when I when I uh, when I put it, you know, you have to put the address in and then and then import it. Yep. That 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 showed up for all of my wallets in that in that because I, I have multiple wallets. So imagine this, there's 5,000 basically imports, but that doesn't mean it's 5,000 wallets. It could be way more than that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. I'm glad to see this time you're, go you're going for it though, Kryptonian, because the last time you didn't go for it. This time you're here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, try, well, I'm gonna try a little bit, a little bit. Well, what made you change your mind? That lava cake. First time? The uh, lava cake last night, man. Oh, it was it good, right? <laughs> he thought he thought what happened the last time. Now he knows. He's like, man, I gotta get FOMO. On FOMO nah, kicking in. Definitely not FOMO. Um, there, there's just a little bit more. I, I think had it been set up this way, the first time with the limits, I, I would have jumped in the first time. I, I knew there was going to be issues. Well, I I felt there was going to be issues, and then there were. So hey, we get a second chance, right? And fortunately, I get to be a part of it. We'll see what happens. But I, I think it's a bit more advantageous for for everybody now i think you know it's a little bit more work for everybody but hey you know nothing is anything worth going for should never be easy right um there it is everything that you just said i didn't understand any of it because all it did was set, like i it's, it's my connection but you sounded like you were underwater the entire time can you guys hear any real prior yeah. can you hear me no yeah, 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 it's yeah. just me i'm just oh no i'm saying it's me so I can't react to any of it. Oh, well, usually, so, 
Oh, that's all good. Now I can hear you. Yeah. I was probably speaking truth and your brain shuts down when I'm doing that. So <laughs> <laughs> you start hearing wah, 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 wah. <laughs> right. I was joking, man. No, that's what I was, I was just uh, hearing uh, now. So funny that you said that. <laughs> no, all I was saying was that um, I don't know how I'll just I'll just uh, start over is uh, the first time um, I knew or I felt there was going to be issues, you know, uh, with it wide open, people jumping in. And of course, there were. So this time around, I think it's more it's a bit more advantageous for everybody. It's a bit more work with multiple wallets and people have to do a couple more steps. But I was just saying, you know, anything worth going for should, should never be easy. Um, and then, it, you know, sure. if it was easy, then, you know, um, everybody would yeah. do it. And then there was not enough of it to go around. So I, I know I, I think this is going to be a good thing. So this time I'm going to I'm going to give it a shot. You know, I have one wallet. See what happens. You know, I don't have 25 well, wallets like you, but, you know. Well, do you, but do you, what are you, you're using B and B, right? You don't have any safe food. I'm going to use B and B. Yep. I'm going to use B and B. Okay, yep. cool. Community TV says, uh, how to get approved. I added, uh, I only added the contract. Well, that's what we're talking about being approved. Like we, when you import it, that's basically you approving it for, for you to be able to trade, trade it. There's also enabling it. We have to do that right before the first trade, everybody, or otherwise it won't go through. Don't forget about having to do that. But approving it means importing it. If that's what you mean, community TV, that's uh, that's what that is, okay? <clears throat> Michael Cruz says, uh, there goes the contract address. If anybody needs it, it's there in the, in the live chat. Um, okay, good. You got it there, community TV. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ricky Bond says, hey, Daniel, I tried to add the address on Pancake Swap and won't let me click on it. The only one ESCO is the one that says 13K, Safe Go, and you try to add Safe Go again on, on Pancake Swap. Yeah. So it's already here. Let me show you. I, I did this earlier, so I don't like I, I got to see. I got to see how I, uh, what are you doing? I'm going to um this is pancake swap so this is it right here i already i already added it so let me take it out now oh, that's the, that's the link to that i gotta get hold on guys i gotta get the, the thing real quick it's right here i already have it highlighted okay so this is That's the contract address. Oh no, this is I have to put it here. Sorry. So this is active. And how do I click on it to get rid of it? Anybody know how to do that? So it's, I just want to get it. here. Here it is. Never mind. Okay. So take the, uh, take the, uh, this is the way. I already did it. Uh, it, was, it. There was like a little trash can there that you have to click on. I was I was looking at the wrong the wrong side. Ricky Bond. I was saying take the super chat down. So, I mean, take the chat down so you can see the screen. Oh, yeah. All right, Ricky Bond, this is it. You go here. You're buying it, so you want to you want to put it here. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as you get it on, on one of these. But this is where you're going to buy, so you put it there. And you paste. And then this is going to pop up like this. <clears throat> you see where it says a little question mark, SGO, and then import. You just click that, and I understand import. And then it's there. So now it's here. Like if I clicked on ACH, but then I said, oh, no, no, I don't want that. I want say, say go. You go up here. You can just type ESCO. You don't need the address anymore, right? You don't need the address anymore because it's there. You just type it in. You click on it. Now it's there, all right? And then, like I said, when you just click one, it says one Seifu right now. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is B&B. It's $5. If I, put, if I click on the Seifu, though, which I'll just type in Seifu here, click it there. If I click on one, I like I showed you guys, <clears throat> if I just put one Seifu go, it's only charging me one Seifu. <clears throat> now, I'm assuming you're not seeing this, but I don't know if you're getting the right contract address. I'll put, I'll put it in the live chat right now. Uh, can you guys still see me and hear me? Because it looks like... Yeah. Okay. I can't type anything. For some reason, now it's telling me my stream yarded. All right, 
So let me uh, let me click on here. I'm going to put in the live chat now the uh, uh, the contract address. Copy it there, or from the uh, or from the announcements. But I just got that from the announcements, so that's the one right there. So you can just use that one. Get rid of all of them. Did you see how I did it, Ricky Bond? I did, like how to, how to get rid of it. You go back into it like this, you know. And then you click manage tokens. Click on the token right here. And then click manage tokens. Click tokens. Type in Seipu Go or S Go right there. And whatever's down here just says S Go, even if it's, you know, just click the little trash can and then it goes away. All right. <clears throat> then go back here. Put in the address. And it pops up. This is the one you want from the address that I just gave you, import it. I understand import and it's in there. Okay. <clears throat> um, maybe I have too many, maybe I have too many tabs open up because it's just, my thing keeps on freezing. This never happens. Never happens, but of course it's happening today. Let's look at the, uh, also, Stack screener is not working for the Seifu pair and the B&B pair. Still. <clears throat> By the way, look at the uh, at, at the uh, poll. It has uh, 171 votes. After 30 days, what will what what price do you think Seifu Go will be in the first 30 minutes? And that poll has three thousand five hundred dollars in first place. $1,000 in second with 22% and 500 and 100 share third or last place, whichever way you want to look at it, with 21%. That's higher than I thought would be there for, 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 for those numbers. 21%. <clears throat> I'd be highly disappointed if it's, a, if it's $100 after 30 minutes. Anybody else? I wouldn't be disappointed as long as you're making money. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I, I still would be disappointed though because I expect it to be so much higher than. That. I mean, because you think five dollars to a hundred dollars in thirty minutes—that's still goddamn good. Yeah, that's true. That's like a hundred with a hundred X. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Maybe if I open a new tab, it just keeps on telling me that that what's it called. So I'll get to you, I'll get to you in a second, Brian. I'm I'm entering the studio again now, <clears throat> and then I'll click on it or I'll look at it. Those two deck screener links will will work as soon as launch goes at Daniel Prado. Yeah, but right now they're not there. I know I know the reason why they're not there, but <clears throat> it's just uh, it's pretty cool to look at. Um. There's also the, uh, if you guys want to look at this, this is the, uh, the the thing that we'll be able to go to. Can you go over what routing settings to have while you're at it? Sure. <clears throat> Let's go to uh, the routing on PancakeSwap, which is right here. So this is your uh, pancake swap. You're going to be swapping B and B for Safe Go, right? Or, or you're going to be using Safe, right? I'm sorry, I put S S U. It's Safe. There we go. <coughs> you're going to be using one of these two on the top, B and B or Safe, and Safe Go is going to be at the bottom. Um, this is your little settings wheel. You click on that. And I have it at 25% here, all right? And then you also want to click off V2. I'm sorry, V3. This is the V3. Click this off. And then uh, multi-hops. Click off multi-hops. So click off. This is the only thing you have to worry about. Click off V3 and click off multi-hops. And then you're done. <clears throat> Those are the settings that you need. Okay. I hope that helps. I'm sure it does. I'm positive that it does. Daniel Ba. 
uh, for Seifu, Seifu Go, V3, unchecked, yeah, mm -hmm. and multi-hop, <coughs> to turn those off, okay? Especially since Nacho said it. I thought it wasn't necessary, but he said to do it, so make sure you do it. Nacho said do it, then do it. Uh, not to get rid of the old ESCO address from PancakeSwap. Yeah, how do, how do you get rid of it? Um, you got to go to... You got to go to uh, the manage tokens. First of all, click on any one of these right here. Like, you know, anything that you have clicked here, just click on it. Then click manage tokens. Then click tokens, not lists. Click tokens and then type in SGO. If there's one or more than one, whatever it is, it's there. Click the trash can and it's gone. Okay. <clears throat> then go back. And you could type anywhere here. You could be you could be selling it. You could be buying it. Whatever. And you put in the contract address like that. You paste it in, and then you see it pop up here. This is the right one, and you import it. I understand, and then click import. Okay, <clears throat> that's how you get it done. That's how you do it right there. <clears throat> Kryptonium is not here, uh, Danny E. So I'd get up to 17,000 last time. Now he's in. Stop lying. <laughs> My ass up. Yeah. Solomon Patel says El pa Patron. El Patron. The old address is the one from the first failed launch and new addresses or new address for this launch posted in Discord announcements by Brian Legend. Yeah, that's true. That's where I got it from. That's the only place I will get it from. Thanks for your help. I didn't delete it on PancakeSwap, just my wallet. All good now, much appreciated. Oh, so that's what it was. Yeah, that's why. So. Oh. That's right. Let me see here. The Gypsy says, hearing more people are selling safe food to go all in on the B&B &B side. What's your opinion on that? Please do. Please do. <laughs> Everybody tell your safe and don't go in on that side. <laughs> right, Brian? <Yeah. laughs> Everybody do that. <laughs> so, Fowl, what's going on with... I was about to say, ask Fowl, what's going on with the Gods of Gaming, man? Get some updates on the Gods of Gaming. Hey, I mean, we got... Um, <clears throat> we have our revenue uh, sharing NFT sale Monday. Yeah. So... You know, guys, if you have you know profits to throw around, you might want to think about looking at guys of gaming. Uh, if you want to pick up some uh, really good passive play, we have our revenue uh, NF revenue sharing NFTs. But you're pretty much you're 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 basically Michael Jordan, right? Like you're each individual person with a revenue sharing NFT. You're pretty much getting the sweet deal like Michael Jordan did when he was talking to Nike before he got out. You know, right before he got into the NBA. Yeah, and he, I mean, he's still eating off that same that same Nike contract right now. He, he's still eating, he's gonna eat for the rest of his life. Why? Because he's getting two percent of revenue share of Nike every single time that they sell an Air Jordan. Anything with Jordan name on it, he gets a percentage of it for the rest of his life. I mean, and that's and, and, and or until Nike folds, right? Like if Nike folds, and there you go, but. Is that realistically going to happen? No, we don't yeah. ever see Nike going away, right? So Michael yeah. Jordan will get paid for the rest of his days because he's getting a percentage from Nike for every single shoe pair that they sell. So that's pretty much the same deal, guys, the game is given right now for early supporters and uh, early investors who want to get in before, you know, uh, one, take off and, and, and go parabolic or two, you know, you, you don't want to run out because when they run out, there's no more mint. There's no more <laughs> revenue share mints that's going to be in guys the game. There's no going to be a, another token, another pool. No, that's not going to. This is really just to, you know, one fundraise for uh, guys the game to get certain the, the things that it needs to get developed, uh, you know, get the, uh, the financials for it to do those things. You know, once once that happens and the machine starts moving. It's going to utilize the things that it's producing for revenue streams. And that's, and once it's going, it's going, guys. And whoever's, you know, has those revenue share NFTs, they're going to be a part of it. So 
if you can, you might want to go check out the guy. Uh, if you're interested, you want to go check out the guys of gaming uh, dot games website again. That's guys of gaming dot games. I'm pretty sure there'll be a link in the uh, the chat to go, you know, click okay. on. But also make sure you uh, you join the uh, guys of gaming Discord as well. And I don't know, do we have Biz and uh, Biz out there? No, I haven't seen, seen Biz. I haven't seen him at all, which is shocking. Hold on, let me uh, go grab Ricky the... Bond, this is uh, this is Google Chrome. What browser are you using, Daniel? I'm not getting managed tokens on PancakeSwap. It's crazy. I know. Maybe if you go to Google Chrome, <coughs> excuse me, like I'm using, I'll show you again uh, so that you're clear wh what to do. I mean, because maybe it's just that you're not clicking on the right thing. So this is it. You're just, you're going to PancakeSwap, and then you're going to trade right here. Let me just start from the beginning. You trade and then click on swap. And then right here, any one of these tokens, if you just click on any one of them, this cake or b and B, if you click on it, the list pops up. Maybe this is just not seen on your computer because it's zoomed in too much, or maybe it's zoomed in too much on your computer. I mean, that might be the case also. So it's just like control minus and see what happens. And control plus means that and this is what happens sometimes you see that it's gone well let me let me let me get rid of the comment though hold on <clears throat> even without the comment you see how that happens <clears throat> so i mean maybe this is what's going on with you right uh <coughs> as said maybe he has a pop-up block right, okay over. there goes still biz this isn't really a pop-up blocker this is this is um this is a part of this site. Like this isn't like pop-up blockers are for like ads and stuff. But this, I mean, this is a pop-up, but like it's part of how this whole thing works. It's essential. So I would I would doubt this could be blocked. Uh, but maybe control minus or control plus. Right now I'm control plus my way all the way to not seeing managed tokens. Control minus it once or twice. You'll see it pop up there, right there. All right, and then you click on that. Then you click on tokens because it's on list automatically. Click, click on tokens and then type in S go. <clears throat> now you're going to see whatever S goes you have down here. If there's one or two or more, just hit this little trash can and get rid of it. And then come back here <clears throat> and click on the one of the tokens here and then just and then just put in the the, the contract address like that and then you'll see it pop up here with the word import in a scut in a in an aqua blue uh box it'll say import you click on that approve it and then it's in your wallet but if it's not that then it is the the browser and i would just go to uh i would just go to uh another one uh go go to google chrome firefox um edge oh, there's a whole bunch of them all right <clears throat> Let me know if it works, okay? Uh, try Edge, because it's the same as Chrome. Both are Chromium back uh, backend, okay? <clears throat> it does pop up, Athena, but it's a little bit different. Michael Cruz says, hi again. How do you enable the Safe Go token, please? I just did it. I just showed you. Did you just literally just come on? Like literally just now, you you go to Pancake Swap like I like we are on right now, okay? You go to Pancake Swap like we are on right now. This is your token list, which one you're going to trade for and what you're going to spend. So if you're spending B and B, you leave this one there. The bottom one is where you're going to put Esco, but you can see it's not here. <clears throat> oh no, it is there. I added it. So let me just click on it and, and let me let me uh, manage tokens, get it out of there, and then I'll, I'll add it for you. Right here, you click. It says search the name or paste the address. Paste the address in there. You see how it says S go now? Right next to it, it says import. You click the import. Click I understand and then import. It's there now. So you can see it now here on the bottom. This is the one you're buying, and you can see it there already. And you put in one, you're going to see it cost $5 USD. And then you could 
<laughs> could swap, but I, I'm not connected to any wallet now. But it's not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to do it now until it starts. Okay. <coughs> Hey, buddy, if using the instant gas for prank cake swap, then what is the max amount of BNB we will need for the transaction? Is $10 enough? I don't know if $10 enough. It could possibly be if you're one of the very first. Uh, yeah, you know, but I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put how much. Just put one safe go. That's it. <clears throat> Just put one. And it'll populate it for you, whatever the cost is. If you put it yourself, if you try to put it yourself, you're going to get it wrong. Don't try to put the price in there yourself. No, no, I think he's uh, Prado. I think he's just talking about the gas. He's talking about the, uh, you know, where it says the instant, normal. I want pancake swap under the the uh, cog when you hit the cog. He just yeah. he wants to, he wants to know is ten having the ten dollars enough? Yeah. B and B is that is that enough to utilize the instant like gas on yes a uh, pancake swap. Yes, it is. It's still, it's still like super cheap compared to everything else. It's like, you know, it's cents. Depending on the size of the trade, it's going to be, it's going to be more. But if you're buying a $5, a $5 Seifu Go, excuse me, even if it's a $10 Seifu Go, uh, <clears throat> you're, you're, you're not, you're not paying but cents, even, even on instant. Okay. Yeah. Now after um, thirty minutes, it's a different. That's a different story. So, can someone link Gods of Gaming to this Discord? Um, to can, can someone link Gods of Gaming Discord? I'm getting weird sites when I search for it. Oh, so yeah, Fowler's gonna put it in the live chat now. Rickness, okay. Ricky Bond says, "Hey Daniel, I just got it. It was my screen display settings. Thank you so. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Ricky Bond. Glad that you worked it out, brother." I'm still, I, I still, I'm still want load on pancake, Michael Green. I still want to load on pancake is what I believe you want to say. <clears throat> maybe, maybe you're having the same problem that Ricky Bond had. Uh, you said yes, it was what you, it was what you told me, which is maybe, maybe if you're looking at your screen right now, uh, Michael Green. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes people. Uh, they they have their screen um, like this right here is at 110. If I hit reset, it goes back to the normal size. You can also hit Control Plus to make it zoom in. You see how see how much I'm zooming into this now. Uh, <clears throat> or you can hit Control Minus or this little this little uh, magnifying glass. Right now it's zoomed in 500 percent. Or you could just hit reset and then it goes back to normal. And maybe because that's done to you, you don't see this little managed tokens here. <clears throat> because watch, watch what happens when I zoom in too much. See, <clears throat> now you don't see managed tokens, and now you're lost. You're like, what's going on here? When all you got to do is Control Minus once, maybe even twice, and then you can see it there. Okay, maybe that's what the problem is. Just maybe. <clears throat> You're welcome, Ricky Bond. The Gypsy says, what pool are you going in on and what platform are you using? PancakeSwap, PooCoin, or Bob? I'm using PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap. I'm not playing around with all those other ones. <clears throat> right, Fowler? Are you, you're, you're not messing with that anymore, right? You tried that the first time. The Bog? Didn't no, work out. I tried, uh, no, I was doing PooCoin. Yeah. And uh, I probably will use PooCoin. Um, for as a backup because I like remember last time that's what I was trying to use as a primary. I was using PooCoin and getting all types of re reverts uh, errors. So this time I'm gonna do Pancake Swap and worst on the worst PooCoin if I just can't figure out slippage or something like that. But I'm probably going through Pancake Swap. Yeah, Daniel Boss says, why are you using such a high slippage, bro? 25%? Well, because I don't want to take a chance on losing on the trade. Before, it was at 49%, but it's not going to be that high, so I keep it at, I keep it at, oh, sorry, 
I keep it at twenty five percent because I think it's going to be moving pretty quickly. You know what? I can't post. I can't post any links in your uh, chat, uh, Daniel. Oh, I'll I'll do it. Yeah, because it's it's blocking me every time. Uh, the gods of gaming one. We've got multiple ones. Here, I'm popping in uh, his uh, private chat. That's the. I have it already. Oh, you got it. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> And the Discord. This is it. The Gods of Gaming Discord link is in the live chat now. Pride, I'll bring you on when you're done eating. Okay, brother. <laughs> See, look. <laughs> you went away and chew it. <laughs> Dano, why'd you <Yeah>. do that? <laughs> it's funny. That's not right there. Pride is non-stop eating, bro. I don't know how he's, I don't know how he's so small. The skinniest guys always eat the most. I mean, he eats non-stop, bro. <laughs> I did all that uh, and still won't load. Well, then maybe go on a different browser. What browser are you using? What browser are you using? I'm using Google Chrome. If you don't know what that means, tell me that also, because then I can tell you what a browser is. Maybe you just don't know what that means, which is fine. Everybody, we're all, we're all trying to help each other here. I got it needed to join DP's uh, stream with watching on Greek's channel. Okay. Greek's channel is uh, low definition, though. His is low definition. <laughs> come, on, come on to Crypto Prize channel. Yeah. I thought that we, you uh, added Pride on the team. I'm on. Okay. He's there. He's, he, but he just came. He, like, as soon as I did that, he was like, I'm out. Uh -huh. But he just came back. <laughs> okay. No, I brought him on. He said, I'm ready. Like, you couldn't bring himself yeah. on. Yeah, I would have, uh, I would have seen it, but I was going through, I was going through some stuff. That's all. So, <clears throat> oh, look, this functional junction says, probably got me hooked <laughs> on Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> nice. Had some this morning, brother. Yeah, I have the Cocoa Pebbles downstairs. Well, I'm telling you what's real good, man. Let me go show y'all. I'm telling y'all. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to show you. Go ahead. Hopefully it's the Reese Puffs. Oh, the only, only other thing you bring on is the Reese Puffs cereal. The what? Uh, I don't know. You know, the, the Reese Puffs cereal? You never had the Reese Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. If you guys can, can get these... uh. Baby oh, come on. What is this? You see it? Oh, no. no. It's invisible. Oh, let me take the thing off. Baby buns? Yes. What are they? Little baby bun cakes. High in sugar. Of course. <laughs> baby buns. These okay. are so good. <laughs> Lemon. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Now I see. Whew. Oh. Baby bunch. That yeah, boy, I see it now. That boy is endorsed by hostess right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He loves it. <clears throat> when is Gods of Gaming due to launch? Uh, right now, we uh, can't start without the Vulcan blockchain. <laughs> that's where we're going to be based off of. So, first off, we got to start. We got to start there. Vulcan blockchain. Okay, uh, so when we, Vulcan is released, we, yeah. We, we will have a we will have a pre-sale. This won't be any type of stealth launch or anything like that. It will be a pre-sale. People can, you know, lock in, and then there will be a you know pre-sale drop. But date, as far as date, right now, that's all based upon Vulcan blockchain. Right? Do you not have control yet? Because if you don't, no. you, have to, uh, you have to refresh. No. You have to refresh your whole page. So I have to go back out, log out, and come back in. You, yeah, just refresh and then, then then you know it'll take you right back to this to the backstage thing, and then uh, and then yeah. <clears throat> Anil Kumar says twenty four percent slippage is good initially as Safe Go price increases more than one thousand dollars, then slippage will be safe as the price change uh, will be within range because of buy limits. So yeah. you should be able to see and control the comments now, right, Bride? Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right. Um, I'm going to go uh, use the bathroom and then I'll be back, guys, right. okay? Gotcha.
Chaos right. Wolf been working. Do we need to change to V2 and Pancake Swap or ISV? V2, buddy. V2. V2. So stay on V2. You should be good to go. Or automatic. Automatic. Yeah, just stay on V2. Disable the V3. That's all the comments? Mm -hmm. Got through all the comments? Yeah, he's, he's been pretty on top of comments. So you ready to rock and roll, Fowler? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, man, hopefully it's better off than that last time, man. I didn't, I didn't get a I chance know. last time, man. But with this limit, I should be able to get at least a couple. We start. I mean, I think everybody, if you get a hold of a couple, you might be off with a good night tonight. If you can get a couple, you yeah. gotta, you guys got to make the decision. You're going to play around with it. You're going to hold it. That's that's where the, that's where all the interest in. Uh, so you want to hold because of that burn mechanism, man. And that the rebase thing. That too. I want to get, get a good amount so I can just like sell one or two if, I, if it gets up there. Some people going to get wrecked though too on this. They go, they go try to, they go, I mean, I'm not going to say wreck. Because I, I hate saying wreck. Because when people take their profits, they take their profits. If it's good, it's good for them. Some people numbers are different than others. So you know, if you're taking and you're running, just you know, just notice that's where you took it because that bad boy take off, <laughs> go to the moon. Because uh, what did uh, Brian said? Brian said in seven. What I think he said seven days. He asked eight ball. He asked eight mm -hmm. ball. Uh, what? He make uh, Seifu Go holders millionaires in seven days. So, in seven days? Uh, yeah. That and, and Magic, and Magic Eight Ball said, yep. Damn. Yep. Nice. Was it two, two hours and 40 minutes to go? Uh, a couple was enough. That's right, guys. A couple. Uh, I had 2.5 last time. Man, there's people out there with that. Set. Well, your map had like 75. 74. Yeah, 74. 74. Man. How do you Woo! change to V2? Just go into your uh, pancake swap settings. And uh, was it click on uh, customize routing? It should be already on V2. So you just got to disable V3. You automatically on V2. So you just got to dis disable V3. You telling you don't have to disable V3 at all, according to uh, Brown Legend and Nate Nachos. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the V3 thing is a big thing. Uh, and he says, uh, should we have multi hop on for safe food to SGO? No. No. Uh, what price? I don't think it's going to so slow. What price do you think is going to go to? Uh, I'm saying. Once we uh after thirty minutes, we should be at about. To me, I predict three thousand, three thousand five hundred. Um. JJ says there is a limit to buy on safe pool SGO pool. Everybody has a limit. The first five minutes is one, one SGO. Whether you're using safe pool or whether you're using BNB, it's one for the first five minutes, and it jumps up to two and a half, two point five after ten minutes. Uh, and so on and so on. Next, we have Milky. Come on. I had five SGO last time. Ha ha. Let's hope I have similar success this time. Okay. Tell us your secrets. How did you get five last time? Daniel. So every five minutes, we can buy double, right? And total supply is limited at that 5,000 SGO. No, every five, well, the first five minutes, you can buy one. Uh, sec the second five minutes, you can buy 2.5. Uh, the third five minutes, what is it? Uh, is it is it um, 10 following you know? The third five minutes, uh, I got it right here. Hold on, here, pull it up. Yeah, you want to say, I know exactly what you're talking You're talking about the, the limits every five yeah. minutes, yeah, yeah. I got it right here. I'm about to share my screen. Can you uh, you can give me what's the name, All right? Let me see. I'm about to share it. Uh, oh, this Discord. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, pull that up or share that. Share that screen. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> All right, let me take this, this comment off the screen real quick. 
Okay, so we got the first five minutes, max of one SGO. Second five minutes, max of 2.5. Third five minutes, max of five SGO. Four five minutes, max of 10. Fifth five minutes, max of 15. And uh, six five minutes, max of 25. And after the first 30 minutes, all restrictions are lifted automatically. The free market will ensue without AI limits. Nice. Because 1.5, write that down, 2.5, 5, 10, 15, 25. Write that down. Let me remove that string. All right, where we at? We are in the home stretch, the last hour of the show, and then we have ninety minutes to the uh, to the game day, the opening. Remember, there could be a slight delay of one to five seconds when they enable buy-in. So if you buy too soon, it may be hurt. Huh? Hmm. What about that one? I'll use those three to five seconds to enable it. Yeah. That's what you can do. You have to enable your trade, everybody. That the new coin that you put in, you yeah. can't you can't trade unless you enable it. Jimmy Once you import it, it's there, but it's not it's not ready to trade until you first enable it. And you'll see it because you won't be able to do anything. It'll say big old big old enable on the bottom. Go ahead, Price. Are you going to add one SGO as amount or will you use 0.8.09? I'm using one. one. So that's the limit, but you're gonna end up with point what nine eight after they take the one and a half percent tax. Yeah, they're gonna take yeah. some away. So if you want yeah, to go back, I'm not gonna put point nine or point because even yeah. not just to do that, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna put the full one. Yeah, yeah, just put the one. You're gonna get charged tax anyway, so you're not gonna get the full one anyways. Uh, what's up, custom <laughs> game odds? Uh, Rush 2017 says, Hello Pride, does the limit order mean first five minutes I can buy one, second five minutes I can buy 2.5, or does the limit mean I can buy only 1.5 for a total of 2.5? You can buy only 1.5 for a total of 2.5. It's the total, yeah, that's, it's, it, it, the total is the total. Yep. So just go by what the total is. You can't, you know, <clears throat> don't buy more than the total, don't go over the total. MJ making 150 million a year still. Damn, is he making that much? I think he makes yeah. more than that. I mean, more honestly. than that. Way more than that. Way yeah. more than that. Wow. Way more than that. that much? I mean, he signed a deal, and I'm sure he probably got it even worked out even more, like to get to be able to keep it even when he dies and pass it on to his family. Like, because you know, he didn't think about that when he was like 20 years old and he signed that deal, but he was smart enough to get right. that 2%, like Bowler said, per sneaker sale. That's crazy. And we're not Man. talking about like the other stuff, like the clothing line. They yeah. still got a tattoo. He said anything that has Air Jordan on it, he's getting 2% on it. So don't Man. if it's sweats, shirt, tank top, headband, sweatband, any socks, anything. He, Air Jordan on it, he getting it, baby. <laughs> like, that's what's yeah. up. Uh, this function just says there should be a PCS link on the SGO DAP. It's not a bad, bad suggestion. Brian says yeah. Air is awesome movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. <clears throat> that was a good movie. I don't remember that. Oh, it's, new. that? it's new. It's with uh, Ben Affleck and uh, uh, what's his name? I almost forget Ben Affleck and you know the guy he always rolls with. Um Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon. I always forget his name. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. Uh and though says, uh, what will the price action of SGO upon starting when more pools open? Like starting the 50 LP pools with SGO price increase, decrease, more SGOs come to market. Well, I think it's going to be, uh, that's just going to increase because we got that more burning mechanism jumping off, more vaporization, more transactions. Yeah, there's not going to be any more safe to goes that come onto the market. There's, they're, all they're doing is burning down to a very little 5,000 amount. That's it. The only way that you can 
uh, grow is if all of us buy and never sell because the, 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 the burning happens in the cells. And when that happens, it's burning a lot and we're going to lose a lot of tokens. So it's not going to, there's not going to be more, but the price is only going to go up. Yeah, there's not going to be dips and stuff like that. But the thing is, is those dips represent a lot of burn. Every time you see someone selling, you can see a lot of burning going on. And that's going to just keep on happening over and over and over and over again until we're down to 5,000. Then they have a stop limit on there like a stop mechanism to stop it from burning past 5,000. But that's what we're going to get down to, guys. That's it. There's nothing – like, there's, this isn't a guess. This isn't a might, a maybe. It's We're getting down to 5,000. And who knows how it's – he says it's going to be in a year. In a year. So imagine if you're still holding these things and we're down to 5,000. Just imagine. Mm. And show go go over the numbers. Go to the next comment. I'll, I'll show you guys. Okay, Rob. Question: If you transfer SEO out of your wallet to another wallet, do you think to be able to go back and then purchase again with the same wallet? No, you cannot. Uh, D, what's it? D money. Please clarify. In Discord, we said two. It said second five minutes. You can only buy one point five to get a two point five max. Hell, wow. Correct. Uh. The comments are going slow for some reason. Yeah, you're welcome, Michael Green. She says thanks. It's spelled a little different. Uh, it says thanks, Dane. I got it. Uh, I don't uh, understand. This one says, what's that? Go ahead. Can you please explain the safe food SGO pool again? Or what do you mean? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, what do you mean? Explain it in, in, in what? Like you don't know what it is at all? Yeah. That's there's really happening. nothing there's really nothing to explain. You're buying from the Seifu Seifu Go pool means that you're putting uh <clears throat> means that you're putting Seifu Go at the bottom because that's what you're gonna buy, like you see here. <clears throat> so if you put this in here and you put this as Seifu, like so. That means you're buying from this pool, the Seifu Seifu Go pool. That's what you're doing. You're buying this using this. So it's, it will automatically go here. Now, there's been some rumblings about getting rid of this, though. I'm sorry. Uh, this. <clears throat> Multi-hop. How did I do that just now? You come right back here to the little wheel, your settings wheel. Click on that, click on customize routing, and you get rid of multi hops because you don't want it to, if it thinks that it has a better deal by hopping from, from, from you to buy Seifu, to go get some Seifu Go from the BNB pool or whatever it is that it needs to do, you don't want any of these things happening. Just turn that off. If you go from Seifu to Seifu Go and you're picking up Seifu, that's how you enter that pool. If you don't want to do that and you want to use BNB, this is the other pool. It's the BNB pool, meaning you want to buy Seifu Go using BNB. If you have this set up like this, you're now in this pool. So this is the BNB pool, okay? And this is the Seifu pool right here. <clears throat> Henry says, DP, do you advise expert mode? I didn't use last time. You don't need to because we're not going to be going into those crazy high uh, slippages. That's what that's needed for, but you don't need it now. If you want, you can keep it on there. I left mine on, so it's fine. Chris Cruz is back from McDonald's. What you get, buddy? <laughs> what do you think I got? To make chicken. Double quarter pounder with cheese, brother. Can you nice. see? That's what nuggets? I'm talking about. Nuggets? What was that? What what was that? Double quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm talking about. I need to get Mrs. Worldwide to go get me some. Yeah, I gotta get some lunch too, so I can yeah. be uh, fed before it all. Lunch. Yeah, man. 
What time? Bro, it's five thirty-four. Four thirty-four in your time. Oh man, so dinner. Dinner. I got, got me wow. eating baby buns. Baby buns. Are right, you yeah. the right you little baby? We got fried eat pure sugar. Hey, yeah. Hand me one of them, Hand me. Hand me. Huh? Hand me. Hand me one of those. Yeah, I need he to. really uh, did go to McDonald's, Nick John. Yes, he said he was going to. And he was like, "Bro, I need to go get some McDonald's." <clears throat> That's right. He's McLovin' it. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, I think Nachos pinned something on it today regarding Lemon Limit. What do you set a spinning cap for your? There's no spending cap. Just put the number you're buying. That's it. Let Pancake Swap populate how much you're spending. Don't put any. Don't put anything in the spending amount. How much you're spending? That's not until later on when it opens up, and you still have some money. You could go in there and click max and try to get as much as you want, but try to save some for B and B gas. Uh, Roy sure. says Michael Jordan is still making four hundred million a year. Yeah, damn, man. making that. Cheddar, yeah, but he deserves it though. I mean, I, I mean, he, exactly. he didn't he didn't roll over and be like, whatever. He was like, no, I want to be protected in the future. Greatest basketball player of all time, right there. Yeah, yeah thank you. He deserves every cent. Uh, Prado, Prado B and B to save move. Turn V V three off. Turn off multiple hop two. Once you know uh, we all on the same page. Yes, those are the two things you need to turn off. For 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 uh for for all of them, like just it doesn't matter if you turn it off in your pancake swap, you're still going to the same pancake swap for Seifu to Seifu go. So once they're turned off, they're turned off. Just leave them off for now. If you need them later, how do you know you'll need them later? It's because if you go from one BNB token to the other, if you go from one BNB token to the other, and it's not working. That's why that's because multi hop is off. So let's say you decided tomorrow after you're done, you have some Seifu, and you said you decided you want a Kiwi better. You can swap from Seifu to Kiwi. That's called a multi-hop. Why? Because it takes your Seifu, sells it for BNB, takes the BNB, buys the Kiwi for you, puts the Kiwi in your wallet. That's multi-hopping. Emil says, buy and hold would be a great as it, given 1% rebase a day, trying arbitrage frequently. We may make money, but losing on rebasing. So holding is better because we are making arbitrage profits with rebases. Yes. The problem with that, though, Camille, I mean, Anil, is the prices you're going to see for the Seifu Go that you hold. So if you have whatever amount of Seifu Go that you have and it gets to five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, are you going to hold it? That's the thing. That's what makes it hard. That's what makes it hard right there. Okay? $100. If it gets to $500, you're going to be like, wow, this is a lot of money. Should I, you know, what if it goes down? Like if people sell. Yeah. Danny says, uh, what about the 1% rebase a day? That's 500 more tokens being paid out every day. Is that going to last forever? No. Nope. No, because like I just went over, literally, the, the last thing that I said, people are going to see these numbers and they're going to sell. And that's where the burn happens. The burn doesn't happen when we buy. It burns when we sell. And so when people say, and when, so when people sell, you're going to see a lot of coins just disappear and never be found again. <clears throat> uh, see, oh, yeah. But the one percent is a is a really nice. Like if you can hold on to it, you're looking at a a crazy profit. If you if you can hold on to it, but I don't think anyone's gonna hold on to it like that. Uh, yeah. Brian says, "Oh, y'all sitting on the crapper? Is that yeah? Why it hasn't been too How bad. do you know?" <laughs> we do a live stream. Doing a live stream from a toilet seat. Yeah, that's what we're all doing. I don't know how we all figured this out, but I didn't even think that we were like when I did it. I didn't know that Chris and, and was going to do it, and then pop on Pride and and Fowler, and they're sitting on the crapper too. Gosh. I, I, I had to go to McDonald's. I haven't had time to. <laughs> He's like, can't feel my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Dino says, I uh, file a nice background. I have a friend who owns six GTRs, all bought with Shiba hey, Inu. I'm just, I'm telling you, know, man, yeah, this is you. the car. This is the car right here. And I know Euro, Giro, whatever they yeah. want to drive. Like, just wait till you, you know, just wait till y'all see what I'm going to buy with my SGO. 
What are you going to get? New Pinto? Yeah. No, he's he in that Euro. <laughs> yeah. It's B&B size starting at $5 or $10. Five bucks. Five dollars, Safer Warrior. Five dollars. The greatest of all time is Jordan. That's right. I think I, my, I, I'm a Sixers fan, and I think that we have to trade Joel Embiid. That's what I think. He's the he just was named MVP this year. Yeah, man. But he did not get it done. And to me, you do not have that kind of a performance on game game seven. Fifteen points. Yeah, man. Y'all need to send him right to Chicago, man. Like y'all, y'all do not deserve to have him the low. Y'all need to get rid of him. Get rid of him. Yeah, I'll give him to you. Three first round draft picks. We'll give you uh, Zach Levine. No, three oh. first round draft picks. <laughs> No, we need Zach Levine. You don't want. You can't say you don't want somebody. I, I, something crazy. No, I, <laughs> you get rid. No, of you're you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'll take him, but I want three first round draft picks. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> well, they see you like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not gonna trade him straight up for Zach Levine. It's would not you, gonna would work. Trade, would you trade him for LeBron James? No. LeBron James ten years ago, yeah, but not LeBron James. The second that the second I make that trade, that's when LeBron takes a nosedive. Yeah, LeBron all of a sudden he doesn't play well anymore. And he needs to retire. That's what happens. LeBron I'll take three first round draft picks for Joel Embiid. And you know, uh, LeBron he takes games off, so some games you go there, he ain't gonna be there. Yeah, well, he's like thirty eight now, right? Thirty seven, thirty eight. Right, thirty nine next year. Damn. Sharon says, I hope I will match by some. It all going to be smooth. Also, the selling part. Uh, yeah, the selling part's going to be better this time. Like, first of all, we couldn't even sell like the first time. So, yeah, it's going to be better this time. You can at least sell now. <clears throat> yeah, that's the right address. Why is Pancake Swap not opening Google Chrome? I don't know. Uh, why would that be the case? Um, it's, I'm 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 showing you guys uh, Pancake Swap on Google Chrome. So Jeff, I don't know why. Clear your uh, cache. See if there's yeah, something that's blocking. Yeah, maybe maybe. Uh, one other thing too is if you are using your Google Chrome to look at the Balkan <laughs> test net, it might end up making you reset, and you got to change through your extension. You got to change from the Balkan test net to Binance or whatever you want. Call me a gremlin, brother. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <Sounds bad enough. laughs> he called me a gremlin, bro. What is that all about, man? That's not even funny. <laughs> he called me a gremlin, brother. <laughs> tough, tough crowd out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So our poll is at 215 votes, and we have 3,500 still in the lead at 33 percent. One thousand dollars at twenty-two percent, five hundred dollars at nineteen percent, and in second place is one hundred dollars at twenty-five percent. We're gonna end that poll right there, and then come up with a new one. Mm. Is Pride a gremlin? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 Can you believe in <clears throat> what is he saying here? Oh no, that was uh, I thought that was, I saw it. An old post from Brian. I thought Brian was up to snow. Go ahead, brother. Uh, can you do a demonstration of how it all worked, please? Where do you go? Pancakes. What and how does it work by demonstrating? I'm new to this. Well, first of all, let me just take you over to Pancake Swap. We'll drop that comment. Um, <clears throat> this is Pancake Swap. To start, you need uh, this right here. You need B and B. And then you need to uh, take this right here, which is Esco. And I'm going to get rid of it now so I can show you how to do this. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> First, you come to Pancake Swap, you connect your wallet, okay? Uh, and then you, you select here the BNB Smart Chain, okay? Not Ethereum or Aptos, but the BNB Smart Chain, okay? Then you come here, and since you have BNB, you have to first. Uh, first of all, you should have BNB as as a as the coin. You need the BNB coin 
to, to do this transaction. All right, because you're going to perform what's called a swap. And then you're going to go. So now that you have this BNB, it's going to tell you how much you have right here or right next to it right here. And then you're going to put how much you want to buy. <clears throat> and this right here is where you click to put the address in because it's not in there right now. Uh, so that's that's Fowler's Discord. Hold on. I got to get the, the thing again. One second. It's right here, uh, which is the... Um, <clears throat> the contract address which is right here sorry guys so this is the contract address when you get it when you get it you you copy it you paste it here and then you see here where it says import it won't show up unless you do this so now you import it you say i understand you click import then it's there and it's available for you to buy at eight o'clock tonight, Eastern time in the United States, zero hundred universal time, 1 a.m. in England, 5 p.m. in the Pacific East and the Pacific uh, West Coast. Uh, and I, I don't think there's any other time, right? No. That's it, yeah. Australia. No other time in the United States that matters. It's just the East Coast and the West Coast. Well, Alaska is an hour after... West Coast. I'm just joking. It's at 8, 8 p.m. East, Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. in the in California, okay, Oregon and Washington. <clears throat> so that's what's going to happen. And that this is going to turn on, right? But right when it turns on, you're going to be able to click. Uh, well, first of all, you're going to already have this connected to your wallet. I showed you that up here. You're going to already be connected. Then this, this is going to turn into what says swap. But before that happens and it turns on, it's going to say enable. You need to enable it. Just click enable, approve it, and then it goes through in a, in a second or two. And now it's enabled. After that, you don't have to worry about anything else because all you got to do is just swap for it. You have this. You have that. How much BNB do you want to spend on it? <clears throat> and just click swap. Approve it. And then you're good. That's basically what you're doing here. Okay. Go ahead, Pride. I think we have more questions that have popped up since since that I did that. Uh, Milky says, Dan thinks he's Kevin Costner in Draft Day. That's right. Rolling that was a great movie. My, I love got, that movie. Got my family on board. We have computers everywhere. Uh, we have Chalk well, Talk. Just back, chalk talk. Yeah, just back in at the amazing Chinese I'm banquet with friends. friends. Can you be on there? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All intake for me probably would be more relaxed, less stressed with more wine, though. What we got going on there? Nothing. I, I, Fowler, I, I was going to add Fowler on the team, but I can't because I have no room now. I have Mrs. Worldwide, Chris Cruz, you, and Greek. I can take Greek off for now. I can take Greek off for now and then bring you on because Greek's not going to come back on. He's going to come on later if he even comes back. Just send me your email address, Fowler, in the uh, in the uh, private chat. Yeah, Greek ain't coming back. He about to be trying to get him some safe food. Go. He might come back after that, but he's not going to come back before. Oh yeah, he he focused like a hawk. So I'm done. I mean, I I, I picked up. Uh, I, I I did all kinds of pregame to, uh, yesterday, today, this whole week, but most of it was yesterday and today. Buying starts one hour from now. No, not one hour. Uh, it starts two hours, two hours, two hours and twelve minutes. Mm -hmm. Two hours and twelve minutes. But yeah, <laughs> um, that's what I was saying, Fowler. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I started I started doing my pregame, getting all my getting everything in order, practice. Excuse me, practicing. Because I'm trying to go, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go off on this. I'm going to get a lot. First, Sam, you worldwide. DP, I have a Lambo for you. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I'll take it. <laughs> this function junction Gremlin was a car last made by AMC back in 1975. I'm guessing Pride will splurge his SGO profits on that. Nice. Yeah, I see that happening too. The Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm at work in office at six. I work an hour from home. I have to speed and dodge those tickets. Well, you're an hour from home, bro. So you're you should be okay. Uh, you know, unless you're out in the west side of Pennsylvania, then I think that's considered uh, central time. But if you're here on the east side, you should be fine getting home. You know, don't speed, don't get a ticket, you know, because then you got to deal with all that nonsense. And we all know the police love to pull you over and then ask you questions, you know, why are you speeding? What are you doing? You know, and then you got to deal with all that nonsense. So just don't speed. You'll be back hour, hour, 15 minutes. You'll be home by 7, 7, 15. So drive normal. Don't speed and get all jacked up. <clears throat> Rainmaker says how to disable the multi hop. So what you do, Rainmaker, is first of all you're on Pancake Swap like 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 we are here. You see this little wheel here? You click on that, a customized routing, and then you see this little multi hops. It's lit up. It will be lit up when you go there. Just unlight it here, and then also while you're there, take off V2 too. You see this is on. This is off. Take that off. Take that off. And then X out, and you're done. Uh, Michael says, "Can buy from Same Wallet, Safe Food to SGO, and from B and B to SGO." You can when the when the when when the when the clock opens up, when when the trade opens up, and you can do anything you want. Whereas in the first thirty minutes, though. You can every five minutes, but not the same in the same five minutes. If you understand what I mean. So in other words, let's pretend it's the first five minutes. You bought one Seifu Go from the B&B &B pool. You cannot buy a Seifu Go from the Seifu pool also in that same wallet. You cannot do it. Okay? It's going to get blocked. Just, just, don't, just don't even bother. Okay? But yes, that's a great question. <clears throat> Uh, next one, Daniel. For the first five minutes, I can buy just one SGO. So, do I have to put? I guess I will spend one safe food for one safe food go, or can I put any amount of safe food to spend and I will get one safe food go automatically? No, you just don't even put anything on the on what you're spending. Understand what you're doing, everybody. I'm giving away too much here. You don't <laughs> you don't put anything for how much you're spending. You only put what you're buying. Pancake swap, excuse me, pancake swap will populate how much it costs for you at that very moment when you make the swap. You don't have to put that there. Don't do it. You can screw yourself up. You don't know how much it costs. Look, I have to do this while flying from DC to West Coast. Good luck. Are you a pilot? Oh, sure. Yeah. Put it on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you First go. <laughs> <Put it on. laughs> As for Nacho and Brian, V3 doesn't matter whether it's on or off. And they had tested it and tested that check in Discord. We also got somebody else. I didn't check in in Discord. Somebody else, right, Chris, said that Nacho said to turn it off. So and turn off multi hop and turn off V3. So I've seen him say it too. So I don't know. And almost at 300, by the way, people watching, we're just about there. Let me check the likes to see where you guys are because we got to make sure that you guys are make, get, hitting the like button on this bad boy. Um, I'm going to try and get some to my son's graduation ceremony. So far, we have how many people liking the video? 99! Can we get to 200? On my channel, at least. Can we get to 200 likes? There's 101 now. How about we do that? Everybody watching on everybody's channel right now, wherever channel you are, make sure you hit the like button. Go ahead, Pride. I think, right. I think most, of them are, most of them are probably on your channel, right? <clears throat> uh, what a great night tonight, Safe Go and UFC, although I don't think I'll see much of UFC. You might. Right yeah. Where can I get the countdowns? Right there on Chris Cruz's screen. Yeah. You can see it right there, but I don't know where Chris is getting it from. I'm getting it from the the link for the launch, the Safe Go launch, the one that they do in the Discord. 
Okay. Sakura says I got four wallet open and three device. Skilling up, skilling my kids up. What buttons? Punch, punch, push. <laughs> there you go. I don't see it in the Discord. Where do I find that? Uh, the uh, is that like a website or something? Yeah, it says somebody. Uh, let's see. It is. It's in the announcements. Uh, the pin messages maybe in the chat. Someone put it on there like last week or something. <clears throat> Let me just type in clock. In the the message. Hit the like button, peeps. Smash that like button. 102 likes on Daniel's channel. Tonight is the big day. Uh, Kamara says, I, sacri I sacrifice for Seifu X last year. I'm new in crypto. I would like to know the steps to take to get my token. Thanks. To get your well, Seifu I just X did it like five minutes ago, so just rewind the tape. You can rewind live videos, everybody. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know that. Just tap oh, on yeah, your screen. Yeah. 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 If you tap on if you tap on your screen on the left hand side of your screen, it'll go back ten seconds every time you tap on it. So if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, that means you're gonna go back sixty seconds, so on and so forth. But you can rewind while I'm on the air and go back about five minutes, maybe even ten minutes, you'll see the entire thing. Okay. <clears throat> I sacrifice for Save Save X on these are crypto. Okay, we did that one. Danny Espatia says uh I have one wallet open on my laptop with Seifu slash Seifu Go ready on pancake swap and another wallet open on my phone with BNB slash Seifu Go open on pancake swap. Gonna double team it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's the way you do it. We didn't went over this thing five times already. Can you just show this demonstration how to buy from pancake swap, please? Yeah, just rewind the tape. Even though it's live, you can rewind the tape about 10 minutes. You'll see it all there. I have to head start on Kryptonia channel. Give him some love. Now you got my like, brother. All right, hop over to Crypto Sprite channel next. How about that? Yeah, Anthony. Um, and Chris Cruz, too, and Fowler. If any, if you guys aren't, or if you guys aren't uh, subscribed to these guys, they're all putting out ex exceptional work. Every day, Pride with a nice five, six, seven minute video topping everybody off with the news chris cruz live all the time doing all kinds of different lives informing people being entertaining and stuff like that giving something for people to listen to and fowler every day monday through friday at 3 p.m every day i'm telling you guys these guys are doing this every day it's great content for you to consume keep you know while you're driving maybe when you're working out uh, and he's going for a walk. These are great things to listen to. Fowler's on Monday through Friday, and he also has the Gods of Gaming project going on the Vulcan blockchain, right? Fowler, tell them all about it. We're <coughs> stepping away from 300 people watching. Start sharing yeah, so, this, everybody. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, guys, Gods of Gaming is going to be placed on the Vulcan blockchain. It's going to be the mainstay uh, where we start. Uh, if you don't know, Guys of Gaming is a startup blockchain gaming publisher. So uh, at first, we're not going to be developing games. We will gradually get into it as um, long as, you know, everything works out in that in that direction. But for the most part, the Guys of Gaming project is going to bring gamers, game developers, and pretty much all investors that's interested into uh, one place right now how they interact with each other is pretty simple gamers come to play games uh the the game developers come to make games for the gamers right because that is the uh the, the consumer and then also the investors you guys are you know uh pretty much giving um one you're giving an ability for a project like guys of gaming to flourish by being able to uh, afford the development, you know, the software and everything that goes into it, what we want to bring to the consumers, which are the gamers. Uh, this this project is uh, not just a crypto project. It's an overall uh, crypto real life project here because the, <clears throat> the games that are made, the, uh, the games that are going to be brought to the, uh, the guys, the gaming platform. These games are going to be play to earn games. Uh, whether they're NFT games, full immersive 3D games, uh, you name it, it's going to have some type of play to earn aspect on this platform. And what we're going to try to do is get this platform into the eyes of 
um, you know, traditional gamers. So the gamers who are right now playing Fortnite and Roblox and stuff like that. We got to tap into that industry because that's where a lot of money is sitting right now. And I can tell you right now from firsthand experience, that can, that consumer base isn't too happy with the games that are being uh, produced and stuff like that. So the, uh, the the crypto market has a really big opportunity to like put a foot in uh, into the traditional gaming market and really like make some some waves because uh, gamers are looking for uh, the ability to the, the things that they purchase in games right now uh, to to make you know, some type of resale value off of their, their items and the accounts that they make in these games, they're, they're looking for that stuff. And crypto is going to give that opportunity for that. And that's where the guys, the gaming comes in as well, because we know what, <clears throat> what gamers are looking for, right? We know what gamers are looking for and we know how to pretty much reverse going forward to capturing those gamers. And also once you capture those gamers, you also know you're going to capture the game developers because game developers are going to go wherever the game the, the gamers are actually paying attention. So they're gonna they're gonna be there for it. So you know, um, it's a it's a ride if you, if you choose to uh you know join in this community with guys of gaming. You know we have opportunities for you know passive income. That's what we we're talking about a little bit earlier about the the revenue sharing NFTs and everything. Those are pretty much the uh, uh, pretty much the bedrock for our investor base that's going to you know start off early with us because they're going to that's going to give them incentive to really push this this community because you know without community we can't really projects can't flourish right a project cannot flourish without a community so um this is a real big start for people who are early who wants to jump in uh, guys gaming you need to really uh take a look at our white paper the white paper is on our website it's also on our discord uh, it explains the uh, revenue sharing and, and the things we plan on doing. It explains pretty much how we're going to reach out to different uh, communities, which is pretty much different blockchains at this point. Because as we know, there's gaming on all different type of blockchains. So, you know, the thing is to really, you know, step into those blockchains and let them know like, hey, we're going to have a, a, you know, a project here that's going to be able to, you know, cross, you know, go across cross tra- cross chain. So, you know, um, and that's that's going to be really big, especially again people who understand the value and revenue sharing NFTs, the passive income. You, you understand that you know it's 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 not about the the short uh, the short term burst to get to the finish line. It's about that long you know making a, a, a quality project and building it and actually you know flourishing because this product again the gamers is something once you tap into once you're in there. It can last just as long. Just that's why I always bring up Michael Jordan. Just like he played through the NBA, he you know went through the NBA, went through college, went through the NBA, made money, became the goat. Right? He's still getting paid by Nike right now off of sharing the percentage sharing he gets off his the shoes. Brand well, this is name. one of the NFTs, the Zeus one. This is the most the most valuable one. So why don't you talk about what they can, what what this entails, and how many there are? There's not that many of them, and. You know how they can uh, make money passively with this NFT. Yeah. So, guys, the uh, <clears throat> the um, the revenue share NFTs that's on this page. Uh, Zeus is being the the uh, the first uh, tier. There's four tiers. So you have the Zeus tier, you have the Poseidon tier, and you also have the Athena tier, and also along with it, you have the Hades tier. And each one has a, uh, a limited amount of mints, meaning pretty much once these mints are done, you cannot attain these NFTs through the mentor anymore. You can only attain them through the people who own the NFTs, meaning they would have to, you know, you have to place your NFT that you that revenue share NFT that you own on an NFT marketplace and somebody would have to buy it. OK, now the, the, the way revenue share NFTs become super popular super, you know give you that that uh that value that price value that you're looking for is guys of gaming growing right so guys of game gro- guys of gaming growing starts growing right and then you know the revenue shares start gets paid out right so there's value getting put into those nfts so you have to think if you're making money right if somebody's making money are you more likely to put your revenue share nft that's making you money right now onto an nft marketplace Unless you're going to get top dollar for it, whatever you believe that your top dollar is. But if you feel like you get top dollar for it, you have that choice to sell it on NFT marketplace. But again, that revenue share NFT is what's giving you the ability to receive profits 
fr revenue profits from guys of gaming through uh because they're these uh revenue sharing nfts are connected to two revenue sharing pools they're going to be connected to two revenue sharing pools that are going to be connected to two individual tokens for guys of gaming so we're already forecasting yet right there two tokens within the project and they have two rev revenue sharing pools that those nfts that you're showing right there access that gives you access to that so you know the uh each each revenue share nft they have different uh sharing percentages that they'll uh, allow you to get uh it should be a little bit uh underneath each nft i think uh if you scroll down just a tad uh prado because i it's kind of zoomed in a little bit further down right there yeah so you know it's, it's going to tell you what the limited amount of uh mints are going to be for the zeus tier is going to be 278 uh these uh the price are calculated in bnb because you know this is going to release on uh, the bsc network and eventually get migrated over into uh vulcan blockchain once the vulcan blockchain is up uh so those uh you know it won't nothing will change because your your address and your wallet won't change from bsc to you know any other uh wallet that connects through that RPC that connects to Vulcan blockchain, right? So these these prices are BNB calculated with the price of 320 bucks, the value of 320 bucks of BNB. So right now for the Zeus tier, it start it's going to be 11.16 BNB for each Zeus NFT. Uh, and then each you know other lower tier NFT is going to have its own corresponding price as well. Um, but the uh, the Zeus, which gives you the most revenue share, uh, the most revenue share of 0.186 percent. Uh, that is per NFT. So, you know, those Zeus tier NFTs are going to be very, um, that's they're they're the stuff that like that's if you're gonna if you want to go top top tier, you're gonna go Zeus tier. Um, yeah, all the yes. all the yeah, I was gonna say all the NFTs, all the Four NFTs also give uh, benefits that will come with the platform. But the biggest one is that um, when we start going out to uh, crypto uh, expos and gaming expos that we're going to post and everything, those NFTs, the fact that you own those NFTs will give you pretty much the access to come down into our expo and be part of the guys gaming uh, uh, exposition. So you, you pretty much if you're in the Vulcan blockchain, or, you know, Seifu, doesn't matter. If you have the guys gaming revenue sharing NFTs, you can just come right. We we place a place and you want to come down, you want to fly down to Vegas or wherever we're at, you can come join on with us because hey, you already got access with that NFT. We need we need SGO to hit 3500. Say again? I said we need SGO to hit 3500. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go. I got you. I'll get a Zeus NFT. We hit 3500. Count me in, brother. Yeah, man. It's... Also, by the way, um, I'm gonna put the uh, the link to the Discord, uh, which I was scrolling through for you guys to go and join as well. The Discord uh, for Gods of Gaming. It's in the live chat now. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Let's also. I also want to go over um, this one for the guys. Uh, I think you guys should. Uh, should take a look at this because a lot of people were excited about this. I'm going to bring them on a week before launch. Yes. Okay. Um, I want to show you guys this because everyone was pretty excited about this right here. This is property flex, everybody. Um, <clears throat> This is another exciting, uh, pro another exciting um, project that's going to be listed on the Vulcan blockchain, and so this is not going to be on anything else but Vulcan. When it releases, the same thing that Fowler's doing uh, when he releases his project, Gods of Gaming. It's only going to go on the Vulcan blockchain. So is this. This is called Property Flex. You can come here to. Uh, <clears throat> This is called, actually, this is lightpaper.propertyflex.io, but you could just put in literally propertyflex.io if you just put that in there. And this is what you're going to come to. 
Um, and this is property flex, all right? So what is this? What is this? First of all, click here, put in your uh, your email address, um, and then join now, you'll get the stuff, all right? Read the white paper though, and you'll start to find out what this is. And But in, in short, what it is is they're gonna be buying cash flow properties. This is in short what it is. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be very interested in this. They're gonna be buying cash flow properties and sharing the income with with NFT holders. That's what it is. It's pretty brilliant, right? So they're gonna buy the property. They're gonna cash, it's gonna be cash flowing already when they buy it for the most part. They'll do some things, very few though, where they're buying and maybe doing some rehab and then selling it or maybe even putting it up for rent. They're gonna buy things that are already cash flowing. And then you as an NFT holder get to take in some of that income monthly. How much is the NFT? It's only $100 for one NFT. That's it. That is it. And if you think that's fantastic, guess what? You can buy as many as you want of them. So obviously, the more you own in these NFTs, the more you collect from the properties that they that they buy and then and the, and the cash flow. Here's another thing that you want to keep in mind. The first group of people that buy NFTs based on the first property, they get to share revenue for that and everything else that they do from now on. The second property, I'm, I'm, I think it's the second property that they said they have a whole nother set of NFTs for, which is like sec the second round, I guess, if you will. If you buy, I'm just I'm putting it to you this way so you so, so you can understand it better. The second round of NFTs does not collect anything from the first round, but the first round gets to collect from the first round and the second round and the third round and the fourth round and, and, and so on and so forth. So you want to get in on the first round. It seems like it would be a limit for the first round. If that's the case. No, there's no limit. Yes. Yeah, nice. And they're only $100. So you could buy a hundred dollars or you can buy a hundred thousand dollars. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot of NFTs, but you know, still, you get a hundred thousand dollars in there, you're going to be sitting pretty. But that's the gist of it. Everybody, go to propertyflex.io. There you go. That's some good stuff coming out. And don't forget, everybody. Of course, you already knew it was going to happen. The worldwide token is coming. That's right. Inside of a month, everybody. Wow. The worldwide token should be done inside of a month. All right. And I want you all to get ready for that. Say dollar sign world in the live chat. That's the name of the token. It's going to be worlds that you buy. Worlds. So say world in the bottom if you're uh, feeling blessed and if you're feeling bullish. With all the things that are going to be happening on Vulcan blockchain, guess what? The Daniel Prado worldwide token will be on there. It's going to be called the worldwide token. And the, uh, the ticker is world so if you're feeling blessed and you're feeling bu bullish say world in the chat in the chat everybody responding uh <clears throat> michael green there you go this uh, uh barry mccockner still thinking prod pro dollar it's not gonna happen mm -hmm. there goes uh roy kelly everyone's saying world they're all excited about the worldwide token wait until this thing comes out you guys are gonna love it it is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, Kiwi Babe is back, everybody. And God We Trust. Yeah, everyone's saying how everyone's excited for the worldwide token. And God We Trust, for some reason, putting hashtag Greek. You know, like, uh, Joseph Campos, there you guys. Are you guys all going to buy the worldwide token when it comes out? Fair launch, everybody. It will be a fair launch. But it will have a pink sale. I'm figuring out the details of that, how I want how I want that to happen. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Maybe I can partner up with Fowler to buy some NFTs with the worldwide token. Who wants that? <laughs> Fowler's like, you we'll see. You got to be, be done by Monday, man. You got to some gotta the sales Monday. <laughs> Oh, so this is Monday that this, 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 people yeah. have to buy it by Monday. Okay. All right. 3 p.m. I can get that. 3 p.m. Easter, Monday. 
Yeah, um, that's what uh, when when I did your show yesterday, Fire. That's why I, I brought that up. I was like, you know, I don't know if he's going to get a chance to get on here before then, but three p.m. Monday is when these go on sale. So let's go, SGO. Go, SGO. <laughs> <laughs> Rado, I started watching your channel a month ago since I've subscribed to all four of your channels and Greek too. We'll also took we'll also look into your individual project after it launches. Thank you for the best uh, info. Good luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, we're all gonna have a lot of fun with that, and it's gonna be very secure. You know, there's not going to be any back doors. Nobody's going to have the keys but me for everything. <laughs> there's not going to be anybody on the team that has the keys but me. That's it. Oh, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Because, you know, you find it's out about the people coming in and, like, they're they rugging oh, people. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. F that, bro. <clears throat> I definitely feel the same way on that one. Right, Fowler? All right, so Marshall Holder of No says, love and light to my Vulcan family. Happy hunting tonight, guys. Good luck to all. Good luck to you, too. Marshall super Holder cool. of Nodes. Yeah, super chat. Mm -hmm. Super chat. There we go. <coughs> Good, Pride. Can you do a dry run on PCS, and what amount should we put in if you could only buy one? And if we just hold safe, only what price will it match? SGO. Well, crypto success, you probably already know how to do it. What your what your real question is, is how much do you put for the amount that you're going to spend on the one safe to go? And the answer is nothing. You don't put anything. Just put one safe to go. That's it. Put one safe to go. Let pancake swap populate how much it's going to cost you. Okay? That's all you got to do. Hour and a half away, everybody. Hour and 45 minutes away from... The launch. <clears throat> you, got your, you got your favorite commenter here. When a uh, Prado rug, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Don't she worry. Always give you a hard time, man. She always give you a hard time. It's going to be a slow rug with rehabs and new rugs being brought in, carpet installa installers. That we the same thing that we're going through now. Everyone's going to make a lot of money somehow on this slow, incredibly slow uh, rug pull. You know. Right, Fowler. We've got guys coming in. They got the knee pad thing, and they, like, you know, they're they're installing <laughs> with, with the with the staple gun. With the staple yeah, gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we've got all that going on here. And sometimes it goes bad. We got to get a whole new uh, rug. It's all right. Don't click on anything from Massimo that's nasty, by the way, because he keeps on saying dumb things. <clears throat> He's not a bad guy, but sometimes he can be stupid in the comments. What does this one say? Example: If you go in with twenty dollars to buy SGO in the first five minutes, you get the SGO for five dollars. What happens to the remaining fifteen dollars? Oh, they keep it to taxes. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> if you go in with twenty dollars to buy, a, 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 say an SGO, I'm, uh, he put the uh, A instead of the S. They're right next to each other. In the first five minutes, and you get the SGO for five dollars. What happens to the five? To the, to, well, first of all, don't put anything in there. I'm telling you guys. I don't yeah. think you guys are paying attention. Maybe you're just not hearing the answer, right? <clears throat> don't put anything for how much you're spending. Don't put anything for how much you're spending. Just put the amount of Seifu that you're going to buy, okay? The amount of Seifu go that you're going to buy. That's it. You're buying one? Put one. That's it. <clears throat> but if you got one, just, to, just, so that you, uh, just so that you know, if you were to buy it for $5 and you put 20 in there, it would only take five of it. That's it. The rest would stay in your wallet. That's what would happen. Minus the 1.5% tax. Okay. Let me go back to the thing. Oh, wow. Hi, brothers. I'm building 500 units in the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana Beach, and I will take Vulcans as payments. FYA. Well, how about that, everybody? Nice. A new utility born here on Daniel Daniel Power Worldwide for Vulcan blockchain. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Sound like FYA, and you get in touch with uh, the uh, what's the name team with Kryptonian in them. 
project flex, property flex. Yeah. Oh, yes. I think that uh, uh, that's his, though. He said he's building it, so I don't think he's going to want to give it up, especially in Punta Cana. No, that yeah. is a resort area, 500 units. Crazy. He's going to want a pretty penny for that one. Mm hmm. Clown around says if one SAFU equals one SGO and SAFU price is one dollar at lunch, what happens as price of S I guess SGO rises after 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, etc.? Then it's gonna cost you more than one SAFU. Yeah, yes, pay you more. You have to pay more than one SAFU. That's the way it goes. Digital Queen says I will get the key from Mrs. Worldwide for what? Is it the the uh <laughs> The slippage has something to do with uh, being a, if the price rises or something like that. Isn't that the whole point of the slippage? Yeah. And FYA may take world also as payment, everybody. You see that? Partnerships already forming. I'm telling you, it's going to be fantastic. And guess what? Once he takes world, so is everybody in Putacana because I'm going to get in touch with every one of them because he's going to get in touch with them for me. And then Ms. Worldwide is going to translate, right? There you go. <clears throat> Crypto professor, will we get a go from BL to start buying or will it happen exactly on the timer? Should happen right on time. It should happen right on time. There's no go and all that nonsense. You just wait, you just wait, stare at the screen, think about all the people having a conversation in Discord, and then you know, beat them. <laughs> There's gonna be so many people, Chris, in the Discord chatting it up at the launch. Yeah, and they're going to be the first ones to complain, right, Fowler? I, but I didn't know that it was launch. <laughs> Why didn't he say go like last time? We get the crap was wrong token. Man, if people waiting for that go, that boy, they're gonna be yeah, they're gonna be waiting all night. There's no go. There's no go ready. tonight, everybody. No go. All right. Everybody understand that there's no go, right? No go. There's just. Just go. That's you. Just you. Just go. All right. <clears throat> My tacos. Cheers to you too. Uh, is Pride? Are you ready to come back, Pride? Because it looks like you're gone, bro. Like, um, there's a, there's a, you took me off the I, stream. I, I didn't. No, I didn't take you off. I don't know how that happened. You must have hit the maybe. Button. Maybe, maybe uh, Fowler's testing his powers now that he has it. He's uh, took you off. Is, Fowler. He was nah, like, dude, oh, yeah, I'm that's looking enough. At, I'm looking at BSC skin. <laughs> <laughs> BSC skin. Uh, what oh, price no. do you use predict after first five minutes? What price do you use predict for the first five minutes? 35 well, bucks is my prediction. Yeah. Pride, Pride says 35 after the first five minutes. I don't, I think it's like, a hundred bucks in the first five minutes, one hundred dollars. Because mm. we're gonna have an influx, yeah. but we'll see. We'll see if it's thirty-five bucks. That means that we're that that we are those of us who have been paying attention are gonna get get. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna make out like like bandits, exactly like the, what the Kadeem team looks like right here in their picture. <laughs> <laughs> the bandits. Yeah, so if you watch the new Air movie, it goes over everything, and it was his mom that wanted him to get the percentage. How about that? What a great mom Jordan had making sure that he got that percentage because it indeed not only protected him for the rest of his life because of that constant cash flow, but he became a billionaire off, off of it. A billionaire, which is very, very difficult to do, obviously. <clears throat> It says it's pride. What is it? I like this one. It's pride making his own token. I want to do a Mimi token. Is it gonna be is it gonna be like a pride token with that's like the colors are a rainbow? Is that is that what we're doing? I was gonna I was gonna do that. I put in chat GBT, but chat GBT told me it was like everything came up like with the lesbian LB. Oh lesbian. wait a minute. So you are using chat GPT. They yeah. were right. Yeah. That's how you got all the answers the other day. Tell That's me. how you got the answers to Melophila Cryptos. Yep. What? 
Oh no, I wasn't using Chat GPT. Yep. That. <laughs> That's how you said it. That's how you. I wasn't using no Chat GPT for that. The only difference is this time he wasn't dressed like the cream team when he did it. Otherwise, you wow. should have. That's exactly what I imagined you looking like, just like yeah. that. There was a rumor going around that to Peter, Peter. was <laughs> yeah, and you got Brooklyn. To win Marathon Crypto's uh, uh, game the other night, you came in That's false. the second that question, it. and you used Chat GPT on the three <laughs> questions in one. Oh, no. by the way, I wanted Fire. to say this too. This whole nonsense about give your top three answers that did not happen. There was no top three answers. Say, give us your top three answers. Pride literally just gave his three answers, and that's what happened. That's why he cheated. Right, Hodel? Brooklyn. There was no top. Give us your top three answers. I would have heard that. Yeah, Chris tried to say that it was a top three answer, and he said he did not say that. He missed a memo. And, and the, the top three people, right. Yeah, it was you and Pride and Brooklyn. And yeah. Pride was only in the last two rounds. But what did what did uh, Mel Fella do, uh, uh, Brooklyn? He stood there like this, like I didn't, I didn't see anything. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm happened. Thinking, I don't know what I'm happened. There was a, some. We got mauled at the. Right. We got mauled, bro. Brought down before we could even have a chance to catch the ball. And he just stood there like that. I, I came close like secretary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was at work doing it too, man. That was pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks to Chat GPT, we all know now. Pride, I just want you to know that Daniel and Brooklyn and I, when we heard those vicious, evil rumors about somebody using chat GP, we all stood up for you and said, no, thank you. Thank no, you. we know our buddy Pride would never do such things. Didn't we, Daniel? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I did. <laughs> Daniel's like, yeah, yeah. Just go with it. <laughs> That's what he said, Pride. Yeah. All right, you go. You go punch that question as a chat GPT. See what you get up. See what you come up with. See if any of those match up. Mm. Mm. That, that is, that is, uh, <laughs> those are crazy, man. They're crazy. Mm. <laughs> you know, like if it was me and I didn't cheat, I'd be like this. I didn't do that, bro. I, I'm fine. Yeah. But you see how upset Pride's getting. You know, it's different. Like when you get when you're when you know there's something yeah. wrong, you get pissed off, don't you? It is you funny like everybody. Like, yeah, it doesn't happen. Get out of here. But you see, Pride's like, I didn't do that. I didn't do it. it. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me at all. It is funny that we were talking about Chat GPT the other day. That he was using it, buying it. We heard <laughs> from a rumor, and then he's just like, he's just like, yeah, I typed in the Chat GPT about the Pride thing. It's like, oh. No. So you do use it? No, I asked him because I wanted to come up with the token name, and I'll give you guys a snippet. If I do do a Mimi token, the token name is gonna be called Fluffy. Okay. Yeah, you said that. You said you like that name, Fluffy. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna it's be a dog. Really Fluffy though, or you don't care that you don't care. I don't that. care. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. It's gonna be a, yeah. It's gonna be, it's yeah, because mine has there's different tokens or coins that are named World, and I'm just gonna name it World because I like. It's gonna mine's be a dog. Gonna be a dog can have sunglasses on. Okay, I'm gonna have fur coat on. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. I gotta set up a dog with a fur coat on, also on top yes. of his fur. Okay, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> Talk Everybody, about it get your uh, get your bullish uh, comments in. We'll put we'll click them on the screen. No more comments. We're done. We're done after this. That's right. Six twenty-seven. Go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to the live chart. With some music playing, I don't know what kind of music, but I'll put on the uh, the, the music that I usually have on. Yeah, there's um, music in the uh, the stream yard, right? You're just gonna put that on? No, I'm gonna put the music that I usually play. You know, oh, okay. the one that I that, that's in my open. I'll play that with the chart playing, and then we'll come back, all of us, right after uh, we're done our trades. I'll come on, and and when I'm done, and I and I know that I'm out, and I, I bought what I can, I'll come on. And then everybody will come on, or you guys can come on before me. You'll have control, especially you, Pride, and uh, and Fowler, and Chris. You guys have control to be able to bring yourself on if you want, because you know, if you go, if you get done before me. But we'll all come on afterwards, right? Uh, so <clears throat> um, let me see if there's anything else. Bless everyone. Good luck. Says GMO Bowl. Yeah, there you go. Last things that you guys want to say, real quick. Uh, Brooklyn, 
10 seconds, bro. Let's get it done. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the chart next. Good luck to everybody, man. I hope you get some um get some SGO. Hope you get more than one and stay positive and get them fingers ready. That's right. Go ahead, Pride. We got the most viewers we have. We're gonna end it. We have 304 viewers. You see that? Yeah, that's right. They're gonna be more when we come back. Believe that. There's gonna be like a thousand people watching when we get back. Get your SGO, take profits, buy the Zeus NFT, save some for the world token, and save some for property flex. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Go ahead there, uh Fowler, my man. We'll man, just guys, just good luck, right? Like, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. You need luck. This is all a gamble, right? So we're all gonna be out there trying to see if we could get those, like you said, stretch your fingers, get them ready, because this is a quick, this is a quick game, man. I got, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I got like six windows open. I got three screens. I got one of these screens, a 50 inch TV is up here. I'm looking at, I got four charts on a 50 inch. I got, I feel unprepared. I feel unprepared. I got a couple pool coins open. It's a lot of stuff, man. So I, I don't know how everybody else is doing it, but this is what some of us got to go through, man. So I ain't doing it like that. I, I'm definitely unprepared compared to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man. there goes Mrs. Worldwide, everybody. She, you guys see her? There she is. Yeah. There yep. she is. Last words. Miss Worldwide, last words. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, let's wrap it up, and then what, right after Chris, we're gonna be back afterwards. I'll keep this chat, this uh, this chart up for everybody to watch, and then uh, listen to some music, and then when this thing gets started, let's rock and roll. Go ahead, Chris. Well, I want to I want to say thanks to everybody that's gone to my uh, YouTube and started subscribing to me. It's uh, I picked up a, a quite a few subscribers today, so I appreciate that, and nice. thank you, Daniel, for the shout out, and good luck to everybody, and. Uh, I, I hope everybody makes out like a bandit. I do too. Let's all go out there and kick butt, stay focused, and uh, let's get it done, everybody. That's it. Let's just don't let anything get in your way. Let's get it done. See you guys all later. Boom. Nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my God.
on the beat. Baby on the beat.
Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Happy on the beat.
Happy on the beat. Happy on the beat.
Drinkers. I be on the beat. I be on the beat.
makers. Happy on the beat. Happy on the beat.
got a beat.
makers. Happy on the beat.
What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on? Nobody can sell again. So hopefully we get everything figured out. I don't know where everybody else is. Everything's set up. Guess we're just waiting to hear from the team. Yo. Hey, what's going on, man? What's happening? All right. Um, back, back to square one again, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. So, <laughs> how many did you end up nabbing? Uh, I got like six. Oh, you did better than me. I had to pay $60 for gas. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of rough. Yeah. I had to figure, I was like, man, why is my, I could have got it way earlier. It was just really a slippage. I just put shit 20% yeah. and it worked. I was at it like 49 and it did not work. Oh, I, didn't. I had it had at 30, it didn't work. And I tried to go up to 49, it didn't work. So yeah, I, like, had, man. I dropped it down to 20 and it just was like, sure, no problem. <laughs> like, oh, so you, went, you went through that lower slippage for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it went through a lower slippage and it did it twice because I, I did the first initial five minutes. And then uh -huh. boom, I was on the second. When I got to that second phase, I got this the another one, and then I tried to get the third. One. I almost, I almost got some real cheap ass safe go, man. I just I was a Com little too slow. Com says he's got forty five. Man, baller! <laughs> wow. Damn. Yes, yeah, so I hope they can fix it. Hope I don't got to do no relaunch, man. Because I'm like, I'm pooped out. I, I just couldn't. I can't see them doing another relaunch. I mean, it's just yeah, got to be taxing. I'll lose, I, I'll lose so much money on gas fees or something. Yeah, that's too taxing. This is way too taxing. It went way too long. Yeah. Like, before, they, it was pretty, they cut it off pretty quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, they, again, people been just. What's well, cut off now, isn't it? No, it's still going. People still spending gas. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can add the updated chart. Let's see. Let's see yeah, this chart right here, this thing ain't ever moved. Like, this. I don't know if it's on the hour chart or something. It ain't moved. Uh, oh, yeah, $2,000 then. Wow. That's the B&B. &B. If you go to the, uh, let's go safe food pair. Man, that's a little What is nice. it? It's uh, 5400 almost 5500 On the safe food B&B? &B? Yeah. No, no, safe food, let's go. Oh, I don't have that link to it. A... No, I don't. You gotta. I'm on Dex view. Hold on, I can uh, share it real quick. Hold okay, on. Uh, share it. Uh, what is it? Is that back there? Yeah. Let me go back to stream. Let me stop this. Where is it at? Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't put it in there. Yeah, I'm putting it right now. Oh wow. Sheesh. I can't make it larger, can we? There we go. Yeah, so I ain't even five thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars. Yeah. I tried to get some more, man. I just was that third phase. I was just too slow. Way too slow. Way too slow. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do. I guess we got to see. There's nothing in Discord. Saying they just, he's on the phone with nachos. Yeah, I would get on camera, but I'm using my phone, as, which is my camera, to do trades. Yeah. I could not get PCS to work on my PC whatsoever. I mean, I, a good first, the first three minutes was me again pissed off at PCS yeah. on the PC. But it could have again it could have been just a slippage because I had 49% on my PC. I only changed it to 20% on my phone once I was just like got to the point I'm like look what's going on. I use ball ball came through for me today. I ain't gonna lie. Oh really PCS that case swap ain't do a damn thing. Yeah man 
Like I said, but Bog, I had to pay like $60 in gas for each one. I was like, man, it went through. I got, you know, we'll see. How many did you end up getting? Uh, I got about two and two point one. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had some B and B. I was trying to get like nab a cup, but again, it was a slippage. I tried to nab a couple on B and B. Once that didn't, once that kept reverting, I was I gave up on B and B and just went straight to Seifu because I saw Seifu. I saw I, I was just seeing how much you could get with Seifu. I was just like, man, this you can't beat that. So like, let me just keep getting this cheap. Uh, see if I can keep nabbing cheap Esco. But that third phase, boy, it took off like a rocket. Missing content link. Where's the, where's the link? Copy link. You think we're going to relaunch it or what, man? Mm. What's your opinion? What's your honest opinion? Uh, I don't think they will relaunch. Mm. I don't think so. You got some red up there. Where? What do you see red? You got some red on the chart. You don't see that? <laughs> How is that possible? I don't see no no act, no transactions. I don't anymore. see it either, which is funny. Let me see. Nope, nothing. Maybe it's, I don't know, is, uh, let me look what the price of Seifu is. Yeah. Five, 15, $5. Yeah, Seifu's at uh, 44 cents right now. Maybe that's what's showing up. Oh, Safe was at 44 cents. Yeah. Wow. 43. Damn. Shit. If you get any cheaper, I might be taking like, you have to take a chance. Uh, I don't got no more money to take a chance. You need to uh, open these screws up. I still got that BNP I didn't use. You need to open these pools up. Oh, you got some uh you got some wine or something left? What you, what you got? Some some kiwi? No, I'm saying you need. I mean, I'm just talking about you need to open up the you know the, so we can sell. Oh, 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 sales. Yeah, I, I didn't even pay attention. Oh, to this. oh that's safe. Food. I didn't even pay attention to the sales and, and notice the sales until I started seeing the price go up. I said, let me check the sales again. I was like, oh man, you got a couple of reds. Where's this red coming from now? I wonder if that's just like evaluation oh, going down. Hey. I don't know, you know we don't lie, so. Huh? Let's see. Ugh. What's going on? Huge dump. Oh, yeah, liquidity got pulled. Okay. Uh, let's look for an announcement. All right, Prado. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? You tell us. Everybody's waiting for you. <laughs> All four hundred. Well, I mean, I didn't do as well as I had hoped, but I mean, there's a problem and now. There's not a problem with selling because it, it just dumped. Yeah, that's a little like liquidity is pulled, bro. So, uh, 
Um, Brooklyn is there. <clears throat> so, are people to make uh, able to make sales? Because yeah, I don't know if you've seen the chart, brother. I seen the chart. Say Foucault with uh, to rap BNB and is like down really bad. Oh yeah, it's uh, liquidity. I think they pull liquidity. No, they they did their sale. Yeah, because it, it looks like normal sales. But no, I, it's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But if that's the case, let me pick a. Let me see something here. Hold on. <coughs> how did you? Excuse me. How did you guys do though? In uh, buying, got yeah, about two point one. <coughs> it's way better than last time. I got a little oh, yeah. bit worse. I got a little bit worse than before. The third phase it took off on. Man, that dumped fast though. Look at that. They just couldn't wait to sell. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that's the only way we can make money on this is if it goes back up. But yep, yeah. it's just nothing but red now. I got six something, six point something. <clears throat> it's at a hundred and eight dollars right now. Esco USD. So they put the liquidity, or they? Uh, this is just normal sales and buys now. I don't know. This it's two thousand. It went to two thousand one hundred and three. Um, and some people were selling. Just looking at the sales. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking sales in one time. That's crazy. It must have been bots. It looked like it was the, the way it came down. That's what it looked like. I guess it was a lot, all sales, man. Yeah, Probably but so. I, mean, I, ain't seen not, I haven't seen that one announcement yet saying anything about sales enabled or anything. Yeah, he said in the in the uh in the safe food go chat, he said um I'm looking well hold on. There's so many goddamn messages that came in since it, since he said it. Let me just let me just search. Saw <clears throat> transaction, okay, it's high as hell. So he said, I'm on a call with legendary nachos right now at everyone. Please just relax while we are investigating into the cells. Everything regarding the protocol is working fine as intended. And then seconds after that, that huge red candle appeared. So all the idiots saying there's a rug pull and all that stuff, you know, I mean, what... <laughs> With the entire world watching him, yeah, that's a great move. Something, you know, but I it, that 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 candle there, I mean, looks like a rug pull, but that's just people selling massively. But I mean, it's back up to one seventy six now. All right, so uh, there's a stage on Safe Go. I think it's Brian's getting up there again. Okay, let me get over there. Let's go over there, everybody.
Oh, that's right. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to do it the other way. <clears throat> Uh, here he is. <coughs> Can you hear me? Not sure. Nacho, you're on stage, but nobody can hear. Nope. All right, let's see if Nacho can work out his technical issues. So I named this stage Live with Nacho hyphen shit show or not with a question mark, as in you decide if this is a shit show or it isn't. But um, I'm going to get Nacho here on stage so he can explain what we believe happened. Still can't hear you, Nacho. I reckon Nacho needs to reset his computer or his phone. I don't think the limits work. Did any of you guys encounter that also? Right. Well, Nacho's trying to fix stuff. Uh, you could Brad, probably you're, you're Oh, I said I just kept putting one, so I to stay resilient. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't work. Mine was but, not uh, working. It took me a lot of time. That's possible, and try to remain professional as much as possible. So, what Nacho really comes on? It's, wait a sec. Let's, let's see, Nacho. Can Can you hear me? Yeah. You okay. Fixed it. Great. Okay. Great. All right. Cool. Okay, everybody. So, yes. Okay, I'll yes. let you speak. Tell, tell everyone what you were just telling me, what you believe to be the case, what you think may have happened. And um, because uh, at the moment, uh, just before you speak, Nacho, that a lot of people obviously are seeing the charts. Yeah. Everything was pumping. Everything was doing great. And then all of a sudden, there's just one big sell. Um, and on the charts, at first impression, it looks like there's a rug or something which I can just, I just want to put that notion to bed right now and bury it because it definitely is not a rug, nothing like that. It, we don't own any tokens. We've never, we can't sell. We never bought to begin with. It's not like that. Check the treasury wallets. There's no action there. This is not a rug or a honeypot or any crap like that. So for those people thinking that, thinking it's a scam, it is incorrect. So Nacho, if you want to explain what you just, you know, finished telling me to the audience, yeah. that would be cool. Okay. So, as everybody knows, we're watching. You know, we're watching the, the prices go up, and then again, we're we're seeing. Okay, great. Uh, have, you know, we're seeing everybody. You know, saying okay, they couldn't uh, sell and things like that. So, again, we went in there and checked, and and this one was different because this was already tested on mainnet, tested box swap, you know, uh, uh, pancake swap. It all worked. It all worked. So I had no, uh, uh, the, you know. No, no thinking that this would happen again. So, uh, so we saw the messages. So I went in, started to, to dry, uh, buy a little bit of a, a ESCO and try to sell that in BNB. And I got uh, this, uh, the you know, the revert message STF. Uh, I, I bought, you know, I was able to buy, but I wasn't able to sell. I got the STF message. I'm thinking, okay, STF. That's uh, that's basically a message that comes out of uh, the pancake swap transfer function. You know. Usually, uh, when you don't have enough uh, either funds or you know you're uh, you're not approved or something like that, as a general kind of thing, um, that's not our message. That's not our error message that that comes from uh, PancakeSwap. So I was trying to do that on on the um, ESCO BNB pool, and then I tried to also sell in the uh, ESCO Safe pool. While we're doing that, Brian is was watching the charts and updating me as he's watching everything. And then he said, okay, there's been a giant sell, okay, which looked like tanked everything. I said, so he was able to sell. Then I tried to do a sell, and my sell went through. So that was very interesting because, you know, the reason why uh, the sells didn't work last time was because there was no uh, liquidity in the BNB uh, ESCO side, which is what, what the protocol needs because, uh, you know, on a sell, it basically activates a swap back. So it tries to swap back any of the taxes back into BNB. It also tries to feed the SIF. 
if the SIF doesn't have any anywhere to to uh, to uh, you know buy, they usually buy it has B and B. They'll try to buy from the B and B escrow pool. It's not going to do anything. So that's what happened last time. That was all uh, settled because we have liquidity in both pools. So when this when when that big sell happened, I tried <laughs> and I and my sell went through too. So at that point, I'm wondering what is going on. It almost feels like. It was like a DDoS attack. Like somebody was hammering uh, the protocol, and and then when they finally decided to stop and they sold, that's when uh, it opened up everything. I don't know. This is something I've never seen before. I don't know if it's possible to DDoS a smart contract because again, a smart contract it's it's being executed on multiple nodes and all these nodes. You'd have to you know, DDoS, the whole, the whole network. So in terms of why, you know, uh, we, we had the stoppage of selling and now you can sell, you know, you could buy, you could sell. So that's not part of the, that's not something to do with the code, the protocol, because otherwise if there's a problem, it would, you'd never be able to sell, you know, there wouldn't be a time when you can, and you can't. So, I guess my answer isn't isn't something where I exactly can tell you what's going on. I I'm not, not quite sure this is unusual, and uh, you know I I actually you know there are people out there who who've <laughs> seen something like this before. Maybe you know you might want to uh, you might have an idea. But as far as I can tell, the protocol itself nothing was happening with the protocol. The protocol was tested by myself. Uh, you know, on pancake swap and on bog swap on mainnet. And so I knew everything was working. And then it wasn't until, um, you know, we, uh, uh, we launched, then we had uh, this, this, this behavior. So again, I believe it's not a code issue, but I believe somehow something else, somehow some, something else was able to kind of clog up or prevent the sells from happening. Once that big sell happened, then everybody's able to sell. How that happened, uh, I am not sure, but I can I can tell you it's not because of the code. Um, I'm not quite sure. So, how about uh, I've been talking for a bit. I don't know, Brian. Maybe you <laughs> have a question you want to ask, or I don't know. Can people still hear me? I, I, yeah, look, I, I know I'm live now and I, I try to be level headed here. But as I said to Nacho, behind the scenes, you know, I'm really lack of a, you know, not to use stronger words, but disappointed in the way this has all went down, obviously. Um, distraught would be a, a much better word to use. Um, obviously, you know, do I want to see the Seifu chart tanking and being at 29 cents right now when everyone's selling because they're all scared and then just literally one buyer and uh, one seller, you know, basically just making the chart look like a rug from the SGO, SGO side? Obviously not, okay? Um, you know, I wanted this to be a smooth launch. Same with Nacho. We, he tested it. Um, we tested it over a week. Um, buying and selling, adding liquidity, removing liquidity, the AI training mode, this and that, buying limits, selling limits, all that sort of stuff. We, we literally tested on testnet and then on mainnet um, and everything checked out. So could have we forecasted this to happen? No, because everything checked out. So what Nacho is just checking out there is a hypothesis. It's just that. It's a hypothesis. What he thinks that could have happened. He, he needs to do some homework and check out if that's that is what it was like a technical ddos attack on a smart contract you know um because it kind of looks that way um look as much as you guys don't want to hear this right now okay because yes i know a lot of you guys bought up in the higher amounts okay yes we started at five dollars most people probably got in quotations trapped okay in like the middle part where you're buying at over a thousand dollars plus trying to get that esco i get all that um i hate that right but it looks like for that giant sell which triggered um looks like i think on the surface nacho that there was like one seller that was able to sell so that would be the same person which would be obviously 
in charge of this DDoS attack or whatever the hell happened, and then just that's, obviously yeah. drained most of the liquidity to me, down and took to me, that's everyone the, else. Well, yeah, to me, that's the number one suspect. Because again, we I was at that time, just before that happened, I was trying to go through and figure out what's going on. So I was trying to do a test cell. My my cells uh, for both the pools were reverting with the STF error. And then I was looking through uh, the, just doing another check through uh, the code. But you know, again, the only thing that got modified between uh, last time and this time was adding the buy limits. Because again, the only problem why uh, there wasn't a sell before is because <laughs> there wasn't any liquidity in the, the BNB um, uh, scope pool. So, um, so in terms of where, where there could be an error on the code, there wasn't. Uh, and then, so I was perplexed. I was actually, I'm sitting there going, this is, I don't know. Uh, but then when Brian uh, said, hey, I just saw a big sell. Uh oh, look at that. I'm going, somebody was able to sell. Okay. And then I looked at the uh, deck screener chart too. And I'm seeing all these cells. I'm going, okay. I'm going to try to sell. Okay. My cell went through. Okay. So how can that be? How can that be that um, that uh, that uh, that it could be clogged? What I would call clogged up, <laughs> you know, at least what it seemed like, and then get unclogged, and now everybody is uh, able to do that. Um, you get on stage. You know, that that is a thing. Again, it's a hypothesis because at this point I do not know. Um, but what I can tell you is that the code is not what uh, kept people from selling. Because otherwise, we still would not be able to sell if it was a code. We would not be able to sell, just like you know the the uh, the, the the first time that was so, you know, we do that. So, so what what you're going to do now, um, Nacho, is you're going to you're going to go off and you're going to try to you know research behind yes. what that one seller did and how it all worked, and try to bring us back some data within the next hours ahead. And there's a big job for you to do. Um, I don't think there's too much more to be said from your end right now. Um, I need you to obviously collate the exact data 100% with facts and present yeah. it to the community in some sort of presentation or, or somewhat to actually show literally, hey, here's exactly what happened. Um, could have we prevented it? Whether that was an answer, yes or no, we, we just need to present them with facts to how that happened. So yeah. um, I'll hold the stage from here on end, um, here on out. If you just wanted to do that and come back to us um, you know, over the next hours ahead yeah because you're gonna have a busy day here um, explaining exactly how this all happened so well I don't know um, if I'll be able to get exact uh, if there are other people out in the audience who might have <laughs> I don't know uh, heard of something that like that's like this you know I'm I'm open to to things because again I'm gonna be doing research uh, my mind is open right now in terms of accepting different possibilities uh, but I find it highly unusual. And again, suspect number one is going to be that first transaction that did that sell because yeah. uh, it was until that sell happened that everybody else was able to sell. How can that happen? You know? I'm so looking through is, the contract right now because you can't DDoS to a contract. So I'm going to see if I, I didn't can. think so. Yeah. 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 I'm going to see if I can find out what happened. Okay, great. Hey, thanks. Maybe uh, if, tell if you what, can, maybe we can work together and let's yeah. take a look. And if anybody else Wait. wants to kind of join a little team, hey, we're, we're open to that. So uh, we want to get down to the bottom of this. But right now, as it stands, people are able to sell. So you are able to freely you know, trade and, and all that stuff. But we're going to try to figure out what happened at the beginning of this. So, all right, guys. Yeah? Um, go off and work together. Great. Um, Get everything done. Um, okay. and I'll talk to you after this stage anyway, Nacho. Okay. So, all right. Bye -bye. Thanks, buddy. All right. Um, all right, guys. So, look. Obviously, there's, you know, there's no, um, there's no hiding here. But, but behind me being absolutely pissed off with this, um, you know, and I'm trying to contain myself here. Um, obviously, I booted, you know, Nacho off the stage there for a little bit because I, I need him to obviously discover what the hell went on here. Um, because no, I'm not fucking happy at all. Um, it's absolutely disappointing. It's sad. Um, uh, it's it's disgraceful. But there is always a silver lining. There is always a glass half full thing. I'm never a negative person. I will always see the glass half full thing. All right. So here's that's what you just heard was all the negative glass half empty. Glass half full thing is like Nacho just said. Buys and sells are now freely happening.
there is an obvious profit that was made from that one seller that took most of the liquidity, making the chart look what it's at. But it now looks like we've reached literally a low, okay? An absolute low in the chart, meaning that both pools are actually very kind of close together. I mean, they're, you know, it's obviously a bit volatile, right? You've got $135 in the SGO BNB pool. That's how much it is worth right now, $135. The glass half full is, well, we started at $5 and we're up at 135 So if you did get in early, you know, we take the here, okay? And the SGO pool, um, SGO um, Safeway pool is at $188. So technically, you're getting a better price for SGO on the on uh, at $188. So for those people that do have SGO and are wanting to sell, technically, you're better off swapping your SGO for Safeway and then selling the Safeway because well, it's more than a 16% increase of price. So you're getting a better advantage there. You take a look at the D app. Um, the D app is working absolutely perfectly, by the way. And um, there was an AIF, which was previously known as the SIF, as a buyback of 27 EMB worth. That got bought back fine. If you look at the D app, you'll also see that we have already already vaporized, which is huge, guys. Already vaporized 1,674 Seifu Go. Don't forget, we only started with 25,000 and we've literally just wiped out 1,674 um, of that straight away. Rebases are working absolutely fine. Um, and we've also had a bunch of winners um, for the um, for the mini um, for the mini pod, right? So the race pods. So you can see here, you can go to the D app and have a look at the last winner. Um, Nacho has to fix the D app so you can actually click on that so you can view the address. But the pods are paid out as well. So if you are a trader during this time, um, yes, you've been winning mini pods um, worth ten each, which right now, you know, an ESCO is technically worth about one hundred and twenty-seven odd dollars between one twenty-seven and one seventy-two. So if you take an average at one forty, you know, by ten, that's literally one thousand four hundred dollars. That's how much you're winning, guys, in these pods. So it's absolutely insane, one thousand four hundred bucks. And um, there's been some winners already, like I said. And um, if you look at the mini pod right now, it's in the orange. So it's going to take a little while until it gets to green again, and then it'll go off again. Um, so look, yes, I know you don't want to hear it, but the mechanism is actually working out legitimately. It, it's working fine now. There was a huge clog up before that one sell happened. Um, and I was telling Nacho, we were on the phone together, and I said, you know, obviously I was not – happy at all with his effort right um but i'll you know he was i was we were talking together about hey do we activate the ai training mode again like last time um and i and i, and I said look it's little to you know too late to do anything like that we just need to let this run its course so it's now that literally the, that big sales have happened and all this trading has happened for those that are asking, and I see in the chat asking about refunds, that there's no way that can happen. Like it just can't happen. We're not the ones selling. Like we're not the ones taking all the profit. No, it's other people and other traders like yourselves who are buying and trading and taking profit. That one person obviously took a massive amount of profit there. Nacho is going to look into that and bring us a presentation and show us the data to how that happened or what happened. Okay. Um, but literally the price right now um, is what it is um, and the ARB is actually working in real time when I started talking to you guys um, Safe Go was 134 um, on the BNB side and then on the on the Safe side it was actually 180 remember that disparity and now you're actually seeing it play catch up now the ESCO Safe side is actually under the BNB side now you're getting a better price on BNB so this ARB is actually working out perfectly guys it honestly is um, and race pod winners are getting it, um, getting their winnings, and the vaporization is taking effect. The AIF, the the prior SIF, is now working. Everything's working. You know what I mean? Um, it's just that one seller took out most of the gains for what other people should have got, um, and that's the main disappointing thing. Along with the safe food price, you know, going from eighty six cents down to now only thirty cents. Um, to be honest with you guys, I'm just waiting um, on the Seifu end. I'm not going to buy a Seifu Go, guys. And I've said that from before I even created this protocol, okay? <laughs> Me and Nacho. I said that I would not buy any Seifu Go. I stand by that. 
not because of what happened today, but just in general, I wasn't going to buy it because it was meant to be a gift for the community. I still look at it as a gift. Everything is actually working now, guys. It was just that clog up to whatever happened. And the safe go price is literally $130 to $160 right now, which is way more than $5 when it started. So take this as a win. I know some of you guys are disappointed because it was up at thousands. I get all that. I'm disappointed on that as well. But it still is up from where it was um, a lot, right? With like a 20x. So more than a 20x. Um, so I think it's a win. Um, Safer's price is going down though. Um, and I think that's not just because of people taking profit. That's not what it is because that's not how this ARB works. It should actually be going up in price. The reason why Safer's price is going down is because of the lack of confidence or people losing maybe potential trust into this protocol Safer Go that we've just released, which I truly understand. But as I just I'll sort of repeat myself, I'm not going to buy Safer Go because I said I wouldn't. It's a community thing that I developed. All right, I'm not here to make profit out of Safer Go technically at all, um, and the on a personal nature. But what I am waiting for, and I can tell you this verbatim, I am waiting for the for the current Safer price to technically hit its bottom, right? Or all you people listening that are worried or concerned and going, oh my God, this thing's going to zero. It's a rug. It's this, it's that, which is obviously not true. And um, for all this panic, that's what you're experiencing is panic right now. Okay. And it's just human emotions. That's what happens. You, it's just huge panic. Everyone sells. So I'm waiting for that low to be in really. When this panic slows down, because right now it's accelerating. When it slows down, uh, I'm definitely going to be buying a bunch of Seifu again, like a bunch, like a lot, a lot of Seifu again. Um, and I'll accumulate again because this thing is going nowhere. Um, we will not stop Seifu Go right now. It is working 100% now. And when I say 100%, it is actually working 100% now. Never mind that one big sell on the clog up of the network. All right, that was an outlier. I chose looking into it. Right now, it's working 100%, honestly. Um, and just the panic is sitting in the market where people are settling safer, and that's what's happening. So I'm going to wait for the bottom, um, and I'm going to be buying up a lot. Um, and we just need to let now the arbitrage play out naturally. And as I said to you guys numerously over and over, I don't know how long that's going to take. How long does it take for the safer price to catch up to ESCO? Um, we don't know. We honestly don't know. Um, you know, could it be in the next hour, technically, you know, when people lift get their spirits lift up again and understand hey well this actually is working now brian's right and there's no reason to panic that's the one thing that i'd leave you with is please don't panic because there is honestly no reason to panic now literally the worst is over is what i'm trying to say that one big sell was the worst when i saw that in real time in live time and i saw that happening i i, I was feeling over in my seat there like i was anyway let's, let's leave it at that i don't i don't want to explain too much more i've been rambling for a long time guys um so yeah i'm waiting for the bottom of seifu i'll be buying some more there i'm not going to be buying safer go like i've said um only because it's a community community thing i've already owned and bought and sold safer before so there's no reason why i can't do that again i want to accumulate again these prices are far too appetizing for me and um, but it still looks like people are panicking so i'm going to wait until that panic's over and then everything will work out um, the takeaway here is, again, I'll repeat, and then I'll end this Discord, okay, um, is please, guys, if you're listening to this or you've just joined or you're re-listening to this later on, is please do not panic. There is honestly no reason to panic here. Everything is working 100% now. And I mean 100%, not 99.9. I'm saying it's working 100%. The arbitrage is actually working. Both the BNB side and the Seifu side is now very, very close together. You can see people swapping between the pools and making their money. DApp is working perfectly. The AIF, the SIF is working perfectly. The vaporization is working perfectly. We've vaporized over 1,674.92 Seifu Go now within a space of literally an hour, which is absolutely smashing. The market cap right now, guys, we started at only a $250,000 market cap, $250,000 market cap, all right? So please take this as a win because from a $250,000 market cap, it is now a $7.4 million market cap, all right? That's huge. Jump from a 250K to 7.4 mil, all right? And that market cap's going to swap and change a little bit, but that's still a win in my book. 
and you've had a bunch of Seifu Go race pod winners, and it looks like the Seifu Go pod is going to be very near to it going off again very, very soon, probably in the next five minutes, and we'll have another winner. Um, so, yeah, um, rebases are happening. People are getting paid their Seifu Go in their wallet. For me, there is really no error here. Um, I'm really not disappointed at all currently. Yes, I was obviously disappointed before with the way the sell happened from that big seller, obviously. And I don't like the safe price right now. But we're just going to let the panic disappear. We're just going to let it play out, meaning that we're just going to let things calm down. Waters are very topsy-turvy right now. People are claiming rug, this and that. That's all obviously not true, and you guys know that. But whether it was some error on Nacho's side of thing, that he didn't know or factor in that somebody could prevent selling from happening by sending bunches of transactions to a smart contract or something, like a theoretical DDoS attack. That's the theory right now, a hypothesis. I don't know. Let's see what comes back from that. At all that's now done and dusted, meaning all that's washed away, and now we've literally got natural price action and price discovery. Um, so again, please don't panic. Um, right now, the Seifu price is way oversold here, guys. I can see some buyers coming in now, which is good. Um, so I'm going to technically sit back for the next five, 10 minutes and watch this price action and and try to time a buy um, when it gets down to the bottom um, of Seifu and, and and see if I can uh, see if I can play that. And that's it. So, uh, you guys, I'm not going to open this up for any questions um, on this. This was just a, a broadcast to tell you guys what was going on. So, yes, I'm disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed. Um, but right now, there's nothing to be disappointed with right now because everything's working 100% apart from the sacred price taking a hit. And that's only because of the panic that has settled, that has come into the market. But let's just let that settle down over the next hour odd, and I'm sure that things will pick up again on pace. At the DIA and the AI protocol is working harm harmoniously, absolutely perfectly, and vaporizing and doing everything like we said it was going to do. TWAP's working perfectly as well. Um, and the price is up from where it started. So I look at it as a win, even though it was a disappointing first start when everyone was panicking. That's it. So, guys, I'll see you all in Discord very soon again, and hopefully Nacho will, will bring us a bit more information to what actually did happen at that first, you know, half an hour when nobody could sell, um, and that'll that'll hopefully cure uh, a bit of trust issues that are that are currently in the market and a bit of panic. Um, but that's all I can do. So, guys, I'll see you in Discord. Um, again, be safe, be merry, be bullish, and um, hopefully make a bunch of money here through this trading over the next hours and onwards and upwards. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. So that's that, everybody. Um, just hugely disappointing, obviously, for all of us. You know, somebody came in and wrecked us all, basically. That's what happened. So, uh, probably the same person from last time. Yeah. I mean, I just don't, uh, I don't understand how there's people out there that just continue to do this. But uh, the good thing is, is that. Uh, I just want to know, I just want to know if it can happen again. That's all I want to know. Well, no, because they can't buy in and like they did, they get all those, all those tokens. Like they like they did. It's all out in the open now. Oh, they, see, were able to, they were able to get like blockers in and robots and everything. Whatever they did, that, that all happened at the top. They said it was yeah. your map. They said your map did it. <laughs> huh. well, yeah, man. Oh, well. Yeah. So, bottom line is it's uh, very frustrating. So, buying up. If you got any money, I guess it's a buying opportunity now, huh? Well, I mean that's the problem though. Everybody, everybody used yeah, their money. Of money. Yeah. Everybody used their money, and somebody took it all. So, um, and, and we just lose. So, <clears throat> what you can do is uh, you can just go uh, over to the 
to the DAP um, and um, you can keep an eye on, uh, on, on what's selling for what, like, so one of the pools, I don't know which one, it's just, oh no, it's the Seifu, the Seifu pool has $125 uh, um, It's one hundred twenty-five dollar uh, safe safe to go. Okay, and well, they're super close to each other now. So one is yeah, safe to go, safe to safe to go. Is that one hundred twenty-five dollars? And um, the other one is at 113 or something. I don't even know. Seifu WBB, Seifu Go, Seifu. So the Seifu one is at 136. The B and B one is at 113. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's. There's, uh, there's opportunity to slowly grow by just going back and forth from one to the other. But uh, you know, not what we—it's not what we were all hoping for, right? Not when someone comes in and takes like you know, what was it like, seven hundred thousand dollars, and then they took five hundred thousand of it. So you know, mm. uh, you know, I, what are you gonna like? There's nothing you can do with that. There's nothing. I mean, so. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. I got to get some sleep. I'm definitely tired. And Rock, what did you want to say, brother? Man, it is kind of disappointing. My wife's even disappointed. Yeah, I know. We all are. And and we got in good, too. Yeah. Yeah, she got in 1.7 1. 1. Uh, yeah. on the BNB side. And... She got another one because we had we had multiple devices open, you know. I got in yeah. on the safe side, and man, we all uh. You're saying Brian Legend wants to join? Yeah, he's coming on. I'm sending it to him now. You can get off and let them say Yeah, Brian, it's uh, you. It's uh, I sent it to you. How were they able to buy that much? No one else could. I know I had a whole nice system set up. And when I started buying, they just were not even moving. It wasn't even like I had to I had to come off of expert mode for it to start. Like expert mode was not working. And then mm. it started to slightly do something when I came off of that. It was just a mess. Yeah. B was trying for like th three minutes. I had my mm -hmm. slippage to 49. We, yeah. had, we had the clocks right in front of us. Soon as the event, zero, zero, zero. Bye, bye, bye. Hour, hour, hour. What? We just yeah. kept trying. And then my wife got through. She got through first on her iPhone. And I was like, yeah, my iPhone went through after that. Samsung was a bit slow, man. I was like, yeah, man. I was hey, um, everything up. that was the iPhone. But Hi, um, after up, that, Brian? you know. Hi guys. Um, yeah, look, I just wanted to join to to be in with you, uh, you know, with you guys on this kind of ground floor, and and know that I'm obviously not happy with with this entire scenario either, right? Yeah. Um, so there needs to be a discussion between me and Nacho. Um, he's obviously on on my team to to what happened here. So I, I don't know. Let, let's see what he comes back with. Um, but at the moment, I don't know what to think. Um, so. All I know is that the protocol is working. It, it literally is. And as far as the price isn't what it was previously, uh, it is technically working. The AI is working exactly as intended. It was just that first part. Like people just could not sell. And and I said to Nacho when we were on the call, I said, look, why are you working this out? Like I was on the phone to him when it was only like literally $60. I could tell there was no sales, right? And between that whole conversation over the half an hour, I went from 60 to like, you know, two or three, four thousand odd dollars. And I 
said to him, I, I said, look, if, if a cell goes through here, literally there's just going to be one person that just drains out the whole, basically virtually nearly the whole liquidity pool, just going to be one massive profit taker. I said, um, and while he was doing investigations, um, you know, I said, well, we kind of just need to let this play out, to be honest. Like we, we can't just refund everyone again because if that would have been a notion for me to like technically stop it, put AR training mode on again, refund everyone, I said to Nacho, I said, there's no way I would want to, honestly, uh, after what has happened, there's no way I would want to launch like a third time anymore because the, the trust would have been gone, the confidence would have been gone. I would said, there's no way I just would have, you know, a spade a spade, cut it through and just not do it again. But while that conversation was being had, yeah, there was one big sell, which was what I anticipated would happen. Um, and now we're in this position. So now there's no turning back. Like there, there's, there's no possibility of refunds or anything. Like literally the market is now the free market. Um, so yeah, the price was huge. Now it's down to like a hundred odd bucks. And I get most of you guys probably did buy at slightly higher, higher prices, I'm assuming. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I can't really, you know, I can't really talk positively about that. Um, there's a lot of people that lost money there because the B&B pool, when I was watching it, um, the B&B pool had over $2.2 .2 million just in the B&B side. So the liquidity was like $4.4 .4 on the Estragoat B&B. So that, you know, that talks to how many buyers literally bought in. And now that liquidity is just under a million. So it's technically under 500,000 on the BNB side. So someone has taken $1.7 million worth of, of profit there, right? Um, and that's huge. That's a that's massive. That's absolutely massive. Um, and then on the Seifu side, well, we had over $2 million liquidity and now that's down to 1.2. So there's $800,000 gone there. Whether that's the same seller or not, I don't know. That might just be free market and obviously the panic that's setting in. But the B&B side, yeah, definitely there was a there was a lot of profit there. The majority of would have just been that one big gigantic sell. So, yeah, I, I know it's tough to kind of accept that a lot of people have been used for kind of for exit liquidity from that one big sell. I absolutely hate it, man. I, I'm disgusted with it, obviously. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very distraught and don't think that I'm not saddened by this. I just try to maintain a level head here and speak a certain way. Um, but yeah, oh, behind the scenes, you know, I, I, you know, I'll have a bit of a cry <laughs> to be honest. But everything is now working 100%. Honestly, that's the takeaway from this. There's been damage done, but I don't think we're not in a position to recover from that damage now. Um, literally, we're we're at the lows. I think like it's there, there can't be more much more panic in the market. That's that's just my belief. So yeah. tell me what you think. You Hopefully there's some trust in me here, by the way. Um, did, yeah. Did you actually track it down to the actual wallet that sold yet or no? No. So th there's obviously a lot, a lot of transactions happening. Um, so I'll let Nacho to, to go back in the um, on BSE scan and track the blockchain to that exact transaction. And he'll come back to us with, with what exactly happened. Um, it, it'll be a bit of analysis there. Like don't expect – you'll be able to locate that one wallet for sure very, very soon but all the other kind of data to go along with it to why sales couldn't happen and what exactly happened that might take hours or it could potentially take another day or two i, I don't have that answer for you but we'll definitely locate that one wallet that took the most profit and hopefully that'll give us a bit of insight as to you know who that could be or where they've transferred funds from if they were running some sort of bot mechanism or smart contract yeah. attached to it like that can be seen but i just don't have that answer for you right now so yeah was there a problem with the limits too? Because uh, if there was limits, then how could the how could these people have bought so many? Well, there was definitely limits, but um, what I um, noticed is, like I said, I'm I'm not going to buy a safe go right at all. But I did just try to see if I could actually put an order through, and I didn't put any order through, all right, for the record. But I just wanted to see if it would go through, um, meaning that. Pancake swap will either give you an error before you can actually lodge a transaction, right? So I tried to buy, put in like one ESCO, which is what we educated the community over the last week to do, is just put one in on the ESCO in the first five minutes, and that'll auto-populate the BNB side, right? And I noticed by doing that, it would just give an error message, error message, error message by putting that one in. But if you put lower than one, so if you put in 0.99, it would actually allow you to lodge that transaction through. So... So I think the way the limits were set up is that, yes, you could only own one, but if you try to get one, then it would kind of 
be maxed out at that limit and not ready to present the order. So that's where a lot of people were complaining, how oh, I can't get one, I can't, I, can't, I can't get my order through. But a lot of, we saw a lot of orders coming through, but they were all below that one. Um, so that's the way I see it. Um, but there was nothing stopping, you know, people setting up multiple wallets um, at all. Like you could technically set up a thousand wallets and buy 0.99 Seifu go from each, right? Um, I, I didn't know if that's happened or not. I'm just saying that's theoretically possible. It could have happened. And we said to people that you, multiple wallets can happen. But I haven't went through the data or seen the first initial buyers, if they were all from one person or anything like that. That's something that Nacho will bring to us to, to see what happened. So I don't have that answer for you, unfortunately. Um. We are seeing a bit of a bottom, I think, here on Seifu um, at the moment, I think. Um, yeah. No financial advice, <laughs> but yeah. um, I'm, I, I don't think it's got too much further to go here down. I really don't. Hey, Dan, can I see my screen for a second? Yeah. Brian, I want to show you this right here. This is a, um, if you ever go to D dot file website, you can put in the token address of the uh, of the of the token, and it gives you like all these like you know high risk, high risk. And I just noticed that this is plausible. Token transfer can be paused, preventing swapping or selling. Of course, well, technically, act, yeah. Right? So I'll, I'll go through that with you if you want. Um, pl plausible um, is correct, meaning that we have the AI training mode function, and you saw that from our initial launch, right? That we could just mm -hmm. pause literally everything and then. You know refund everyone and that's what the ai training mode is there for um so that's technically a pause um but w we have no reason to use it um, and we wouldn't use it unless something gigantically went wrong but now it's too little too late to obviously refund everyone like i said or anything like that the free market's now taken effect um so before that one big sell happened then yeah technically we could have used ai training mode pause the contract and then kind of refunded everyone but now everything's happened we, we're just now in the position where we just let it flow um, and work itself out. So yes, that's true. The blacklisting is another one that a lot of people have spoken about uh, or asked about. The blacklisting is, and you can look at this in the order itself. And if you don't even trust the order, hypothetically, look at the smart contract and you'll see that blacklisting is only for contract addresses only, okay? So you, we can't blacklist a normal wallet. That's not what we're about at all. We want freedom and we are in DeFi, okay? We want to control your own funds. There's no way we want to control your own funds. Um, so it's only for contract addresses. And the reason why that's in there is as I've explained for the partnerships that we're doing, the ones that I've already said, hey, we're going to be partnering with is all fine. But any new people or any somebody that wants to create a new LP with Seifu Go, they need to be paying the onboarding costs through the Seifu Go partnership, right? And um, because if they don't and they just go, you know what, well, stuff it. Why am I paying Brian X amount of dollars to partner? I'll just create my own LP and you know, I've got freedom to trade. They can do that on a smart contract, but then because they're not paying that onboarding fee, they're trying to scapegoat the system, then that contract address can be blocked, meaning blacklisted, um, until which way, until they decide, okay, well, now we're going to pay the onboarding fee and then we can whitelist that address again. So it's more of a way to prevent people just for creating LPs without paying that onboarding cost, which is the utility that we're obviously bringing back to the ecosystem. Yeah. Sorry for the long-winded answer, but yes. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure what these other ones are either, to tell you the truth. Um, don't know about all of them. That would be something that you'd have to talk to Nacho about. Um, attention required. Yeah, I'm not too sure what all that is about. I haven't hit that website that you're on, by the way, that scanner, so... I don't know what that means. But look, I will tell you this, that the contract that we deployed is the same as what the um, um, the order has been, right? So, I mean, if there was any problem with it, um, meaning those flags that you just saw, which is attention as green, that if there was anything bad, then they that audit would have presented that anyway and showed you guys in that document um, to what needed to be fixed. And you saw there was about six or seven um, remarks that needed to be fixed and we addressed quite a number of them 
Um, and um, obviously the blacklist function was shown there that, hey, it's only the contract address um, and that the AI training mode, like those things were, were brought to the attention. But those other ones that you showed, um, I, I have no idea what they are. And if they had any relevance, it would have been brought up in the audit. I just want to be on the record as well, just telling you guys, I just bought um, over $100,000 worth um, of Seifu right now, by the way, as well. So, yeah, not financial advice, but hey, I just thought I'd be uh, be transparent with you guys. Yeah, because that took a dive also. Yeah. So apparently the person bought a 359 Seifu Go. I did one guy get 359 Seifu Go with five limit sequence. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. You know, it's a, it's very apparent that 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 the, that the limits didn't work because we they, I, I could barely get I could barely get one and and I and I only got one in one wallet. Everything else is a fraction of it. I mean, and so and I was working very hard. It was just it should have been much easier. It shouldn't have been so volatile because only one per wallet. But there was they were flying because it was people could buy way more than one. That's that's what the problem was. And that guy got, what, what do you think, 359 of them? I mean, that's going to kill us. Is that just someone <laughs> saying that, or you guys actually have the data to to show? Like, do you have a, oh, I'm, a, no, a I'm transaction? Just, I'm going by, yeah, I'm just going yeah, by the a comment, lot of people. So. Are, just don't forget, a lot of people are saying a, a lot of shit at the moment, right? Um, and the way I saw it, and I even told you guys that, yes, I tried to buy one just to see what would actually happen because I saw just a bunch of little small orders at the very start, right? They're all like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.1. Like they're all very, very small. I didn't see anything over one in the first five minutes, which means to me, tells me that, hey, the buying limits were actually mm -hmm. working. So for people saying they bought 359, I, I didn't see that. But if you have a transaction, I'll be more than happy to have a look at it. Um, and that would obviously go back to Nacho to say, hey, well, if that was the case, then obviously it wasn't coded correctly, hypothetically. But I haven't seen that. So let's just not take people's comments for fact unless we actually have yeah. a transaction showing it. Yeah. Why is everybody... This person Sorry. said it was the same person that bought in the first one. And Kelly Production said that it was after the 30 minutes bought 304. Yeah. Well, that's there you go. That makes sense. Yeah, after 30 minutes, you can buy whatever you want or sell whatever you want, right? Yeah, I could have told you guys that because it took off after the 30 minute mark. It was it was out of control. So, I mean, yeah, if, if we don't have actual timestamps on some of these uh, accusations, I mean, we shouldn't even we gotta have actual proof to say 359 Esco got sold at X amount of time. So mm -hmm. yeah. everybody, everybody needs to relax a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I look, I know emotions are running high at the moment, you know, and, and as I said, I'm trying to just keep very, uh, my feet on the ground here because I'm obviously fairly disappointed and emotional by this whole experience there as well. So don't think that I'm unaffected here. Obviously the, the Seifu that I was accumulating about 97 to over a dollar just a few days ago, right? And then seeing it come down to literally 30 cents, obviously I see 80% of my 180, over 200K actually I put in, 80% of that wiped out. Uh, yeah, I'm not bloody happy, am I? <laughs> come on. Yeah. So now I'm going to try to dollar cost average, which is what I've just done. I put another 100K in to try to bring my cost down and hopefully just ride the wave and, and see Seifu claw itself back again, which it always has done across, across the last 15 months. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, though, the ARB is honestly working fine on the SGO, um, BNB, and the um, the Seifu side. Because if you have a look at the price, they're, they're very, very closely related now. Um, so that's a good thing. People are making money through through the ARB. Why is everybody so upset? You guys got to cheer up a little bit. I've been buying up yeah. while we're all talking. I'm still buying. It's been like 50, what is it low now, like? 97 minutes i'm still buying i probably am at like 300 transactions <laughs> why is everybody so is we, already, we already spent our money we got the money to buy now <laughs> what's that no. look if i had it my way obviously i don't want just one seller doing that you know I, i'd want it spread out obviously i want everyone making a bunch of money and taking some profit not just one person using everyone else's exit liquidity at the high that was ridiculous um, mm -hmm. But right now is, you know, obviously I can't say financial advice, but literally 
the price is pretty constant here over the last hour, right? It's been literally hovering around that hundred, hundred and twenty odd dollars for Safe Go. So this is, I think, is a I treat it or I would treat it myself. Again, not financial advice, but if I was buying it, I'd be looking at this as a very generous buying opportunity, if anything. Um, and especially on Safer's price. And, you know, I'm not just a talk the talk guy, I'm the walk the walk. And that's why, I, you know, put in 100K on that, on what I believe to be the bottom anyway. So, yeah, that's it. I'm just trying to see the positive outcome of it, you know. Yeah, I was able to get some more Safer Go. Um, that, that phrase of, you know, looking how it's going to be, what? More viable than hands teeth? It definitely you is. Know? Look, look so, let, let, let's check how much has been vaporized, shall we? Yeah. Um, because that's that's the be all and end all. I mean, you're still getting rebases, by the way, as well. So yeah. look, don't look at it as a loss. Even if you did buy in higher, the rebases are going to work itself out and you'll kind of claw back that money that you're in theoretical unrealized loss for. That's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one thousand six hundred seventy-five. One thousand six hundred seventy-five. Yeah, so that's that's a lot from like um, twenty-five thousand that we put into the pool. So don't forget, it vaporizes yes on the blockchain as a whole, but it's mainly out of the uh, the LPs, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Nacho can give us a bit of data and tell us exactly what happened there because we we definitely need to know. I just don't want the community thinking it's us or pulling some shady shit or anything because that's obviously going to be the narrative here. Um, but that's that's so far from the truth. Um, it's yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 not what our plan was. Why would I want to just ruin my own bag here that I bought and stuff from Seifu and then just see everything go to shit and community suffer? No, it's it's not what I'm about, and you guys know that, right? So yeah, and that's my biggest fan. He knows that. <laughs> I think it was Greek who's up in here too. Uh, I'm What's gonna up, leave. Guys? I'm gonna leave the the, the stream, guys, because I'm like super tired. I got to work in a little while. But you guys just keep going. Greek and uh, Pride, you guys have control. You can end the stream when you guys are done. But I've got to go. Okay, guys. All right, buddy. All right, have Thanks a good one. All right, Dan. Have a good sleep, man. Thank you, brother. I will take care, Dan. So what's going on, yeah, Greek? So I, Greek. I, I, I had an it's army, Greek. eight wallets, five people. I managed to get 22 of these suckers, but the, the, the selling was, was uh, man, I had a lot at one point. <laughs> hey, luckily, luckily, I thought of it. When I put one and it was reverting, I went and put 0.95, and all of a sudden, these things started going through. There you go. So, yep, that's what I noticed. But, there you go. Greek was smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, we made some buys at the higher level because I didn't tell. I yeah. should have convert, uh, been conversing. I was so panicking. I was not conversing with my group, and they were just clicking swap. And I'm like, no, you're buying too high. <laughs> I mean, I, I got in at a good price. My wife, she got 1.7 because we was trying. Hey, man, it was keep rejecting us. We had 49%, 49% slippage, but we ain't she only had, what, $80, $80 in BNB. And she got in just right after the five-minute mark on that with, and got 1.7. So and then we got more in her other wallet. And, yeah. Guys, I got to I got to love you and leave you. I've got Nacho calling me, so I'll catch okay. you guys later. Right, bye bye. Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. And then on my Safeu side, I got in at zero point eight two on both of my wallets. My last wallet, I didn't I didn't even want to try. Says so now I'm gonna keep that one. I'm not gonna use that one. But we are happy until no sales. <laughs> <laughs> My wife got really upset. I was happy when I saw like nineteen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we had the, the screens up, our two screens up, all the devices up, and reading the charts, watching it go up, and no sales. And then what's happening? I don't know. And then that big one came in, and bam! Oh my goodness! I was like, "It's all right, honey. These things happen." You know, I'm just trying to stay positive through the whole thing. You know, these things happen, you know, and I'm looking for the long run and, and 
not for all of my safe food go, but for some of them, you know. So I tried to acquire more, which I did. So I'm like, ah. You know, that little big hiccup was a big hiccup. <laughs> you know, it was. But, yeah, I just, I'm just trying to stay positive, man. Because, yeah, all that I had left in my wallets, actually, was what I said I'm going to use for this arbitrage. So I was like, it ain't much because, you know, the rest of my stuff is in other projects like Vulcan and Lair One X and all them other places. And I'm like... All right, I got a few to play with. But after this few to play with, I ain't got nothing else to play with for a while. So I understand everybody who don't have nothing else left to play with right now. Because, you know, we, we went all in. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, it is a bit disheartening because, you know, can't really buy nothing right now because we went all in. You know? Yeah. I mean, but you got, you great? You still there, great? Yeah, I'm still here. So, I mean, how? What is? I mean, like I said, you put you got 22 esco right now. 22 esco. My average price is 230 dollars. So, don't think I won. I yeah, mean, so because they bought higher. Yeah. I mean, you basically but lost like what six grand, right? Technically, no, no. Some of the funds that I I only used 50 percent of the funds that I had allocated. Okay. So. Right. So. I was planning on going the whole thing, but when the sales wouldn't happen, then I'm like, and when I saw, I saw issues because once again, I saw only buys. So I, yeah. I told my team after a while, nobody buy. So then I'm like, then I had to figure out between eight wallets, what was spent, what wasn't spent. And then yeah. we figured it out. Only 50% of the stuff was spent. And I couldn't even see how many ESCO I had because it was in eight different wallets. So I had to ask every single person i'm like yeah, how many did yeah. you get how many you get and then i added it up like on a little calculator next to me and i'm like whoa we got 22 of these suckers holy crap guys good job and then i'm like this is now the price is at 2100 dollars, and i'm like they're like did we do good and i'm like well this is what our bag's worth right now and they're freaking out okay and then i'm like right. we can't sell we can't sell and they're like oh so you have nothing <laughs> <laughs> i'm like wait a minute you feel good <laughs> What'd you get? Yep, your map. You got what? Six seventy four more. I got no, no idea. I just keep buying. I don't know what's going on in the balances. Oh, you buying right yeah. now, right? Yeah, take yeah, it. Take advantage buying. of the dip. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to wait till it get down to hundred, but I might have to buy buy one more at least. Um, Brian's doing another Discord stage, so if you guys want to play that. Oh, uh, can I get to the stage? Yeah. I uh, may see what I do with my last wallet I didn't use. So how you make out, Fala? You got one? Uh, no, uh, mm -hmm. actually, I did that pretty, uh, did pretty decent. This, this I'll let run. Nacho tell everyone exactly you guys what's here? happened. But basically, we were attacked. So, Nacho, tell everyone how we were attacked, what oh, it all means. By the way, you're again on mute like last time. So you'll need to fix your connection again, Nacho. Oh, Nacho is fixing his connection. CK, um, good work. Apparently, you and Nacho found uh, found the culprit, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, we took a look at the blockchain. Uh, we saw like uh, like I don't, I don't even know how many wallets this is, but Hello? It's probably like can you hear me? Hundred. Yeah. I, I want yeah. to give CK full credit on finding the culprit. I mean, we, we all knew that the first transaction is a suspect number one, but CK went and looked into it. So take it away, CK. I'm going to let you bask in the glory. <laughs> all right. So I had Nacho uh, give me the unofficiated contract. We took a look at all the functions. Didn't see anything in there that would um, qualify any issues. So then we uh, took a look at the very first uh, cell, uh, noticed that uh, the guy was uh, trying to clog up the blockchain with excessive GUI and um, so like hundreds of transactions, uh, dug into it a little bit, and uh, we uh, found that he transferred uh, like 4.7 to like 5 BNB worth of BNB um, out of every single wallet into one wallet, and it was like $419,000. 
Is that how much yeah. that was sold? Four eighteen thousand, or you're yeah, saying that's how, much that's how much? That's how much he. Uh, it looks like he's took it out. Okay. So. Yeah. So, how much did it cost him for all this gas then to do this attack, which is technically a DDoS attack, like we were talking about? It might not be the right word mm -hmm. for it, but it really means the same thing, isn't it? Just well, it's an attack. <laughs> everyone else from accessing. That's literally what it is. Yeah, yeah. So basically, every block has a maximum gas limit that you can have before it excludes transactions, and that's what he was doing. Um, it was eight dollars per uh, per uh, gas. Um, transaction and he on average spent about $17 and he took out about $1,100. So he used uh, $1,100 in gas to do this attack is what you're trying to say? No, he used $8 in gas, but he turned okay. $17 into okay. like $1,100. Basically, he showed ah. that arbitrage works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He shows that triangular arbitrage works. So there you go. Wow. Oh, okay. So I suppose you know, and and look, I suppose hats off for you to 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 get this information so quickly to our community and and getting this discovery. So for you both, um, you know, CK, obviously you're the main man to to get all this. But you know, the the main next question and the first question I'm sure everyone is going to ask now is, well, what's preventing that from happening again? Can it happen again? Um, and if it does, then what can be done about it? Or theoretically, is that question really mute? because we've seen all that flurry of buys within the first 30 minutes anyway, and now it's all kind of water under the bridge and everything's just normal free market. So there's no point now to stop those transactions. So yeah, talk to me about that. Um, Nacho, what do you think? Well, I mean, we're, we're taking a look at when we launched as a $5, you know, a skull in the B and B pool. And now it's at a uh, 122. It was uh, it was like 115 went up to 130, 122. Uh, when you take a look at the chart, at least when I'm looking at the chart, it looks pretty stable at that. So five to 122, you know, um, you you you're you're still sitting at a at a at a pretty good ga gain. Why can't I think of math now? 122 divided by five is what uh, 20 uh, 24. Are we 25 x from launch? Mm -hmm. You know, and how long ago did we launch? Uh, Let's see, it is now 650. So, you know, usually if there's going to be a big dip, well, I guess we did have a big dip, right? When that, when that, uh, uh, that guy went and did whatever he did. In, in 50 but, minutes, 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's been 50 minutes. Uh, we're, we're 50. sitting at about a, uh, oh, wait, an no, hour, no, no, 50, an hour, an hour, hour, hour so almost two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah almost, hour almost two hours. And we got a, a stable price there sitting at 25 uh, X from, from launch. So, I know it wasn't something that everybody's going, wow, this is, we're sitting in the 2000, but I mean, you take a look at any other crypto project. Uh, usually uh, there's going to be the dip that goes below the, uh, uh, the, the, the launch price, right? That's now true. we're sitting at 25 X and it looks stable. It's like, that is true. well, that is, yeah. <laughs> how greedy do you want to be? You know, I know that everybody would have loved that. Oh man, that 21, 2100 you know but now you're looking at stability that's matching you know uh what's supported what's supported in the pool yep. so if you're talking about uh you know 2100 that's a bank run you know every okay great yeah sure 2100 i'm i'm a bazillionaire and i'm gonna go withdraw that now no that's not gonna happen but now you've got a price that you know it's 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 stable and supportable so that's interesting, you know. Maybe if uh, you know, mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's a valid point. Um, so, you know, Nacho is exactly right that most, or if not ninety nine point nine percent of any ICO, IEO, anything that launches on Pancake, or Pink Sale, whatever, you're gonna see the first people just sell out, and it normally does go below the ICO or the launch price. That's what happens. The only one that hasn't, literally, that I've seen on the Binance Smart Chain was Seifu. When we first released, everyone expected it to be under what we what we released it for at sixteen dollars, but it didn't. Just went up and never went below until after with all the rebasing, which is which is different, but not on initial. Um, and again, we're proving it out that Esco is actually following the same path, which is great. Um, so I understand what Nacho is saying. It was higher before, but if it's holding now at this secure level, it's a great thing. But 
can you can you answer that question that I just asked though about preventing, um, you know, uh, that kind of DDoS attack or however you want to frame it from um, from happening again, or if it really theoretically would happen again, like is there any reason for it to happen again for this dude to do it again? Is there any advantage for him to do it again? I suppose is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Well. I think that would take you know more more thinking through uh, to to see okay what would be the advantage for him uh, to go through and do that again, you know as we see the uh, the buys and sells that are happening you know uh, again it's spreading out that 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 scope you know uh, through uh, through a lot we ended up uh, I think burning uh, about a, a thousand something uh, you know scope in that. Um, and you know we'll keep burning SCO as as people uh, keep trading it. So um, <clears throat> as you know, the the price now it's at 126. So if that if that person is going to try buying, they're buying at a high. Whereas before they bought uh, probably I'm not sure where were they uh, what price they got it uh, when when they got in down to the five, but that potential is kind of gone there, right? So for that for that uh for that attack to happen again they they need to wait for this price to go really low again to be able to uh, accumulate a lot more uh, sco in order to do something like that uh it's going to cost them again 25 times more so they they started their attack with a half million half million times 25 uh you know <laughs> you're talking about 12 million dollars this, this that, player was a this player was that, a big player. Then. Like they started off with a half a million bucks, guys. If you're hearing what Nacho is saying, that this attacker started off with a half a million bucks to do what he did, and what we're saying now, what Nacho is trying to demonstrate is that well, because the price is literally one hundred and twenty-eight dollars instead of five dollars, then you'd have to have twenty or twenty-five times the amount of money. So instead of five hundred thousand now, well, it's like twelve you need million, what, ten million, or twelve million. So it's yeah. it's. So it's not plausible anymore um, at all. And even if it was plausible or or that he wanted to actually do this or he or she, whoever it is, wanted to do this, then they would need to have a plan and a strategy to know that there's going to be a ton of buying action on the other side to make it justifiable, right? So that's why they attacked it at the very start. They know what our capabilities on as a community. They know how strong we are. They know what Seifu can do. And that's why they took advantage of it. Um, so, if anything, it speaks to who we are as a community and how big and that you know how big we can do things, how we tie together as a big gigant, as a big family. Um, and that's that's so hard to come by in crypto in general. So, I think that's a that's a huge positive for someone to actually want to risk that much money, a half a million dollars, to do this. They know exactly what would have happened on the other side, which is all this buying action. They know our community. This person would have been with us, I'm sure, from you know back in the day, Nacho. They would have seen exactly what's happening. They wouldn't just invest that much in a protocol and put that to ri- put that much to risk without knowing, you know, pretty much for certain what was going to happen towards buy action, right? Yeah. Well, it's <clears throat> yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I mean. There was plenty of uh, intel that they had from last week in terms of seeing the the, the pricing action uh, for for the first launch and seeing the amount of demand. Uh, if they they're smart about it, and of course they they were smart about it because they 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 perpetrated this. Uh, they're probably in Discord too, taking a look and seeing taking measure of uh, sentiment mm-hmm. uh, of of the community and saying, okay, great, it looks like this market is primed. And, you know, those are all the things that you want to put together uh, before you go in and do a, a heist, right? You want to make yeah. sure that that the money is, uh, this is the time uh, uh, in the week, Wednesday, where the, the vault is full. That's the time you're going to hit it, right? So, you know, so that's, that's, that's part of the homework that this person did. Uh, again, the potential of doing the same thing again. It's going to be much different. Uh, the bankroll that they're going to need is not going to be the half million. It's going to have to be twelve million. Now, what they got away with wasn't twelve million. It's not like they they could wash it, right? Okay, they went in, spent half uh, you know half million and got twelve million or fifteen million out. Now they'll reinvest it, a twelve million, and try to do it again. No, they didn't get twelve million. There wasn't twelve million in the liquidity pool, right? It, what's the most that it got up to? Was it two million? 
2.2 million, I, f- I saw the BNB yeah. pull out, but then we yeah. were on a conversation and I think I might have got sidetracked. There might have even been more, but definitely was at 2.2 million yeah. on the BNB side um, yeah. in BNB. So, and, yeah. that, and that got brought down to nearly 500,000 now. So, yeah. yeah, that person took out a, a good mill and a half, yeah. even point, you know, 1.7, but that's, that's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a lot of money, but uh, again, it's not going to be 12 million that he's going to need to do it again. Uh, right. That's right. So that's right. I think the potential for him to do it again is not there unless there is some major movement that we see. Unless, let's say, uh, we think that, uh, you know, uh, there there becomes a, a catalyst that uh, now promotes this, gets us going, uh, uh, you know, back up to 2000 oh, yeah. and things like that. So, that would need to be, you know, a, a definite. Like he knew what was going to happen with this buying action. So unless there's a definite catalyst that says, "Hey, there's going to be an extra three or four million dollars coming in over, the, you know, within the next hour or something," yeah. hypothetically, yeah. then you could take advantage of it. Yes, but no, the the worst is over. I see it behind us, and I, I yeah. don't see it being able to. Yeah, you know, theoretically he could do it, but he'd be losing money. It'd be stupid. So well, no, it's well, not going to happen again. Seifu took, let's see, what, nine days to hit uh, about, uh, what was it, 11x? It went from 16 to, uh, what, uh, 320? Yep. Yeah. Uh, inside of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, what, the, 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 the hour, right? Um, or even the half hour, uh, Skull went you know, from five bucks to 2000. And then now we're sitting at, uh, 142, 142 now. See, I mean, look at right there. You're, you're looking at a range. Uh, when I was talking with CK, you know, we're sitting at 115 now it's 142. So you're seeing uh, price discovery and you're seeing sales and buys. You're seeing arbitrage working. You're seeing a price differential there. So it's working. Uh, so the thing is, is that we're sitting at 25 X, you know, it took, safe <laughs> nine days so you know when it comes down to it, you're you're seeing you know what what happens with uh with uh with this uh uh this kind of thinking with the the, the this new uh uh you know generation of uh safe food, so i think we i think we put this down to nothing more than a rocky start because there's no way that you or me or anyone really could have known what was going to happen that a buyer was going to spend a half a million bucks to literally fuck everyone like we wouldn't have known that there's no possibility of knowing that you can't <laughs> forecast that kind of stuff it is a true outlier here guys the one thing as a takeaway from this is i want you guys to feel reassured honestly sincerely that the protocol is working it is now and yeah. it is 100 working arbs working some guy, person, whoever the hell it was, maybe it was a group of people decided, you know what, they'll fuck the safer community. They tried. They did try a hell of a lot and they made some money. Don't get me wrong. But where are we sitting? We're sitting 25, 25x up. Yeah. So, and there's yeah, buying coming in now and there's arbitrage happening. People are making yeah. money. Everything's yeah, that's the, working. It's, it's, it's 2400%. That's 2400% yeah. up. It's a it's rocky like, start. It's a rocky start, but you know, you're 24 x uh, up. So it's like, I don't know, is that bad? <laughs> what, what kind of world? No, look, if it, if it would have went below <laughs> the starting price and it was like a true kind of ruggish kind of scenario, went down, went down below five dollars, then yeah, there'd be every right for people to be pissed off. But if we're 25 x up, then no, I don't, yeah. I don't believe that's a, it's a, that's a bad scenario. It's, it's a. It's, it's not a good scenario if you were a person that bought in higher than where the price is currently at. I feel you. But with rebases and with, I think, price discovery that we're in right now, I really do feel that this is an accumulation zone that you will find the price will slowly recover again um, and that all this kind of panic will be over very, very shortly um, and we'll yeah. be back on track again. I agree. I agree. The thing is that as as you know, uh, as we go through and and – Talk about this. You know, we 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 try to immediately get on uh, on uh, uh, AMA and describe the situation, and then again with the, with the help of CK. Uh, and actually, there are other community members out there. I, I I can't remember off the top of my head who they were. I would want to give a shout out because I know that other people were also uh, being detectives and looking at this too and saying, "Hey, wait a minute, what's going on here?" So the community, I'm proud of the community. 
community banded together and started looking at this too. You know, this was uh, an attack on on the protocol and the community. But you know, when it comes down to it, again, we're we're looking at a protocol that uh, even though it got hit, uh, it's it didn't die. It's at 24, 25x, and it's like, wow, we got we got stomped on, and then this is the, survived. This is the biggest. This is the <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. I think. Look, guys, in the history of Seifu, literally, this is the biggest hit we've taken. Like we've taken hits from Cerdic. We've, we've taken hits from Coffeezilla. We've yeah. taken massive hits, right? But it never got us down to the point where everything was broke or people gave up. Never. It yeah. only gave us more resilience to fight <laughs> back and be in a greater position. This today has been the biggest hit of them all, all right? But we're still 25x up um, and the community is still beside us. You know, people are still now buying, trading, um, and mm -hmm. that says a hell of a lot. A hell of a it lot. does. Yeah, I'm proud of the community, like, man. It's like I'm yeah. watching the price. I mean, it's 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 been going up, and again, it'll go up and go down. But you know, it, it looks like you know, again, people are like getting into the arbitrage, and again, after after all this drama has kind of settled, and everybody has been able to really uh, uh, to for themselves uh, actually look at too, because I think uh, uh, Brian, you went in and uh, posted the. The, uh, the transaction so everybody else can take a look as everybody's been able to dig in and see what's going on and be able to see oh, okay here here's what's going on and they they get it and all that stuff uh you'll yeah. see i think uh, uh a bit of trust a lot of things back. you know yeah. come back in but, and yeah, and right. you know i i think this is the beginning of of of, of something that that has a great story you know hey, I, it, I, it's, I, I, <laughs> I agree can I just on that point? Can I ask you and also CK if you want to work with him? Um, and this brings up on Cappy's question, which yeah. is it would be great if Nacho and Brian or CK could write up a detailed post of exactly what happened, how, etc. Yeah. So, can you sure. and CK work together, please? Um, and this is like as a priority, and just yeah. create like a, a formal uh, document to show exactly yeah. what happened with, and then we can just Oops. announce that to the community and go yeah. have a look at this. Once yeah. they see it checks out and that there yeah. was no foul play on our end, yeah. then I think that'll bring back the confidence that we definitely need. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do a post mortem report and go through and and walk it through uh, in terms of what uh, you know the the recount what what went on and also uh, looking through and everything. And again, if there's anybody out in the audience too who's interested in participating, you know, I know that there's some great detectives who are out there who. Who are also looking at this, um, you know, please contact uh, contact uh, me or CK, you know, a DM, and we'd love to have you as part of it too. You know, well, we want to uh, to to make sure there's a communication that goes out to everybody. But if the community also would like to be involved, that'd be awesome. You know why? Because this community is the best. Okay, there are a lot of talented people, you know, in the community. So, you know, uh, let's 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 get in there. Let's make this document and then you know get this out to everybody so yeah all for it all for at it. the moment we're in price discovery things are, are looking cool we're about 150 153 now. yeah so we were, then <laughs> it's slowly going up and then we'll always look at it as 153 in the bnb pool and 170 in the um, in the safe side pool which is technically an average of 160 right so that's the way I see it. But yeah, you can call it 150 if you want to. How bad is um, that? But yeah, it's still going up from <laughs> yeah. when we started. It was about yeah. 130, 120, whatever. So yeah, yeah it's going to have ebbs and flows. Guys, know that we'll bring you, or Nacho and I will, will bring you through the document fairly shortly um, so you can see exactly what went on. There was an attack. Everything's now done and dusted, meaning that, hey, the worst is over. Nothing like that's going to occur again. Um, and we're still 25x up from, from initial. So yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, That's and it. another thing too, just because mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a dev, the code works. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the code. Nothing happened with the code. You know, That's it's right. it's something that happened outside. Uh, you know, but you know, be sure you can be assured that yeah, the code works as 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 we mentioned, as uh, as we've been designing and all that stuff, and you are seeing it work right in front of your eyes right now. You're 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 getting people to arbitrage. And, you know, later on, as we get the other pools going, uh, you know, there's going to be other, uh, other, other catalysts or things like that. This is, this is the beginning, you know, uh, this is a beginning of a, of a, of an interesting kind of journey in, in Definitely a, in a, yeah, in a, in a protocol where you, know, you could go through you know, and have, 
have something happen. And we still can say, well, you know, 24 X, 25 X or 157, 157 <laughs> uh, from five is to let, uh, uh, I can't, I can't even do math right now. I don't know, but you know, it's more than, than 25. I think it's now. still a win. I think it's still a win. And, and look for you guys that are, you know, listening to this and thinking we're way too positive and we should be more upset about it. I know that it's emotions that you're writing on now. I, I get all that. But once you kind of take a step back from it and allow yourself to relax or have a bit of a sleep and then wake up, I think you're going to feel a lot better about the scenario to know that, hey, the protocol is working, the code works, that there was an attack. We could never have forecasted anything like that. No, not even you listening or any dev could have forecasted that. It's just something no. that, was, that happened. And now we just live with the consequences of it. But... You know, I, I, I think I think everything's now bullish. So, um, yeah, that's it. Let's remain positive. Let's remain tight knit together, guys, um, and um, make a, b a bunch of money through the arb arbitrage because there's a lot of traders right now. Um, a yeah. lot of transactions going through. A lot of people it's are like making money on that. 161 now on the. I'm only looking at one of the pools. I'm not. I'm not even tracking the uh, the, the Sco uh, Seifu, and you're tracking that, so you're seeing just starting to match parity on that. So. You know, that's, uh, again, yeah, I, I get what, what you're saying that, you know, maybe people are, are considering maybe how I'm speaking as being somebody who's, you know, you know, uh, no remorse misery me. loves yeah. company yeah. kind of stuff, but that's not how this works. You know, you don't want to have misery loves company. You want to pull yourself out of, of, of this, uh, because the thing is that to, to achieve success, you have to have success in mind and we could all go through and have something horrible happen but if you just live in that horribleness and let that uh, become the story let that become the thing that drives everything you will not get out of it how we get out of this is we look towards what we have been able to accomplish uh and what 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 potential we still have and let's look towards building that i think if we could do that together the community all of us we could really keep pushing this because again look we're at 165 you know this this community is a strong community OK, it's the reason why we're able to, to, to create this new kind of protocol It's the reason why we attract a lot of attention. And, you know, you of course, to, you know, um, just yeah, as a, as a last point here, Nacho, do you just want to touch on one point, which I believe is just vital for everyone to know this, you know, there's the chats flowing very fast and a, a lot of people, obviously, well, not a lot of people, but there'd be a few people there that I see in chat saying, oh, it was you or it was me kind of taking the money. Um, and, you know, you as the dev are the person that was, you know, took all the money. You sound too happy. You sound rich. But basically all these kind of comments, right? So, you know, I obviously know you. You know me. We've um, we've had a, a great relationship thus far. We know we can trust each other. And I know who you are as a human being that, you know, you, you do have a moral compass, very sound, that you would never do anything yeah. like this. So so I just want you to speak on behalf of you, I mean, I, I, for yourself um, to just well, tell sure. the community what you're actually in this for like is it really well, for the money no right no. it's for no. building something that's yeah so so tell people about that please. so i guess uh, i i won't make it too long of a story but i started in this community not just hey i showed up and i built a protocol i've been with the community for like 15 months like back in february of 2022 and i stumbled into it uh you know off of youtube and and, and wow what a crazy apy and all that stuff and then, you know, I, I was starting answering questions and I, I, I was uh, fortunate enough to be made an, an OG. So I thought, OK, this is awesome. And then I started being part of the community. Uh, and a lot of you have seen me uh, for a long time. I'm not just somebody who just walked in off the street and said, OK, great. I'm going to take a uh, take a uh, I'm gonna be an opportunist and somebody wants a protocol made. I'm just going to walk in and do it. I've been around since the beginning and being around since the beginning. Uh, and being involved uh, as I am, you know, I've taken great pride in being part of the community and really wanting to, to see how we can together uh, grow this and, and do something about it. So when the opportunity uh, uh, to, to, to go and, and create something came up, uh, you know, I was fortunate that, that I, was, uh, I was asked to be a part of that, you know, and, and I thought this is great. So as you guys know, you know, the original, uh, I guess, uh, design for the protocol, Brian had uh, ideas. 
uh, I was able to join and I was able to go and say, well, you know, here's some other ideas that maybe can help in, uh, enhance that. And then we ended up with, with uh, what we have now, which really has a lot of uh, great features and things. So I take great pride in actually being, being able to give back and, and, and take a lot of my uh, experience in development and be able to apply that here where, where it's a community that, that I've been part of for like a year and a half. So why would I want to hurt that? You know, that's just not, that's not something that I'm, I set out to do. And if you're going to do that for a year and a half, that is the longest game. If you're going to try to go and game that, that is a long time. That's, that's expert level. I'm not anything like that. I'm not a career kind of but guy also, doing things like that. It's <laughs> also like a sense of it's a sense of pride for you know uh, uh, some work that you've actually done to build out this brand new AI tech that no one else has even conceived or trialed before, right? And it's great yeah. to basically slap that as a, on your resume to go, hey, I'm the one that built this mofo's <laughs> like you know who else has yeah. done this? Um, and well, that's, that's that's huge. Um, yeah. a lot of pride goes with that. Well, I, I also take pride in the idea that that yeah, not not only doing that, but as a, a trusted developer uh, in the community, I not only help uh, you know Seifu, uh, but I've helped other communities, other tokens that that other people know of. Uh, they come to me uh, to to take a look at things to help them out. Uh, that that is who I am. Not everybody understands that. Not everybody has uh, uh, worked with me on that. But there are other communities who. You know, you know, they, they 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 come to me and and all that stuff. So again, it's this is my character. This is what 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 I do. In terms of any of this other stuff, no, I would not do this. Uh, number one, number two. Uh, at the time, I was pretty busy trying to figure out why we couldn't we couldn't uh, you know why there were these issues and things like that. So you know the 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 idea that there's time for me to go through and. And, and do things like that, that's not it. But again, going back to my motivation uh, for this, uh, I've been part of this community for a year and a half, and it's not something that I just walked into and said, okay, great, I'm gonna just, you know, be be, be this. Uh, you know, this 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 has been kind of like my life for a while. And to, to think about, you know, how I could help, you know, move it forward, I take that with great pride and I am proud of the protocol. I still am proud of the protocol. It was hurtful when I'm looking at this thing and things are going on because I knew I built this thing. I built this thing right. How can this happen? So I, I, you know, you know, that's what was going on in my mind. Uh, but, you know, now that we could see that things are, 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 are working and happening, it, it's, this is what, this is what, what, uh, what I'm looking for. And it's not like, you know, I, I disappear after I, I, I make this thing, I disappear. I'm going to be around this thing for a while because this is, this is important. This is a protocol that really is something to be proud of because this, is, this marks a, a different kind of generation of a protocol. A protocol that's not just a token, but it's also a platform. And not only that, but it's a, a, a token that also comes with a, a business, uh, with business revenue, with the business revenue stream, with a lot of other thinking. To help make it sustainable and to bring it away from what could be considered like uh, just a pun economics where there's other revenue other value created that could bring in revenue to help grow uh, the, the protocol so this this okay. to me marks a milestone it marks a milestone so i really want this to succeed i really hope that the community wants this to succeed too so I appreciate you telling everyone that, and thanks so much. Um, um, I really appreciate that. Uh, on another note, the uh, if you bring up the D app, the mini pod is in the green now, on the uh, <laughs> on the on the gauge. So oh, I reckon man. that that's going to go off very very soon. Can you just while we're on the call there, Nacho? Um, can you also in the D app make the last winner address clickable? Because at the moment it's not clickable. Oh sure. Actually, yeah. So oh, sure. please do that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, guys, watch the D app. That mini pod's definitely going to go off. Someone's going to win ten Seifu Go um, very, very soon, um, and that's worth what one thousand five hundred and forty dollars technically right now, right? Wow, that's a lot of money just for a random trade. Hit yeah. fifteen hundred bucks. That's huge, guys. Come on. And, and again, the alpha on that is when you see these any of these uh, gauges get pegged at the bottom of the green. That's really when you should be, you know, thinking about okay, I'm going to do some transactions, 
One thing to realize too, make sure you have enough gas in those transactions because uh, the winner gets paid off. Uh, it will consume more gas. And I've seen in tests what will happen is that if you don't have enough gas in there, it will go and say, out of gas. And then what happens? Uh, the next person who has more gas will actually get it. So yeah. you don't want that. Yeah. You don't want to be the lucky one and then all of a sudden realize, oh, I could have had it, but I didn't have enough gas. But again, you only need to add more gas if you're looking at this thing being pegged uh, and, and you want to make sure you don't lose out. Especially, you know, when you, you see the maxi or the mega happen right now, the, the maxi is about what, 18? It needs to go up to 50. Uh, and then the mega is at 100. 100, wow. That that would be a pretty pretty interesting payoff, especially. Well, payday, no. That's going to take a while. Yeah, that's going to take a while to, to pay off. So I imagine, you know, the, the pricing uh, will be uh, pretty, pretty, pretty different, pretty interesting, you know, by the time uh, the mega is ready to pay off. Could it be a lot healthier? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know, there there are plenty of things to look forward to. I don't know if people had a chance to go through and uh, take a look at the, uh, the 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 arbitrage triangle. This is a different shape. Look at this. It's like uh, you know, it's like uh, almost like equilateral down That's at the cool. bottom there, because basically, you know, the two pools are 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 equaling out. As what mm -hmm. Brian was mentioning, you know, before when he talks about this in the AMAs and things like that, you'll see uh, the arbitrage will try to level out the pools. It looks like our, our pool leveling out will be at about maybe 160 or something like that, right? That's pretty interesting. That's pretty encouraging. Uh, basically, in a way, it's like having consensus. You have two different pools that are trading differently, but they're coming to a consensus that they believe that the SGO price is worth 160. That's, that's interesting. A good way to put it. Yeah, that's a, a yeah, that's a, that's a new way of, uh, of trying to uh, seek uh, like validation for the value of a crypto. Because sometimes, you know, usually you say speculation, speculation, uh, because some catalysts happen here or there. But then when you have uh, multiple markets that that end up, you know, uh, achieving consensus, then you get to start saying, wow, OK, great. It looks like, you know, the uh, this is this will be this, this this at least has maybe uh, some kind of a I don't know if you want to call it a bottom, but it, it's got it's it's got a value that that's here in agreement. So as we start adding more uh, liquidity pools, you'll be able to see uh, how that also contributes to what is considered the the value of uh, of a scope, right? Mm -hmm. So very very interesting things here. Um, yeah, very very interesting things here. So the 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 scope in the uh, the BNB pool. Let's see, is that yeah? What 30, 30, 3,500? I'm just looking through. Sorry. Italy, okay. Well, Italy, anyways, Italy. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's actually pretty interesting. So uh, there you go. I I don't know. I, I guess now I might be just babbling. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's that's okay. So, so yeah, um, guys, thanks so much for for listening in again. Know that yes, just a summary, Nacho. That there was a there was a someone that took advantage um, as an attack on the protocol by using over half a million bucks with huge gas to just try to prevent any sales from happening and to try to just use everyone for exit liquidity after the half an hour mark, which that person was successful at or that group of people was successful at. Unfortunately, we couldn't perceive that. We couldn't forecast that. There was just a true outlier. And that can't happen again and will not happen again because, well, everything's now settled down. We've already explained all that. So just know that literally the risk is now totally eliminated in my view um, and there is still a little bit of panic in the market. I get all that. Hopefully this this Discord um, broadcast has has served to eliminate some of that, um, you know, potential hard feelings. And let's just let the protocol live on um, and continue on the uptrend with price discovery. Since we've started this Discord broadcast, the Nacho was about 130. We're up to nearly 180 now. So, yes, buyers are coming in and the arbitrage is working. People are getting paid off with race pods. The whole vaporization is working. Everything's hunky-dory. Um, I'm now, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a glass half full guy, but I feel better about this whole scenario. It's just that that one person took a bunch of cash and, that's unfortunate, but you know that's that's it. Everything else is a tick, 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 tick. So man, there's there's no real reason to feel bad about this, and you're getting rebases in your wallet as well. What more could you want? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean the, the the earning and the yield potentials there. It's it's working, and people are seeing it happen right before your very eyes. 
in this AMA, you're, you're watching it happen just as we've been talking, right? Again, we were sitting at uh, 122 when we started, and then now it's at 176. You know, it's, uh, I think, I think, yeah, the, 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 again, the, I, I understand how people feel. Uh, but again, I, I, as everybody knows, I'm a positive, uh, positive person. And, uh, I, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, the misery loves company. That's not what I'm into. Uh, the, I pull people out of misery. At least I try to. And by that's only by looking at, okay, well, where can we go from here? Where can we look up from here? And when we could do that, we can move forward. Uh, you know, uh, when, when, when you dwell in the misery, you're, you're just willing to stay stuck in time or go backwards in time. That's not what we want to do. We want to move forward. So if people are interested in moving forward, that'd be great. You know, after this, I'll be, uh, we'll, I'll be in Discord. Uh, Brian, you'll probably be in Discord, you know, answering yeah. questions, stuff like that. You know, yeah. because again, uh, we're proud of this protocol. Okay. Uh, uh, very proud and, and uh, want to support this completely. So there you go. Let's uh, raise everyone's spirits and, um, yeah, we'll end it here, guys. Um, thanks so much. And me and Nacho will both be in Discord to try to answer a few questions. Um, and uh, let's just try all to settle down, please, and, and just look at this, you know, very, very logically. Um, and Nacho, if you can, ov obviously bring up the uh, – get the um, – Yes. That, uh, that data sheet, you know, yes. everything we need to – yeah. So if you can do that, would be great. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And thanks, Nacho. All right. All right, bye. All right, guys. I'm going to end the stream now because I'm tired. I've been sitting in this chair for about 10 hours a day straight. <laughs> Can't feel your legs. I know, man. I didn't eat nothing yet, really. But uh, man, I'm, I don't know if you want to stay on file or not, but I'm getting off, buddy. No, nah, I'm getting out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm signing off. See you guys tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a live tomorrow. Let's yeah. recap and everything again. All right. Peace out, but, guys. Uh, all right, guys. Peace out. Later.